Hey everybody, how's it going? Ah, bah. Hopefully, as good as it was for me just then, because <laughs> that hurt a little bit. Uh, it's a Monday. I almost said Wednesday. It's a Monday, which means some game clearing. We are gonna work through a nice chill game we've been working through as of like two weeks ago. Took a slight break to do some April Fools' shenanigans. We're almost done. The first game in the Another Code Recollection. We're going to finish the first game here in a couple hours. I think someone said it was about two hours left of the game. And then after that, we'll probably start the other half of the collection. Because it's two games, and the second game is much longer, but everyone, at least last week, or last time we were playing this, said it's worth playing through both. John, terrible news. I was working from home when someone stole the sun. Does Lord Donator know about this? Uh, probably. Uh, I might not bring it up, though. He might, he might get antsy about it. Because apparently he only stole it for, like, a couple minutes. It's not really a good theft. John, it's me, Carly Ray Jepsen. I've just met you and this is crazy, but here's my number, so call me maybe. All right, well, is it long distance, though? Because I don't know how good my phone plan is. I went to eat sushi today, well, yesterday because of Saturday's stream. I fully blame you. Well, you, did you enjoy the sushi? And you didn't die. So, like, it's it's a good sign. Hey, John, it's me, the joke from the first Trace Memory stream. Don't let me happen again. I'll try my best. <laughs> On that note, status of disc only. There is no disc only this week. The schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Uh, Wednesday is going to be Power Trip. Saturday is going to be uh, the final Chaos Fortune Cookie bonus stream. Come hell or high water. So if I don't have any co if I don't have any of the Coliseum Cocoms, it's just gonna be me and the usual Cocom team. I'm just going for it at this point. Alright, we had just finished chapter three of Trace Memory, uh reunited with Dad. So now we're starting, I think, the actual final chapter, chapter four, which I did read the name of last time but I've already forgotten it I think it's like well I mean I was just click it it should show it right away this is where we're at right now on my way chapter four D's memory 
Oh no, I'm tapping. I'm hoping for the best. Sending you good vibes for your grandma. Ah, oh, they just never cleaned up the blood? Okay. Where are you, D? What did you remember? He was killed in the Silver Bird Room. D. What happened in the Silver Bird Room? He was killed! I need to in the me. Silver Bird Room! Alright, so if you weren't here last time we played this, basically you're playing as Ashley here. Oh, we are bios updated. Ashley Mizuki Robbins! We've finally met our father, uh, who has been missing since we were three, presumed dead. We're now 14, and we've come to meet him on this island, Blood Edward Island or something like that. And uh, he's kind of a dick. Probably because he's not her dad, at least, you know, the viewers think that. I'm sure she might not. I, I don't know. She's, I think to the point where she's still pissed at him. But yeah, so along the way, we met D, who was a ghost. A ghost of someone that died on the island as well. So they've lost all their memories. We've been helping them find their memories, and they've been helping us get around the, the actual mansion here. So we are learning all about the Edward family, and obviously we're learning about our own family. Ma, we're trying to find our freaking Aunt Jessica, who went missing. I still can't believe it's called Blood Edward Island. I mean, it's a nickname. It is just Edward Island otherwise. All right. So let's get caught up on the story beats that have changed here now. So our bios from Jessica. I must have seen just about every inch of this place by now, but still no Jessica. I pushed through my fear of the dark to search the library where I had all, all, all I had was a candle to light my way. I overcame the soot of a dirty old fireplace to search the gloomy hidden room beyond it. And yet, my good-for-nothing dad, who said he'd help look for Jessica, does nothing but go on and on about his precious research. He's left me no choice but to keep looking on my own. Jessica, please be safe, wherever you are. I used the W key I got from dad to find the last two another keys in the West Wing. D helped me solve the moon coin puzzle and the radio, too. I'm so glad he's here with me. We figured out that the combination to Thomas's briefcase is D's birthday. I was so happy for him. It's proof that his dad really loved him. Meanwhile, as soon as we gave the another keys to my dad, his attitude completely changed. He disappeared, leaving me all alone. Does that mean he doesn't love me? I have a hard time believing such a cold person as my dad. It makes me wish I never came to this island to begin with. I'm worried about Dee, and I would love to help him, but I got I want to go home as soon as we find Jessica. Dad took the another keys and disappeared somewhere. He doesn't seem super happy to see me, even though it's been so long. And he hasn't even looked for Jessica, so I either guess either his research is more important than either of us. Is this guy really my father? He seems so cold, and I found a newspaper article saying that he was a suspect in Mom's murder, so I really don't know what to think. I found a newspaper article about Mom's death, and it matched up with the scene I always see in my dream. Maybe it's not a dream at all. The article also said Dad was a suspect in the murder, but that can't be right. Until now, I thought I wanted to know everything about Mom, no matter what. Now, I don't want to know this. Dad says he's not the killer, but I don't feel like I can trust anybody anymore. Captain's still got no update. I'm really sad about that. With Dee's help, I found the another keys that were hidden in the West Wing. Dee also got a bunch of his memories back, which is great. The bag of his we found in the hidden room triggered lots of memories for Dee. He looks so happy to remember so much about himself and his father. Sounds like Thomas was a really sweet dad who loved his kid a lot. Totally the opposite of mine. The combination to the lock on Thomas's briefcase from the hidden library and the study turned out to be Dee's birthday. I think lots of people use a loved one's birthday for stuff like this, but it sure made Dee happy to know his dad thought of him like that. Along with the another key, we found a bunch of stuff that was important to Thomas. He was carrying his most important things locked behind the birthday of his son. I guess Franny and Dee were really close and they played together all the time. They hid a treasure of shells and stuff from the island inside the piano. 
There were also some drawings on a table in the study that were done in invisible ink. I even found the hidden fireplace room because of a secret note in invisible ink that Franny left for D. I'll bet they would have liked to know that their fun little secrets would be used to some to someone useful to someone decades in the future. Dear John, I've started working harder on my voice training specifically because of your mom voice. <laughs> I'm resistant. You know what? No, fuck it. I'll do it. That's very nice of you, sweetie. Thank you so much. I'm glad to know that this silly voice means so much to you and it's got you moving forward for yourself. Best of wishes. I forget. Was Calgary too far away from the eclipse? Yeah, we got nothing. We were completely out of the path. Influencer, baby! I guess. Does, does this make me like a trans influencer now? I have no fucking clue how this works anymore. All right. Uh, I do owe a Wisdom of Duke. I do owe that to someone who got it right away. Casual at heart. Casual, here you go. It's uneven, stupid. That one always makes me laugh for some dumb reason. Give me a second. I'm gonna sneeze if I'm not careful. What did someone just- oh my god. Influencer, sweetie! Oh no. John, you've been a trans influencer for years. I'm sorry, what? See, the problem is that the John mom voice sounds super threatening now thanks to that incident during F-Zero seen in a tweeted recap this week. Oh, if you want me to be threatening, oh, I can very much sound threatening. But we're not doing that. You have influence over trans people. It's true. Uh, it is that true? Support your local egg dealer. Jesus Christ! Don't do that to me. I just said. <laughs> Technically, if you have influenced someone who is trans, you're a trans influencer. Okay, fair. Then I guess that's true. Then in that case. I would love to see someone animate your mom voice. Uh, yeah, I guess that hasn't happened, has it? Huh. Eh, there's time. All I gotta do is say something actually funny enough for it to work. Are you my brother Rex Racer? Backing that up is very true. Oh my god. You are his brother. I can see the trans person here can confirm you do have influence over me. I. That is still the opposite of threatening. <clears throat> Yes, it's very much true. You have been an influence to us trans the very moment you said it should be bigger. Ever since then, you have gained trans influence experience points at an exponential rate. Uh, what happens when I'm done leveling up? <laughs> I knew the first fucking thing I'd see in chat was, oh, you know. Fucking knew it. Mm -hmm. Green's not even here. Mm -hmm. Star's not even this here to do the bit. From me to you. You Look underflow and become cis plus. What? John, you have a sizable trans community. Well, I do. I'm I'm impressed. I'm surprised. Transcendent. I hate. Oh my god. Kill a god. Okay. That's for you to decide. <laughs> Post game, baby. Oh my god. You reset your level like in Fire Emblem, you, so I changed my class. Yeah, when you're done leveling up, you change classes, of course. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Uh, so what am I changing my class to? Oh, that's a dangerous question you just uttered, John. <laughs> that's a dangerous question you just said out loud. New gender plus! Oh, no. An egg hatches, it doesn't matter who hatches it, it just does happen, and you have no control over which egg hatches. <laughs> Considering that A, eggs have a theme around the channel, B, a majority of your Ultrons are female, and C, you've cracked a few eggs here in this community, I can definitely say that you're very much a trans influ influencer. Oh, thanks, Stevens, appreciate that. Tell us what skills that you have unlocked in your skill tree. Well, talking like a woman, for starters, apparently. I don't remember putting spec points into that, but we locked unlocked that. The reward for maxing your level is $2.9 million. I mean, I'll take it. 
I think it's like Diablo, you start getting Paragon levels. Oh no. You prestige and start over on New Trans Plus. Jesus Christ. I love how it's it's the same the same bit I'm saying. You can now play as Luigi! There we go. What's your LGBTQA plus influencer skill and equipment build look like? I did not min-max, so I have no idea. You reclassed to Valkyrie? Thought that was the dreams. What's your dump stat? Luck, obviously. <laughs> You're literally the, like, the most gender cis person. I mean, that was... Oh, crap, what's their name? That was the other... Finster. That was Finster until they came out, so... John is a key who unlocked every trans egg he comes across. You're all very sweet tonight and a little, apparently, focused on something. I thought that was the dreams. Exactly. Shit. You accidentally chose meta? Jesus Christ. All right, let's actually move around here. We have all the other keys. We've unlocked it on our on our, on our our DAS. We're going to use trans influence to stop John from playing this game for as long as possible. Jesus. I like how we're trying to literally game gender right now. I mean, y'all got to have fun with it where you, where you can, so. Blame the eclipse. Is that is that what's happening? Is this because of the eclipse? All right, we are missing four memories from her father. Uh, and I think they're all in rooms we have not been in yet. Correct. Okay. So we have to go to the silver room now. But can we get in there? Also, what was run? There we go. So how does it feel being the world's most trans-coded cis Twitch streamer? A little weird. Come to think of it. Oh, right. That's the room I can't go through. Guess we're going back the long way. John has a sizable LGBTQ plus community with furries mixed in. I mean, let's be real, a lot of LGBT people are also furries, so it's kind of both. <laughs> Here's our new joke to run into the ground. Last time it was, hey John, it's me, and now in true John fashion, we've chosen gender. Is that true John fashion? Can confirm as a trans woman that I am indeed something of a furry. I mean, there's the furries ain't shy around here, I've noticed. I don't think they got much to worry about, to be fair. Bi would be considered LGBTQ+, right? I, that, what, do you, what did you think the B stood for? Oh no! <laughs> Let's see here. I see in chat uh, bootylicious, bees, bagel, bacon, bees, bassoon, bacon. A lot of people want to say bacon. Bananas, bracula, bagel, bracula. A lot of people want bracula. The B clearly stands for boobs in this channel. Bilingual, <laughs> bran flakes, boobs, botanical, identify as a plant, bacon, bottom. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Ah, Bepsi Man. Exactly. All right, now, I ran past the silver room, because I think it's this one here. Actually, do I have the key for this room yet? This must be the silver bird room. Ooh, open. Must be locked. Turn on autoplay. D, are you in there? <laughs> Call out if you can hear me. <laughs> I guess not. But I really thought he would be. Maybe I can peek through the keyhole. LGBTQ, lesbian, gay, baklava, <laughs> trans, you, queer, and question. D, it's me. D. He won't look at me. He's just staring at the floor. What's going on with him? Why won't he just talk to me? Something must have happened. What should I do? Maybe he remembered something really traumatic. I need to get in there. But how can I get the door open? 
Where could the key be? D can't go through doors, so how did a fuck did he get in there when it's locked? He can go through gaps, so I assume he literally went through the frickin' keyhole. I assume that's what they're trying to convey to us. Nuh uh. How do you know that's outside the mansion? Uh, what? Oops, no, that's camera. What are our options for rooms we haven't checked yet? Because we know that the key is in the fountain. We remember that from last week, but we haven't really found the fountain yet. I guess maybe we have access now because that's where our dad went. Tight. Some rooms already been in. This leads back to the foyer. Yeah, the door's open. <laughs> Trismon, you tried. You tried very hard. LGBTQ, let's go and top this quid. Oh, seriously, awesome. Oh, right. Look at all these flowers. Has Dad been taking care of these or something? Nah, wow. no way. Wow. He's too into his lab to take care of flowers. Wow. Nah. I need to find that key. Ah. Oh, yeah. Franny's mom's letter mentioned a fountain. I'm coming, D. Uh. Water's so dirty. Must have been a long time since it flowed. Uh. Can't look for the key with it like this. I wonder if there's any way to clean that water up. Let's check a little more around the fountain. How about the water pressure thing I was trying to click? There you go. Um. Number of the meter looks like it's at zero. Does this handle move? If I was able to do something with this, it might make water come out of the fountain. First, did you get a good look at it? Handle? Um. Huh. Alright, so can't do anything with that just yet. Huh? But there are sprinklers for the flowers. So, clearly something's been done here. Ah, bench. <sighs> nah. Nah. This is so weird, I found Ashley's trophy model from Smash Brothers on a site, looked up what game she's from out of curiosity, and now someone's playing the game she's from. So weird. I mean, yeah. No, like, Trace Memory was actually pretty neat from what I heard. I just never got around to it, so... This has been my chance to actually play it since. Because the collection only came out, what, a month ago? Well, I guess it's April now, so... Probably more than that, then. Maybe. Pipe. Handle. You did it! Yes. Take my apology for unintentionally causing chaos. Hop, chaos happens around here all the time. We don't really need to apologize for it. The two things that seem to be constant around here are chaos and gender. So at this point, I just I just roll with it whenever either one comes up. This came out in January. I thought it was like February. I need a way to block the sprinklers now. Um. Bird! I should probably also unlock this while I remember. Hey, same here. I, too, am haunted by chaos and gender. Wow, that's a surprising statement out of you, Star. Who could have seen that coming? 
May as well be a middle name for the stream at this point. Proton Gender Chaos Wheeler. I don't know how I feel about that statement. Okay, so this is just a bunch of those hidden around then? Am I just hunting? I think the gender chaos god escaped the moon during the eclipse. No, this ain't a new occurrence. Let's be real here. Let's be real. Alright, what other options do I have? There's a second one. I've been subscribed to a person I have never met for almost 120 months. Dang. I mean, do you, do you subscribe to people you know only? Because, I mean, that's usually the case with streaming. You'll probably know me if you go to a con that I'm at. That's about it. Which, I mean, if you're going to MomoCon, you'll see me there. Still not enough. I assume I have to get it into the red. There's our third one. Listen, John, I'll trade you your surplus gender for my surplus cats. I have enough of both. I'm good. It is still not? What? No good. All right, so... Oh, because there's still some on, doy. All right, so is this just a hide-and-seek, or does this have multiple settings? <gasps> hmm? I wonder what changed! So far, I've met you four times, maybe five. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> God, Camille. Guys, we all know that LGBTQ plus means let's get ready to crumble plus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, let's turn this back off. Yeah. We got that one already. So we have found all the ones that we can possibly access, right? I assume, unless it's like... Unless it's hidden somewhere. So it's gotta just be a case of like certain ones do certain things now. So it's just a pure water pressure puzzle. Let's start doing one at a time, I guess. And I guess I'm also the assumption I don't have to do anything with these. Yeah, no, that stays the same, apparently. So let's try this one again. That water pressure is like not even remotely changing. Okay. <gasps> oh. Am I just gonna have to change the amount of these we're turning off? I don't think I've missed a switch, right? So we found three switches? I really feel like I should have found four. Ah. 
Okay, so everything's back on, which means that the pressure's, like, negligible at this point. So let's start fucking around with them, I guess. Basically the same pressure. Your thought process is fascinating, John. Is it? That means I'm on, like, super the wrong path, then, in that case, the way you're wording that. the same spot. So I can't I can't do anything with you again. You're just stuck open now. Oh for fuck. Oh my god, I'm a dumbass. Uh, I even saw that when I first freaking saw them. All right. Well, Let's, uh, let's fix that. Is this the one I didn't turn on? Yeah. All right. Sometimes it's, like, fascinating while other times I'm confused. Uh, yeah, it happens. That just, that's just what happens sometimes. I have a bad habit of overthinking. It's part of being a streamer. Ah. Okay, now it's in the right spot. Come on. Ta-da! I did it. Well, there's the key. I knew that would clear up the water. Turns out we were wrong. There were five switches. Now, eh. So where are you? Oh my God! Is there actually gonna be another puzzle? Like I can see it right there. Should be able to find the key now that the water's clean. Yes, I have. Have you? Um. Ha! There you are. Got second sprout key. Now I can get into the silver bird room. I'll be right there, D. Was this puzzle just to not have to touch mossy water? Yes, it a hundred percent was. Actually, pick the dang key. All right. Silver key with a sprout on it. It was hiding beneath the water in the fountain. Its shape is a little different compared to the golden bird room key. Ashley, 
Are you all right? You disappeared so suddenly, I didn't know what was going on. The moment I heard your dad's voice, I felt like I was about to remember something. Next thing I knew, I was here. It's like I was summoned. But why? I remembered something. I stayed in this room with father when I visited. Really? Wells brought a painting in that day. And he hung it here. He said Uncle Henry painted me. It made me so happy. I couldn't stop staring at it. Dying turned him into an anime. Then father's mood got worse and worse. And he kept drinking. I was so sad to see him like that. So I left. Came back a little while later, and that's when, that's when I saw it. Thomas, why? Father? <gasps> Father was, he was killed. Here, in the Silver Bird Room. Killed. Tell me about killed. Killed? You mean your father was murdered here? Yes. That's where father lay as he died. So that stain on the ground. Oh. I saw it happen. <laughs> he died as he lived, a murder him. victim? Oh my god. I remember a man standing <laughs> next to him. There was such shock on his face as he looked at me. I can picture him now. It was Uncle Henry. What? Uncle Henry. Tell me about Uncle Henry, the murderer. So Henry killed Thomas? His own brother? Yeah. I'm sorry, Dee. Why would he... How could he kill his own family? My mom was killed in the same way. Someone shot her. So I guess... That's another thing you and I have in common. D? Yeah. The quietest crying in the world. Ashley? Thank you for finding me. Now let's go find Jessica. Okay. You got over crying very fast, by the way, Ashley. <laughs> very fast. All right, time to explore. We gotta look at the obvious thing in front of us first. This is father. So I'm wondering when they're gonna point out like all the other things up here, because like it's weird that the blood stain's still there unless other things happened, which I guess was hinted earlier. Fan after 60 years. Thomas, an aspiring novelist, had several books published after leaving the island. Most of them were not received very well, but the detective novels he wrote under the pen name David Shield seemed to do fairly well. They were published in paperback. But they were far from bestsellers. More than a few of his volumes were canceled before they were even completed. Thomas never gained notoriety as an author. I only learned of him after coming here. 
However, as I read one of his novels, I became captivated by his prose, and now I can say I've read nearly all of his works that can be found here in the mansion. Thomas passed away at age 36 after completing a long-form autobiography. I can't help but wonder what sort of adventures Detective Kyle Hyde... No! ...would have gotten up to had Thomas lived longer. For those who don't know, there's another series this exact same company did called Hotel Dusk. That's the name of the main character of Hotel Dusk. They Alan waked us. They sure did. I'm going to pick up this upside down plate. Nope, I guess not. This is. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. That's very helpful. This is. Huh? D. Um. Ah, we have not been in the cellar yet. There we go. Chair. No, we want want to learn about chair. This is. And of course, we gotta look at the picture of you. D. <laughs> No, oh, I thought there'd be like, like this portrait's huge. I thought there'd be something behind it. This is. Hmm. 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 There's a typewriter this on the looks desk. Looks like it's seen some use. That was father's. He used to carry it with him in a big case. Interesting letter in there. There's a paper stuck in there. Wonder what's written on it. On my death, Thomas Edward is to inherit the entirety of my estate, Lawrence Edward. This looks like Lawrence's will. Seems like a pretty important document. Why was it left stuck in Thomas's typewriter like this? Greetings, JB, and how you doing? Have you never ever stated the obvious before in your mind? Oh, I've done that a ton. I talk to myself all the fucking time. Fennec Man EXE, thank you for the raid. Move. D heard the raid. And also, I'm pretty sure it was Jessica talking, too. What's wrong? I thought I heard a voice. Really? Was it my dad? Unless he was screaming, ah, a lot. No. It was a woman's voice. I talk to myself all the fucking time. In fact, I'm doing it right now. Whoa, I never knew that was your raid alert. That's one of many. So we have a bunch of those. Don't worry. Wait a sec. Where was the voice coming from? It came from below us. It came from hell. The door was locked and the key was in the fountain. How did the crane get in? Magic? It's definitely coming from here. Is anyone there? Please, someone. 
fine. Is that? Oh, nice. It's Blastmaster Zero Two. Hell yeah. What? Good choice. It won't open. There must be a key to it somewhere. Girl, did, did you forget that we got the key already? Fountain is working. Sad memories here. <laughs> key of the wine cellar. I found it on a shelf in the Silver Bird room. It's plain black and has some weight to it. Oh, damn, handcuffed. Jessica. Jessica. She yelled so much she got tired. Wait, was that all chapter four was? Was that? Holy shit, that was short as fuck. Chapter five, Secret of the Edward Family. Yeah, we've only been lying. That chapter was like 40 minutes. Jessica! <sighs> Ashley. Are you okay? I think so. And she's probably 30 because we spent like I'm 10 busy. minutes talking about gender, so. Everything is foggy. I'm so sorry I let you go alone. It was selfish. This is all my fault. Are you hurt? I was about to, that's why she didn't have her glasses. I forgot she lost them, like, at the beginning of the game. We've had them in our pockets since chapter one. Handcuffs? No good. <laughs> Only Tim, is that the shortest gender conversations here? No, Thanks. it's not. I found them outside. I was so worried about you. Everything suddenly went dark. I must have been knocked out. No, that's you losing your when glasses. I, to, I was handcuffed to this beam. That's horrible. Who would do something like that? Bill. Bill! Bill! Bill did this? You know about him? Dad told me. You met your father? Father! Yeah. He told me a little. He was my assistant and is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> right! <laughs> right, he kept pamping him up and forgot about this. Dude's got like 80 abs. Freak of nature. Bill tried to steal another? Another. You knew Bill too? I did. He used to work with Richard. I never expected him to turn up here. I ran into him right after I left you. He said that he'd take me to Richard. I shouldn't have trusted him. He knocked me out somehow once we got to the mansion. I had no idea. But wait. Dad said he caught Bill. Regardless, I'm so glad you finally met Richard. Yeah. I found him. He's a piece of shit. I asked him about another. And about Mom. Mom! He told you what happened? Yeah. We talked about it. Father! That's my dad. Huh. What do you mean? Where is he? I was with him earlier. But he went off to do something else. Do something else? He left you alone? Don't worry, I'm with yeah. a ghost! He said he had to go start another. Jessica. About dad, he... He definitely cares way more about his research than us. That's not... He said so. He told me he has to finish another. For mom. Richard said that. Really? 
Yeah. Mom! I found a newspaper article about what happened to Mom. It said... It said Dad was a suspect. A suspect! I... You know the dream I always have? It's about the night Mom was murdered. Oh, Ashley. That's why, isn't it? That's why you never talked about Mom or another. <sighs> You're right. Another! Did you know about another? Not really. Your father mentioned it a few times. Something about using it to save people from painful memories. Yeah, he told me that too. He said Bill stole the keys he needs to start it. So, we split up. I went looking for the keys while he looked for you. But he clearly didn't find you. Ashley. A suspect. Why was that a suspect? Listen to me. Richard found Sayoko that night. And because he was at the scene of the crime, he was a suspect. Right. He kept telling them he was innocent. And with no other evidence, they released him. They couldn't find another lead. So the case went unsolved. The false accusations devastated Richard. I confronted him as soon as he was released from custody. I asked outright if he killed Sayoko. He looked me right in the eyes and answered without a hint of guilt. He said, absolutely not. Mm. He told me that too, that he didn't kill her. But... What is it? He didn't look me in the eyes. It's hard to trust someone who acts like that. Oh, sweetheart. I wonder when she's gonna ask at anything about what Richard looked like, just to I make just, sure. Over all this, he isn't my dad. Can't we both just leave here, together? I'll get those cuffs off you as soon as I can. There's gotta be something I can use around here. Ashley, wait. Please, give Richard one more chance. He can help. Why should I? At the very least, he can get me out of these handcuffs. But what about you? I can't leave you here, I just found you! I'll be fine. Now go. No, I don't trust. I do. Please, Ashley. Believe in him. He's my older brother. And your father. Okay? Miscommunication. I, I, okay. Once we get out of here, we'll go home. The three of us. Yeah. You'll be safe here, right? I'll be right back with Dad. <laughs> yes, I'll be fine. Other than being handcuffed, you know, just don't worry about that part. Sayoko, protect her. Please. I'm so glad you found Jessica. Me too, but I don't think she could see you. She's an adult. I'm used to it by now. I guess. More importantly, we can't let our guard down. You're right. I can't believe Bill did that to Jessica. But I'll worry about it later. We need to find my dad. Where could he have gone? Probably the place he said he was, was going to go to. The courtyard. You've been in there! He opened the door! Oh my god. Alright. Can I go down there and see if there's anything I can actually get in that room first? I feel like I should do that. This is gonna boot me back out. Maybe. 
Hey, sorry, Aunt Jess. I gotta look at everything. I gotta look at all these barrels. Oh, she's like asleep. <laughs> Uh, was there anything in here? I don't think so, right? Yeah, because this is considered areas outside of here, so. Yeah, I can't tell. She might be asleep, it's just the angle they picked. Well, she's surrounded by alcohol. She can be the wine mom she always wanted to be. Or the wine aunt, I guess. <laughs> Just like you, John? Am I am I meant to be a wine aunt? No good. It's locked. Do you even like wine? I don't drink any alcohol at all. Look. There's a ladder on the other side of the door. You're right. Where do you think it leads? To a door! That's the door to my great-grandfather's room. Yeah. That's technically not a no. <laughs> kind of hard to be a wine aunt when you don't drink. I mean, there's another, there's another key part. Y'all keep skipping around <laughs> with the requirement of wine aunt. Uh, is there one in that room? Oh, wrong button. I don't see what we're missing. Oh my god. What are you talking about? You have nephews? <laughs> Fuck you. Clearly your wine of choice has to be a rosé. Your siblings have kids so you can be an aunt. Again! Missing a key element, I feel, here. Are you sure we're forgetting anything, Miss John? Knowing this chat, I thought it would be a better argument. <laughs> I thought they were going to try. They're not even trying. They're just trying to gaslight me now. That's all they're doing. Aunt is a title gender aside. You can call yourself one if you want. See, that's the strongest argument you guys have so far. Yeah, you wouldn't know anything about being a wine aunt after over a decade and a half of streaming and putting up with us, would you? Uh, you know what? Maybe that's the strongest argument you guys have. <laughs> with as many women as live in your head, I'm pretty sure you could count as an aunt by association. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh, everyone's updated. Okay. Dee floated off somewhere right after my dad left, leaving me all alone. I went up in the mansion courtyard while looking for Dee. Colorful flowers are blooming all around the fountain. Could it be that my dad, as cold as he treated me, has been taking care of these flowers? I can't even begin to imagine. I found a sprout key in the fountain and used it to get into the silver bird room. Dee was in there. He told me about when Thomas was killed, and it brought up memories of my own. Couldn't stop myself from crying. I'll never forget Dee's kindness as he stayed by my side, looking over me without a word. But the thing I was most happy about is we found Jessica. Bill had handcuffed her in the wine cellars. She's still stuck down there even now. Hold on, Jessica. We'll come back for you. We've established that you're a trans influencer, so it's really the wine part is that's missing when you think about it. Oh my god. When has chat not tried to gaslight you, and then I just realized what I said could be taken out of context. Yes, very. You have siblings with kids, you consume fluids, therefore you can be a wine aunt if you try hard enough. Oh my god. John is just a mecha piloted by several aunts and aunt-type girls. What the fuck? 
There's a lot of strong argument that we can make, but it's funnier if we don't say any of it. Jesus Christ. Come on, you've already got the Jommy voice. Now you need a jaunty voice. What even is the difference between a, a mom voice and an aunt voice? <sighs> Less sass? So apparently you had some different aunts than I had. Finally found my dear Aunt Jessica. I'm glad she's okay, but what kind of monster is Bill locking people up in underground rooms? She still can't move because of the stupid handcuffs, so I want to rescue her ASAP, but she said not to worry about her, that I should focus on finding Dad. But why? He's the guy who cares more about his research than his own family, but knowing Jessica, she probably... No, definitely won't move until I bring Dad, so I guess I have to look for him now. Cow I keep hearing why not as why not. Can we just call you a why not the Pokemon? I mean, go for it, I guess. Slightly more Bayonetta-y? I don't fucking know. So more like this, I suppose, is what you're trying for? I, let me, I don't know why the accent slips in, but I suppose you're talking for something more like this. No, I don't like that. That one does not work in. That's a really good Bayonetta? No, it's not. What are you talking about? You going Jane Austen on us now? Oh god, he's British now. <laughs> John for Bayonetta 5? Mm. It's better than I expected, I'll say that. Fair enough. I don't I don't even know what's happening anymore at this point. Why not is just a level in Proton John's LGBTQ skill tree he hasn't reached yet. Do some side quests and you'll be fine. Okay. I'm just trying to think. I can't because I need a I need a phrase from someone to try to mimic them. Because like, what's that? I feel like a fucking celebrity. Something like that. I think that's the line she says. I don't remember the delivery on it. I think the other attempt was better. I sorry. I read that's a really good bayo as a really good mayo. So congrats on being a condiment. Finally. Just activated several neurons with that bayonet of voice, and I'm confused. Good. Where did Dad go? I really don't want him to. See, I don't really want to see him, but I need him to take him with. I need to take him with me to rescue Jessica. There's a big metal door in the courtyard across from the door he left through. So he probably went through that. Also, there's sure a lot of flowers in the courtyard. Was Dad taking care of them? He doesn't seem like the type. All right. If you want to learn how to talk to a lady, ask your mum. And now I see. Now that you got me thinking. I can do it. Now I can't do it. You gave me. You gave me hope for a second. Now I can't fucking do it. I hate how good that was. Jesus Christ. Is it actually mother? I thought she says mom. Hang on. Now I'm curious. Huh? His mom. I knew it. I fucking knew it. No, it's ask your mama mia. You're right. That's from our that was our custom version from our playthrough. When Lawrence got sick, Thomas came back to the island with Dee and was murdered in the Silver Bird Room but, uh, by his one and only brother, Henry. I can't imagine how Thomas felt. Was it shock, sadness, or maybe the worst part was knowing that Dee would be all alone once he was gone? The farewell letter we found in Franny's parents' room was for Marie to Henry showed how sad and painful this all was for Marie. But there was also a big hint in the room for finding the key to the Silver Bird Room. You threw the sprout key in the fountain. This letter was the reason I was able to find Dee. I mean, I already... Oh, I, I missed Henry and Sayoko. Uh, Silver Bird Room is where Thomas died after Henry shot him. 
The room was sealed up and no one has been in there since. Did they just not want to go in there anymore? Maybe they didn't want anyone to touch it again. I guess I'll never know. I also don't know why one member of the family would kill another. It seems like the brothers got along really well, so what went wrong? Just tell me a little bit more about what happened to Mom and Dad being a suspect. She says I should believe in him, but how can I do that when he won't even look at me? What should I do, Mom? All right. Let's unlock this, or is this already unlocked? Here we go. All right. How can we open it? This design. The other room's doors had one bird, but this one has two. Yeah. It's both keys together. Over in their beaks. Maybe the key to this room is. You can now combine items. Hey, where was this pop up when I had to combine pictures? <laughs> I've made some sort of super key! The four-leaf clover key. Oh, wow, I actually did kind of make a super key. Can I combine anything else? I would like to combine... <laughs> article about mom's death with the birthday card. Oh, I actually have to use the key, my bad. Check out the view. Where's the ladder? Shouldn't it lead to this room? What's wrong, D? This is my great grandfather, Uncle Henry. And my father. Grandfather, do you know who I am? I remember. My father brought me here. My great-grandfather was asleep in the bed. He was sleeping so peacefully. But as we got closer, he opened his eyes and looked at us. He smiled, but it was sad. Father took his hand and squeezed it. He was crying. That was the first time I ever saw him cry. Oh, D. We have to track down your dad. Yeah. Where's the ladder we can take back down? Pop a nut! Why did Papa Roach come to mind from that? Cut my life into pieces. This is my last nut. Gonna run some countermeasures for my lovely wife as she's raiding me.
Reese, I muted myself on stream, but I hope to God you heard me fucking laughing from up in your office. <laughs> Reese just writes in the chat. I don't even get the last nut. Rude. <laughs> oh, is that what that was? Yes, that was me fucking laughing. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, babe. Where is Bagel? Is he okay? He came in, ate a second can, and he's back out. Which probably means he should probably come in because it is dark. He does have the tracking collar on, though. <laughs> Thanks for the raid, babe. If you're coming in from the raid, we are playing through a game called... Uh, it's got a couple names. Trace Memory... Uh, but we're playing specifically the Switch version, the Another Code Recollection. This is both another code games combined into one. So this is uh, trace memory or two memories. And then afterwards is the one I can never remember the name of. But it's the Wii, the Wii exclusive one that we never got over here. All right. So first off, let's find the crane that's up here. Because we know that the crane is in this room, one of them. It's probably hidden behind something at this rate. There it is. Another code R, a journey into lost memories. That's the other one. Thank you, Yuna. John, if you played any of the Zero Escape games, I feel like you'd enjoy them. I played a bit of 999. Never did finish it, though. Leonard Edward, the musician. Lawrence had one child, a son named Leonard. Lawrence tried to establish him as a successor, but whether due to a difference in values or something else entirely, Leonard refused to take over the family business. Instead, he chose to leave home and pursue a career as a musician. There was no word on Leonard's whereabouts for a long time. Then one day, he sent his father a letter telling him that he had married a woman he met at a bar. Lawrence resented the fact that he had not approved of the marriage, so he refused to see his son. They lost touch again after this. Several years passed, and Lawrence received another letter from Leonard. He had two sons by then, Henry and Thomas. Although Lawrence finally agreed to see his son, it was too late. Leonard became sick during an epidemic and passed away at age 30. Thought occurred to me as I leaned, as I learned of these two and how they couldn't connect with one another. In order for a child to understand the motivations of a parent who loses himself in their work, Maybe necessary for the child to grow up and become a parent themselves. I wonder if my father thought about Jessica and me as he worked, the same way Ashley occupies my thoughts as I continue my work on another. Oh yeah, Segway plays bring up a good point. For those folks just coming in, we're pretty late in the story of the first game, so be warned. Yeah, we're in like chapter five of, I assume, five or six. So there's not too much game left. Oh hang on, there's a bunch of bio updates too. Oh, we've actually got their portraits updated. Okay. Thomas. When Lawrence got sick, Thomas came back to the island with Dee and was murdered in the Silver Bird Room by his one and only brother, Henry. Can't imagine how Thomas felt. Was it shock? Sadness? Or maybe the worst part? Oh, yeah, these are the exact same messages, aren't they? It's just the portraits that were updated. Yeah, it's just the portraits that are updated. All right, let's start looking around. All right, this desk clearly moves, so. May 1948. I feel my time drawing near. I've decided to record my thoughts while I'm still able to grasp a pen. Today I recall a day from 32 years ago, the day I first held Henry and Thomas in my arms. That was also the day I received a letter of reconciliation from my son Leonard, who left home after rejecting the life I desired for him. The two young children, Henry and Thomas, appeared while I was caught in a maelstrom of grief and regret. I had just been informed of Leonard's sudden death, yet I will never forget the innocent smiles they wore that day. I resolved then and there to raise Henry and Thomas myself. I loved them more than I had loved anyone before. I wished only for their lives to be filled with joy and fulfilling that wish became my sole purpose. Henry and Thomas were legit like a pair of birds who delivered joy to my life. My wish was heard, both boys growing up healthy and with love for one another. Before long, they sought to fill wishes of their own, each choosing a path that drew them from their nest. Henry wished to be an artist, Thomas a novelist. I found myself alone in this mansion, yet still wishing for nothing but their happiness. However, as the two began their journeys down their respective paths, my wish was completely and utterly crushed 
by upheavals of the time. The world was cast into war, and the two were sent to its bitter battlefield. To add insult to injury, this was also when the gold mine withered to nothing, no longer able to support even me alone. Powerless, I prayed for the war to end, and for the safe return of my beloved Henry and Thomas. When news of the war's end finally came and the boys returned to me, they were different. My two birds had been hurt. It was as if their wings had been clipped. Henry had lost his right arm, so could no longer hold a paintbrush, and Thomas had lost his heart, and with it, his ability to trust. I held the tired, wounded pair in my arms, and I cried. I was reminded of 32 years prior when I held them for the first time. I prayed that the scars on their bodies and hearts might heal as soon as possible. But now, I wonder if my actions from that point on were right. I once again find myself navigating sorrow and regret, just as I did when Leonard passed. Only now there are no innocent faces to be found, no birds to ease these feelings. This is... Lawrence's Journal. Great grandfather. Huh. There's something stuck between the pages. Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. Hmm? It's the actual will. Upon my death, Henry Edward is to inherit the entirety of my estate, Lawrence Edward. This is. Lawrence's will. He even signed it, see? My great grandfather's will. Yeah. It says that their heir to inheritance is Henry. But that means. So that means the will we found in the Silver Bird Room. Okay. My father must have written that himself. Huh? No, we already read all that. Wasn't sure we could move it. It's the only interactable thing here, other than... Can I do any of the... Uh, I can't open them all. Never mind, I cannot open any of them. Door in floor! So we do, in fact, have to move the desk. Okay. Well, let's see what else is in the room first before we start fucking with that. The portrait title is displayed beneath it. The two returned from war. Hmm. It's covered in cobwebs. It's gonna be such a pain for whoever wants to use it next. I, I don't think that's the priority right now, girl. The beloved golden and silver birds. Huh. Maybe. Darn it. Darn it. Uh. Huh. A what? Oh, is this the thing where you spin wait, it around wait. and yes it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Zoetrope. I had no idea that's what it was called. Pictures inside move when it spins. Spin the outside with your hand and look in through the slits on the side. Hold to rotate. It's birds hanging out of the fountain. I know all this stuff. It's great. Well, I was going to be a filmmaker when I grew up. That was my dream. Hey. Oh, sorry. The title under the painting reads, My Son Leonard. Um, this is Lawrence's hmm. son. He must have kept this painting close by so he could always feel his son's presence. That probably means I got an update because that's probably his portrait. Yep. Thomas Henry's father, Wells wrote in his journal that Leonard died of an illness. He must have felt terrible leaving his kids orphaned when they were so little. Wells also mentioned that they finally learned of his whereabouts. So I guess Leonard left the island at some point and didn't tell them where he was going. I don't know what happened with Leonard, but it seems like Lawrence took his sons in and raised them well, so I'm glad for that. 
All right, what have we got wait, here? Wait. What is in the projector? <gasps> wow. Wow. Ashley. My father showed me something with this after my great grandfather died. Hey. It was a moving picture of some old footage. Shots of my father and Uncle Henry playing together as kids. Two of them together. By the way. Seemed like it made him sad for some reason. D. I get that. I guess we're not watching any movies. Not that the film would have deteriorated or anything. This is yeah. a screen. Huh. Fancy bed. Wells told me that there's something great grandfather cherished in this drawer. <gasps> oh. To my beloved father, I ask that you find it in yourself to forgive me for turning my back on the life you had hoped for me in choosing the life of a musician. I left home without so much as a word to you and was confronted with the cruelties of the world. However, I'm happy that I chose this path for myself. I married and became the father of two children, and now I hope there will be a day where I can return home and speak with you. Leonard, mm. uh, Leonard Edward. Okay, well, I think we've done everything in the room we can, so let's actually solve the puzzle of moving desk. Huh? Huh? Girl, you know you need to move the desk. <laughs> Huh? Ah, this wow. is the one that opens. Oh, it's the freaking fountain. Oh no, I gotta look at the zoetrope. This is it. Yeah, I don't remember at, at all what they were aligned with. I know that the golden bird was very close to where we actually found the key, but I do not remember where the fuck the silver one was, so we're going to have to look. And the one good thing is I'm pretty sure I can see it from he... Did that bird have something on its back? Oh, game, you got... You can't be serious. Really? I can't see it in full from here? Oh. Can I at least see it if I go around the corner a bit? Sort of. Um, it looks like the... Gold ones above Aerie? That's not... That's, God damn it. Yeah, the gold ones above a bow. But I don't... Oh, there's the other one. Uh, Scorpio, it looks like. Or is that... Like, or is that the one next to it? I feel really dumb if there's a prompt. God damn it, there was a prompt the whole fucking time! Hey. Hey. Huh? Alright, so the bow for gold and silver is lined up with the... 
What is that supposed to be? <laughs> I do not know the Zodiac as well as I thought. Here. Maybe. Taurus? That's supposed to be a bull? Because I, I, I saw the I saw the ram. Oh, yeah, because the ram. Separate. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, we got our meaning now. Yeah, I was like, that definitely looks just like a cow. Oh, it reset it. Okay. Um, so that's got to be pointing at the cow. And this has to be pointing at the bow. All right. Door and floor. Whew. Yes. Oh. There's the ladder. Yeah. Let's take it down. Red. How much game is left for those who know this game? Specifically, two memories. Are we? Two more chapters after this. Wow, still that much Did left. Did Dad really come through here? It's so dark. I can't even tell what this room is supposed to be. Somewhere around an hour. Gotcha. You can't search it until we turn the lights on. Because we got we got brake signal now, so I was wondering if I should have powered through it or not. But if you're saying it's another hour-ish, then yeah, we'll tap here, and then we'll go to break. Depending on how fast you get through these next chapters, maybe 40 minutes to an hour. Gotcha. Alright, well, let's go to break. Alright, let's drop some eggs, shall we? <laughs> Hang on a second. Oh, you didn't, damn it. Alright, uh, let's, uh... Ramnet, thank you for the gift sub bomb. Sown in the dark, thanks for the gift sub to Fennec Man EXE. We were assigned for 52. Bramnet for 70. Arthur Game Library for 7. Quill Brew for 43. Red Reaper 66 for 38. Arthur, just so you know, I did read your message. Uh, Red Reaper 66 for 38. Segway Plays for 54. Soul Eater Ground for 55. Toon Yoshi Game for 50. Mr. AD for 45. Hebino Mirai for 106. Phantom X1234 for 76. Decimating DJ for 30. Demented L for 69. Nice. CCDTT for 30. ADP for 12. Pyronix for 42. Mahalo Mew for 40. Star 64 for 70. Gex for 121. Green Power Star for 95. <laughs> I just noticed your fucking message. I heard gender. I was summoned. Well, it's because ADP's got their, uh, they're doing their voice training, so congrats to them. So we got sidetracked by the voice training thing, but yeah. Your Pet Cat for 119. Blue Nexella for 106. Sona in the Dark for 15. Grax Stripe for 67. Dark King. Sorry, Dark Rye King, rather, for 16. William Cat for Big Old Hundo. Darchi for 49. Doftimus Prime for 15. WX Killer GM for 43. 
As a trans girl that used this community to crack her egg and fuel at one, feel at one with herself, I have to say that I love this community and tell any other eggs here on stream or in chat that a whole new world is waiting for you once you crack and show the world your true colors. Very, very well spoken, GM. Very nicely said. Shoutouts to all the eggs in chat, hidden to not. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of your of, of your following people. The following people. I got three in the carton. Yes, from HP Bowsy64. I think I showed this one before, but this is one that I can use for stream now. I'm gonna show it again anyways, because I like this one. Duke Goes Racing stream version. John, you're going to crack up when you read my dono? Oh, God. Oh, man, they're showing us a black flag. They're going to hold us in the pits for 15 seconds. Fuck this. Vroom, vroom, motherfucker. Uh! I guess you really are as dumb as you look. Adrian Kell writes, Well, I finally caught my second to last legendary fish of all the ones available in Final Fantasy XIV. The last one left is Cinder Surprise, also known as Egg. I have a little something special planned for every future attempt at catching it. Hopefully Wesker will approve. <laughs> Best of luck, Adrian. Of course it would be Egg tonight. Of course it would be. Uh, Nerd Art and Games with Bizzard the Wizard and Spanky's Quest. <laughs> I love that fucking video. That's such a good video. And Clockwork Pretzel sends in Duke Gets Stuck. Oh my god. I've got. I've got. Stuck. I've got. I've got balls of steel. Much better. Clockwork, I need that one too. <laughs> Gotta go to break, grab some cocoms, and when we get back, we'll do art block and uh, get back to finishing the game. Now, no dream watch today. Genuinely, I don't have enough to talk about uh, because. I had dreams, and I forgot all of them. I have tiny fragments, so it's like it would literally be 30 seconds of talking about them. So, yeah. See you guys in a minute. Was there at least one boob? I mean, I talked to my mom, so... Sure? Saw one of Claire's feathers. I I edited a YouTube video. <laughs> That's basically what the dreams were. It was just little vignettes like that. You told us your dreams. Play the intro anyways. Fuck you. I'll do it.
Oh. Oh, all right, shit. Where'd my phone go? There we go. Check from my son. Dr. Zeos, thank you for the raid. Checking for bagel. Oh, I missed tech problems as well. Tech problems, that goes out to you too. Thank you for the raid, Bofies. I will never be a memory. I will never get used to that feature of Discord. I left prematurely so I could do it properly and not join with the full thing going. The No, uh, tech problems got pop up for rating twice for some reason. I don't know why, but now I got I, I call it that tech problems. The most app name for that happening. Man, it really is. All right, let's do alerts anyway. and art block. Uh, like I said, there's no dream watch tonight. How's your day been? <laughs> My day's been pretty good. How about yours? Uh, missed the partial eclipse on my end because it was overcast. Oh, no, you were in one of the storm, or like the overcast areas. There's a bunch of people that said the exact same thing. It did get a little darker, but nothing beyond like looking like a severe thunderstorm about to roll in, so nothing special here. There was where we were completely off the path, but we had nothing from it. I would have been surprised if you were in any sort of the path where you are. I mean, the 2017 one, I, when I, I was in, like, San Jose, I thought I saw it there. Or maybe I was watching TV coverage, but I thought I got to see a bit of it. I don't know if it actually was in that area or not. Alas, I missed it because my vision was eclipsed by my eyelids. I slept through it. Oh, my God. <laughs> What a powerful eclipse. A, te a technical eclipse. Xander the Goose says, Hey, John, I just got the new Fate game the other day and have already lost 10 hours to it in two days. Dang, must be good. Hot Brand says, Take my apology for unintentionally causing chaos. You're fine. Trismon says, I had to fix an error. It's not LGBTQ... What? Oh, it's not LGTBQ, it's LGBTQ, so let's go and bup this kit. I worry about y'all sometimes. Dragon Tamer says, John, I want to return the luck I took on my birthday. Since then, my car went off the road from a patch of snow, got it fixed, and then broke a piston, so had to get a new car. Then yesterday, the fridge died. So please, for the love of all things holy, take back your luck. Oh my god, Dragon Tamer, I'm so sorry. I'll take it back. I'm Jeez. sorry. Here's hoping you, that been, giving it back gives you better luck. I, yeah, I've been in the snow ditch part, but nothing beyond that. Good lord, dude. I'm also glad you're okay. Yeah. What happened? What I what I miss? Uh, Dragon Tamer said they got my birthday luck, and then their car went off the road from a patch of snow. They got it fixed, and then the piston broke in it, so they had to get a new car. Oh. Yeah, glad you're okay. And that's actually the last alert I have, too. So, again, like I said, no dream watch, because literally it was just... I, I remembered three... I had three dreams in the last two days and was too tired when I woke up to write them down, so I lost all of them. I basically... Yeah. I remember bits and pieces. I remember talking to my mom in a ballroom. I remember seeing one of Claire's feathers floating in front of me. Uh, I remember, for some reason... I uploaded a series to YouTube, an entire series, and said, all right, cool, with that uploaded, now I can look at this other one I've had ready for a while, which is true, I have another one ready, but I have to get other stuff uploaded first, so that was a little weird, um, but that's all I can remember. I, I like, ugh, like a conversation with people at dinner is another one, too, like, that's the only pieces I remember. Trying to lucid dream? Yes, his subconscious is teaching him. Pretty much. But do you remember, remember the 5th of November? No. <laughs> but it's three days before your birthday. Yeah, and I don't remember because it's not my birthday. 
<laughs> what did I miss? Gender, apparently. There was you there was gender it. earlier. I can I can confirm, and there will be some of it in art block as I have noticed. Mm -hmm. All right. Speaking of, let's go to art block. Do you remember when day is dark in December? <laughs> is that the kids version? Is that the kids bop version of the song? No, it's the Toho <laughs> version. Oh, okay. So Do it's the ki it's definitely I the kids bop version. I remember. Yeah, I forgot. Somebody made it. <laughs> always remember. Always remember. Happy day. <laughs> From Hot Brand. In retrospect, if one man's love of sushi have this extremely low effort shit post, sushi is love, sushi is life. Sushi! Oh, I want sushi now. Uh, if you did not see Saturday's stream, we played, what the hell was that game called? It was like, su yeah, Sushi Soul Universe, and that is a game. A man, that man loves some sushi. Mm hmm. All right, next up. Moots, you're entitled to your opinion that sushi sucks, but you're wrong. <laughs> hey, I don't like sushi either, but like, I'll go to a sushi place with Reese and friends, so. I'll at least get a California roll. Hmm. From Nerd, Bizzard the Wizard and Spanky's Quest. Okay, context. There's a very bizarre SNES game called Spanky's Quest that was added a few years ago on NSO, which someone proceeded to stream in the egg pack. There, that's your context. Now shut up. No, I, I grew up playing this game. I used to rent Spanky's Quest, and I beat it as a kid. God, the fucking phrasing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, if I didn't point it out, someone else would have, so... Oh, I mean, you're not wrong. Can't do your thing. Uh, <laughs> I hate everything. I hate everything. <laughs> Very unfortunate this name for that monkey. Tragic, really. Spanky, no spanking. <sighs> Tragic, really. But yeah, I beat that game as a kid. It's worse that you did that to yourself. None of us or chat prompted you into that. <laughs> That's the thing. I'll sleep at night knowing that I did that to myself. <laughs> I'll sleep poorly, but I'll still sleep tonight. <laughs> Thank you, one of those people that 20 years after something bad happened, you still think back on it and, oh god, why? Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god, she actually liked me! Yeah, I bet you used to beat Spanky's Quest a lot back in the day, huh, John? Wow. Wow, there it is. Stop, there, that's it. That's that's it right there. Okay. Remember Hard Man? Yep, there you go. God, I, could make, I could make this worse. I had a thought that I could make this worse. Reese is still mad you took the last nut. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, my 56k modem seems to be having some problems today. I notice. I don't know, the Buru just does this sometimes, it's weird. I send you, you a 57k modem, but you don't have the internet speed for it. <laughs> they didn't, the hamsters weren't fed today. <laughs> the pipes are clogged. How much is it worth to you, chat, for me to make it worse? Something tells me I should start, like, back and forth reloading, uh, <laughs> loading these, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the next one while this one's- Oh, that one loaded instantly, of course. <laughs> 2.9 Sometimes... million? Yep, alright, with the 2.9 million, I will say my joke that oh, five yeah, where... years from now, will nobody will even remember. Where, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's the one that's actually supposed to be next. Nice. Uh, gotta love when that happens. All right, somebody, somebody put in a uh, uh, 69, 69T bits. I will say it then. Uh, so you beat the monkey? Yes, yes, I in fact did beat <laughs> Monk. I I beat Spanky's quest. I I in fact beat Spanky. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, thanks, Owo, for just doing the nice alert and saying make it worse. It's a race! It's a race! They're almost done! From Chloe, Chloe. A small and quick doodle in response to Skylar memeing on Claire having Mika in a chokehold. Hope you all enjoy. Is literally oh. Mika's character, or Sakura, getting absolutely choked by Claire. And the picture is worse when it's not fully loaded with that description. <laughs> 
It's like the little like little squeeze toy. The little like the little it's gonna, like a <laughs> Oh right, the, re the rest of that picture is probably like empty space, so I think we're good there. I'll go and load up the next one, which should load up instantly, I think. Yeah, because this one's gonna take a bit. Oh my god. Alright, well we have our current process apparently for how we're doing this. Oh boy. From High Ski Age, aka Pluto. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and John. Why am I here? This seems to happen That's to you a lot. That's not how you say huh? that. Yeah. What? That's not how you say that. You say, why am I here? Oh why am I here? Why am I here? That better? Yes, there we go. Oh. Say the line, John. I did. <laughs> this seems to happen to you a lot, huh? Anyways, welcome. Th thanks. Also, Pluto, why'd you draw yourself so tiny? You were not that tiny. You're actually fairly tall. <laughs> Finally, the J in LGBT. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks, we just hi. need the other 19 letters of the alphabet to join in. When, when will we get the PBJ? <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, nope. All right, I think I think we're stuck in loading hell here now today. I think. Oof. I'm just gonna click every picture and hope to God something loads. I'm just gonna keep duplicating tabs at this rate and hope one of them works. Eventually, somebody will work. Eventually, but uh, I wouldn't exactly say it's it's flying. One of these days, I need to contact. Do you think Goku will Aspen finish archive. charging the Kamehameha first? The plus in LGBTQ plus stands for John. Ah, okay. So it's just a very well, creative J. To the shock of everybody, Goku managed to finish charging the Kamehameha first. Nah, nah. The Pluto drawing is accurate to the amount of height loss on HRT. Trust, trust. Oh, come on. Some of my friends have only <laughs> lost. Um, I always hear like three inches is most. At least that's what my friends have lost. So. From begrudgingly Waluigi, why not John? Well, all I can see is John. I don't see the I can barely see the why not part so far because of the 56k modem. Lulu says they lost two inches. High ski eight says I did I didn't lose any height, I'm almost as tall as John. Green says they lost why only lost one, not? and that's debatable. Oh, there we go. The why not finally loaded. We got one of them. We got one of them. Hell. Squidward one I already loaded earlier, so I knew that was fine. <laughs> oh, no. He, uh, oh, no. He's British. Whenever he, oh, no. Oh, he's no, British. He's, my, always, my mind always goes to the scene. It was, it's just, oh, no. I think of Knuckles. <laughs> oh, no. He's hot. It's really struggling today. Wow. It is really struggling today. Oh, wow. This one loaded instantly. All right. Yeah. I see how it is, Buru. I see how it is. Influencer, sweetie. From Mika. Jami, she's here to influence your gender. It's me, sweetie. Everyone's favorite influencer. Trans rights are human rights. Oh my god, Camille, you're hilarious. What did Camille say? The plus in LGBTQ plus stands for proton because the proton is the positive part of the atom. I said it last gender class, you're not ready for this test. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, Camille. I do find it really funny that this loaded no problem and the other ones are still struggling. Oh. I mean, why else would it? There we go, this one loaded too from Tiger Rest. Guys, stop making fun of me. I'm not that small. This is what chat meant by you being an aunt, an aunt right? No. no. I didn't know they were separate words for the longest time. Oh. Wait, think oh. what were separate words? Aunt and aunt. And aunt. Oh. I mean, to be fair, most people like pronounce it aunt, so they, they say it yeah, the same people way. Yeah, pronounce it aunt. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know there was a U. I thought it was A N T. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Yeah. If you only heard it in verbally, that just makes sense. I see what you did there, Tiger. Wine, Aunt John. 
Womp, 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 womp. Thanks, Tiger. <coughs> Those are still loading. Let's see if the next one will work, because it seems like all the ones after it are loading. Yeah, th everything else is loading faster. These three aren't. From Theta, Dumb Thing was inspired by that comment from chat about mistaking Bayo for Mayo, and now I bring a Mayo John. Congrats on becoming a condiment. I tried very hard. It was Joyo! a lot of effort. Confirm that mayonnaise is an alt John. <laughs> no, Patrick, mayonnaise is not an alt John. Then what do you th what is that right there? That's an alt John. Makes sense go. to me. All right, this one from Mika is mostly loaded in. To put an end to my comment about Claire having me in a chokehold, here she is doing it. <laughs> I appreciate Chloe and Skylar for running with my dumb joke. It's a very loose chokehold in a way, but it is definitely a chokehold. This this is more of a hug chokehold. Yeah. Yeah. This but... this definitely looks more hug. Except for the the bend on the head and the neck is the only part that really is like okay, that's a little concerning, Claire. Maybe don't do that part. A little bit. <clears throat> Also, the thumbs up indicates that you're enjoying it, so... I, I like the thumbs up and the, oh, God, this is my life now, isn't it? <laughs> Make them also, a little bit purple, and then it'll be and then it'll be perfect. Yeah. Also, I don't know <laughs> if it's putting an end to it yet, because the image hasn't finished loading. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mika. I'm waiting for the snap. It's basically, it's basically load. It's not a GIF. I know it's not a GIF. It's basically just loading in, like, the, the Sakura charm there. Still looks great. Thank you, Mika. All right, this one's loaded in here now. Oh no, a class ch- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. What? From Clo Chloe, now that John's class change into a Pegasus Knight, let's look at the stat changes. HP 47 plus zero, speed 28 plus zero, strength 26 plus zero, luck zero plus one. Magic, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Magic 10 plus zero, defense 21 plus zero, skill 36 plus zero, red, red? 16 plus zero. Movement, seven plus zero. Uh, oh, well then. And I missed, oh, that was supposed to be res, it's like res, not red. <laughs> Jokes aside, oh, okay. went and got permission from Kidark to borrow her alt John for this joke. Hope you all enjoy. I love how your luck is now one instead of zero, but the first time you read through it, I thought that was your end result. I thought so too, and I changed? and I think that's half the joke. The, I think half the joke is my luck is actually negative one, and that just brought it to a base zero. <laughs> I, I I want that to be the head cannon. Yeah. <laughs> so I also went from a dragon knight to a Pegasus knight, and I guess all the changes that come with that too. So there you go. Thank you, Chloe. This the one is still Pegasus knight, the female loaded. only class. Oh no. Yeah. What? Pegasus knight is a female, female only class. Wow, who could have seen that coming? Around here, never. Probably the Pegasus Knight, because she's probably pretty high up and has a reasonable view. Ugh. <laughs> We're very predictable. Yeah, first thing I see in Chad's never, and then, oh, you know. Oh, you know. All right. Yeah, everything else is loading perfectly fine. I don't know why this is just <laughs> running slow here now. Uh, Ashley, age 13. I'm pretty sad, but at least I have my aunt who loves me. One year later. <laughs> when I come crashing down and it hurts inside. Somehow this song fits the mood of so many forms of media outside its context. That being said, I would want it to introduce me to a wrestling match. <laughs> what song is this? Because it sounds very fucking familiar. Oh, it's Hogan's theme. When it all... When it comes crashing down and it hurts inside. <laughs> She'll be okay. Thanks, Greased. I am a real Bionian. From uh, Adrikel, behold my Wesker outfit. Put together in part for glamorous suggestions on the Orzia collection. Combined with my resplendent fishing rod. Please, Yoshi P, you will give me an egg. The best part is, this is cross-class, so I could absolutely run this as Machinist or Monk if I want to be more like Wesker in combat. Nice. I see you are also the potato, so you are the tiny potato, Wesker. Best of luck catching your egg, Adri. Due to this community, I can only seem to associate Hulk Hogan's theme with Dixon from Xenoblade 1. Good. That's a, that's a net positive. Trust me. Yeah. Uh, and we'll end on this one. Oh, no. <laughs> I can agree. LGBTQ+, the B stands for bacon. 
From Hot Brand. I finally know what the B stands for. Yeah, you did lettuce, it. a bacon, and tomato. Proud of you. For reference's sake earlier, I believe it was Hop that even asked, like, is, does bi count in LGBT? And I'm like, yeah, that's what the B stands for. Mm-hmm. Alright, did we show everything? We got the class change. We got Ashley. We got the chokehold. Alright, I think we actually got through art blocks somehow, despite my 56k modem. Alright. Love a BLT sandwich. Bacon, lesbian, trans sandwich. <laughs> Alright. Let's uh, let's get the Wisdom of Duke out there for a rational soup, and then we'll get back to the game. Pork chop sandwiches. No, no, no. We were asking for bacon, not yeah. pork chop. He didn't know. He just wants a sandwich. It still involves a sandwich, so he's like half there. Yeah, it's got to have bacon with all that trans fat. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> womp, 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 womp. Thanks. I'm here for the rest of the night. Tragic, really. <laughs> wow! <laughs> I know he can take it. That's why I threw it at him. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> does this one have? Oh, you I think... I think our two remaining memories are uh, actually, yeah, they're in the underground. So we can't look at these just yet. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for the memories. Chad, don't hate on me. You loved it. You know it. I love my speedrunner sandwich of BLT, backwards long jump trans. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Wall. Um, I have to light both. Um, no, girl, light, light the candlestick. Girl! Ashley! Ashley? Ashley. Do you see the candle? Or is it too dark to see candles? I have to make sure the wall's not visible at all, and then she can look at the candlestick. <laughs> On the walls covered in old newspapers. Mm -hmm. All articles about the gold mine. Ah, giant button. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and press that. And then round enough trans people know they can all be LJ. <laughs> oh my god. What is the it from Celeste? Uh, like, uh, trans trans girls can double jump and trans boys can, like, wall jump? Is that how it is? Yeah, because it's the Pizza Tower and Celeste. That's the combination of the Ah, uh, okay. No, clearly BLJ stands for Be Like Jami. No. 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 <laughs> Have fun with that, chat. A round light. Oh. Oh. Right. No, I didn't realize there was actually going to be dialogue for that. It must be coming from a lamp, but... Where is it coming from to make it so round? Girl, you just lit that! Check the shade. It looks like someone made this hole on purpose. Hmm. Dash through obstacles, thank you. Yeah. Hmm. My stream cut off so hard, I heard John exclaim, Oh, a giant butt! <laughs> huh. Can't open those. It's too dark guess... to read these books. If only we had more candles or something. Ashley, got it. Do we know a candle maker? Wow. Ta da! Turns out it was just another brick in the wall. Oh, look. Don't forget, John, non-binary people can kill God. The floor opened up. Okay. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. All right, well, we got that pathway. Let's, is there anything else here worth checking out? Let's like, might as well light the whole place on fire at this point. This aesthetic is giving me Fallout 3 vibes, if you know the part of the story I'm talking about. <laughs> Stack of documents. Hmm. Sales contract. Were these used when selling gold? Yep. All right, 
right, I guess it's time to go down. Oh, hey, look, there's a scary basement to this scary basement. <laughs> I mean, this isn't even a basement. This is technically ground floor. Calling it a scary basement because it's only accessible through a freaking hidden door. Fair. <gasps> Gasp. Gasp. Flashback. I remember this secret basement entrance. Oh, I actually do. Okay. <laughs> D. D, you okay? I've been here before. Does that mean you know what's past here? I can't remember. I only remember stairs. I don't remember anything past them. <laughs> I don't even have legs. I can't do anything with this knowledge. <laughs> Did Dad go down Stairs were too short to BLJ. This place gives me the creeps. It's okay. I'm right here with you. Right. Got it. Thanks, D. So when I was talking about a point of no return last week, I was talking about here and how you should clean up collectibles before going into the basement. However, you've done that already. Good job, dude. Hell yeah. Wait, everything's been picked up? Yeah. Well, there's two more things to pick up in the game, but they're both down here in the underground. Oh, cool. Remember, John, according to Fallout New Vegas, bisexual people do plus 10% more damage to both male and female enemies. <clears throat> I'll, I'll trust you on that. Chapter 6. Another activated. Another activated what? Another the activated plot point. Must be Dad's lab. Oh. E. It's a nice lab. Yeah, it is. It's got walls, lights. But where's Dad? Yeah. Ashley, what is all this? I don't know. My dad's stuff, I guess. What's Grr. the matter? I'm just getting so frustrated. Where's dad already? We looked all over the place. Whatever. Forget it. Let's just find something to get those cuffs off Jessica ourselves. And then the two of us will get off this island. Just the two of us. Yeah. <laughs> Is D what? not allowed to get off the island? What did you say? Um, when? Just now. You said you're going to leave without even seeing your dad again. Well, I just... I mean, he... He's a dick! You told Jessica you'd find him. That you'd give him a chance. It's not that easy, D. I'm... I'm scared. I'm scared to meet him, to talk to him about mom. It'll be okay. Even though facing the truth can be hard, in the end, it's always for the best. Dad? <laughs> Dad? Can you hear me? Says the ghost that's hid himself away in the silver room. Yeah, but he's a ghost. He he has an excuse. <laughs> We're alive. What was that? Are we, though? I would hope so. It came from the other side of the door. <laughs> His name is Richard, so Somebody I guess he here? is technically a dick. Oh, wow, the, the freaking panel here is not an option to in interact with. I'm amazed. Ah. What's this? Oh, right now to start cross-examining the map. Found Jessica, hug. Let's 
of the real ghosts was the friends we made along the way. Let's make sure since they're actually drawing in the map. Okay, so there is one in this room in particular. Okay. Oh, and everything's updated again. Yep, everyone's profile updated except for Captain. We need to both sprout keys to unlock Lawrence's room. The keys to Henry and Thomas's rooms. Lawrence must have hoped that the two would always be close to one another. Maybe he was trying to make up for how he wasn't able to connect with Leonard. There was a hidden door underneath the desk uh, in Lawrence's room that led to a room on the first floor. And in that hidden room, there were stairs that led even farther down. So I have lots of puzzles up to now. And now I'm getting kind of excited. Somewhere along the way, working with Dee to come up with all these solutions has become really fun. But it does make me wonder what could possibly motivate someone to make so many puzzles sure if Jessica's okay. And when I found her, she was more worried about Dad than herself. Don't know why. He only thinks about his research and doesn't give his family a second thought. Anyways, I barely know Dad, so it's hard for me to do what Jessica says and believe in him, but I'll do what she wants and try to find him, and then we can have a good conversation and then save Jessica together. Yay! What are we gonna oh. say, Dee? I don't even remember at this point. Sorry. <laughs> family bonding. Made it to the other side of the door that I thought Dad must have gone through, but he wasn't there. I did find a hidden staircase that leads even further underground, though. I bet Dad's down there somewhere. I don't know what I'll find, and I'm a bit scared, but I can't let that stop me. I have got to find Dad and rescue Jessica. And I still have D with me, so I'm sure I'll be okay. See, it says further underground. We weren't in the ground floor, we were in the basement. And now we're in the basement's basement. In Lawrence's room, D remembered coming to see his great-grandfather when he saw the painting of the three Edward men. Thomas was crying as Lawrence held his hand. This place has a lot of memories for D, even if they're not all happy ones. Lawrence's room is decorated with lots of portraits, and one of them, in the one with him and the grown-up Henry and Thomas, he still had the same grouchy look he had in the one in the foyer. But I bet that was just an act. I think he was super happy to be there with his two favorite people in the whole wide world. I bet he loved looking at those portraits of the people he loved so much. Okay. Let us find the bird. Give me the bird! I saw birds. Give me the they bird. Were pretty. Nope. No. Photo. Huh? Oh, I was going with Sonic Adventure, but that works. <laughs> this is a picture. It's dad and mom. Hmm. And my aunt and someone I don't recognize. Wonder, wonder what Bill looks like, by the way. No reason. <clears throat> Eh, Bill. Bill probably looks like a Bill. <coughs> He's got that Bill kind of build. What's this? I approve. Oh, there's the bird. Walk Give past me it. the bird. My four philosophies. In me for this only three. There were many researchers like Sayoko and Bill at the lab where I used to work. Whenever I hit a roadblock in my research or had trouble clarifying some hypothesis, I'd ask a fellow researcher for help or indulge in superfluous conversations. This would often knock something in my brain loose to help set me back on track. That's not too easy in my current research environment, so I wrote down the four philosophies I used to talk about with Sayoko, and I've taken to repeating them when I need help. Don't get stuck on a single thought. Continue to develop new hypotheses. Try to refute my own hypotheses from different perspectives. Never assume something is impossible. A 1% chance of success is still a chance of success. And never lose that never give up attitude. Whenever I get stuck, I repeat those four philosophies myself. They represent the passion Sayoko and I both had for research. Kind of akin just to, to a pro rubber duck. Uh, I was just about to say the same thing about the rubber duck uh, programming or debugging. Rubber ducking is fun. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You That's what gamblers say. Okay, lots stop of it. fun. Not necessarily wrong. It's not, but that's not the context we want to apply to this. I mean, somebody managed to win the billion dollar Powerball. In Oregon, yes. And all it took was Bastard. buying a ticket. Mm-hmm. Lockers are, are private. I know that as a 14-year-old kid who definitely has not had theirs opened in high school. Is... Or junior high, or really any <laughs> any version of school. This is... 
the story of I remember all the people who would jam like uh, pen caps into their locker to like uh, make it so that it didn't actually lock. They could just open it really quickly. And then we had a lot of thefts in our school. Jeez. Who'd have thought? Yeah. I grew up in a smaller town, so if anything was stolen, one, there was a camera to see who did it, and two, it was kind of easy to call them out. Someone's in there. Hello? Are you there? The door talked to me! Please. The door gods are real! Answer me. If I could oh. just... Hear your voice. Hmm. Are you... Are you my... Ashley? Is it you? Say something. Who is that? Who are you? How do you know my name? It is you. I knew it. Ashley. It really is you. I asked you a Bill? question. Who are you? My name is Richard. I'm Richard Robbins. I'm your father. I, I miss you so much. Please, I, I just want to hear your voice again. <sighs> what are you thinking? Father, you sound just different than the last time really I heard going you. On. So I'm going to open this door. Somehow, Dad? Question mark. I don't see a way to open it. <sighs> nope, no good. Those little, those hey, doors look why won't this door open? Not ghost kid can't oh, go through walls, um, unfortunately. Yeah, nope. It's an automatic keyhole, door. though. There's got to be a gap of some much, sort. But thanks. I can't figure out how to open it. Is it locked? Not exactly. What do you mean? The door isn't receiving any power. Hmm. I'm telling you the truth. It can't open like this. Um. Ashley, please trust me. <sighs> I'll explain once we get the door open. We need to restore. Okay, fine. I get it. You need me to restore power to the door. So you'll do it? I'll at least give it a try. Thank you, Ashley. Well, and why does the door have the light on it? Finally. To show that it doesn't have power, obviously. Maybe. Oh. Ah. Well, need to go find a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> John, I'm going to need it from a JSA before you attempt to work on that. Sorry, what? Job safety analysis. Oh yeah, you need God. to ta you need to tag out the uh, lock. Mm-hmm. Ontario gets it. I've had to do those. Ah. Well, I've never yeah. had to tag anything, but I've had to do those classes. What? Ew, Three someone's years the drinking the screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> Screwdrivers are vodka and orange juice. God, get it right, people. I'm not an alcoholic, I swear. I was found a cup of coffee. Kind of gross. All right. I found a USB drive. Actually. That's a very weird design for a USB. Mysterious part. Okay, oh, less God. weird. I thought it was a pitchfork. <laughs> mm. Better screwdriver in your drink than a paintbrush. Yep. Huh? You put that into my Coke. I am now no longer drinking that Coke. I am done with it. Okay, so... Did you get it open? Yeah. Good. Way to go. 
Now you've just got to figure out the switches. Some of them may be locked. You'll need keys to release hey. them. <laughs> More keys? Yes, security keys. Like the orange one that was behind the cover? Just one? The rest must have been moved. Well, that's a security key, all right, but... You need two more. There are three in total, and each one is a different color. Got it. I'll look around for them. Time to knock over shit. Cat mode activate. Yeah. Use your unlock switch to find the switch. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Now it's probably last one's probably in the locker now. I don't want to go nosing around. Lockers I need permission, though, to look in the locker, which probably has the last key. I'll get in trouble. My dad okay, might possibly be behind that yet. door. Do you remember where you last saw them? Let me think. On the shelf with the glass door. And maybe near the blackboard? Okay, I'll check there. On the shelf with the glass door? Oh, because one of these is open a smidge. And has a Gee, I wonder which one it should be. Book. I don't know, guys. Jesus. I don't know. Wait a second. One of them is drawn in a different style. <laughs> I'm going to put it back, though. we got to put it back where it was. Freaking old-ass cartoon. I wonder what's going to move. <laughs> Do you see the book that's wait, out of place? Wait, is this... I think it's a logic oh. gate puzzle. Ooh. Oh no. Hell yeah. This reminds me of a puzzle. Um... Let's try orange first. Ah. Oh, it's just a rotation puzzle. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Wait. Wait, if you pull out the orange key Oops. and put it in the next slot over. Can you do that? I can, yes. Oh. Yeah. It does change them. Ah. Oh, good lord. Well, at least we know which is which, because it's not going to be blue key, because the orange isn't connecting. Yeah. So, we, we know what's in the first slot right away. Okay, I'll give the game this. This is a clever puzzle. I I think we have to connect all three. But I'm not I don't sure. No. Yeah. Well, let's find out first. It wouldn't surprise me if each one has a specific order they have to go in and they each unlock a different door or something, but you son of a bitch, so close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think we need to connect all three and I believe what was the one you tried first? Was it green or orange? Orange was, was orange. the first one that was tried. Okay. Yeah, green goes in uh, first, I think, then. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Puzzles are fun. I always love logic gate puzzles. Yeah. Oh, there's slots on the bottom, too. Yeah. Oh, oh, son my God. of a oh, bitch. Yeah. There totally are. Oh, I'm getting it. Yeah. The dots, the dots above the slot correlate to the pins on the device. Oh my God, they totally do. Interesting. Well, actually, no, wait, no, that doesn't seem to be the. Hmm. 
I think it I... does, actually. I need to look at them all just to be safe, but... Yeah. Yeah, they do. Good catch. Which means orange is top, middle, and then no, green is no, orange bottom. Is, orange is bottom uh, right, because it, it's the one and four. Was orange bottom... Oh, yeah. Orange, orange is, is one and four, right. okay. yeah. I miss red. I and then this them. is yeah, this is two and four. So that's Puzzles actually that's fun. pretty clever. I'll give him that. That's pretty clever. That is that is very that clever. It gives you just a subtle enough hint, but lets you theoretically be able but to you work can it also out on brute your own. force it. You want to know the sad brute thing? Force it. There's just enough information to, to be where fair. You could I figure it I out. was brute forcing it by accident with like when the blue got pointed at me at the bottom. So all right, so blue is done. And that should solve. You need to flip the bottom blue. Yeah. Yay! They're all connected. Brute force algorithm. Now the power should be back. Also, that's an extremely unsafe method to lock a door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What happens if the power goes out? <laughs> Hunger. Regardless, I think that is the most clever logic gate puzzle I've seen in a game. It's very clever. I liked mm -hmm. it a lot. Uh, you, you're Ashley. You've grown so much, but your eyes by eleven years, they're the same. They haven't changed a bit. They're just as they were 11 years ago. Yeah, eyes usually don't change with age. Grease, oh my so god. <laughs> Grease says, Ashley, your dad's hot. Can I be your new mom? <laughs> then who was... <laughs> oh no, he's hot! Ashley. He'd be hotter with longer hair. Eh, just above the shoulders, sure. Uh, Dad! <laughs> I remember. You're but then my I dad. Her. The first time I've seen him in 11 years, and all I can think is that he smells like chocolate. I'm glad I trusted Jessica and went looking for Dad. Jessica told me. She told me to believe in him. To hear him out. What do you hope to accomplish? Wait, what? Okay. What's wrong? Hmm? Um, uh... Hey, uh... Dad? I met someone here while looking for Jessica. Someone pretending to be you. He told me he's my dad. Could that have been... Bill. Why would he pretend to be you? Why would he lie about that? Come on, <clears throat> answer me. I'm sorry, Ashley. Sorry for what? You aren't mad at me, are you? Are you mad because I believed that Bill was you? Because I helped him look for the another keys? Bill was after the keys? Yeah, he asked me to help him. I used the DAS to track them all down. Wait, Ashley, did you... I gave them to Bill. I solved this piano puzzle and found a key. And then I ran into Bill, who told me he was you. I showed him the das, and he... He had you look for the keys. Yeah. Do you know where he is right now? He said something about booting up another, but... 
He has the keys, and he's heading for another? So he's heading here. Bill, what's your plan? I've got to go after him. <gasps> Wait, where are you going? You say Bill has a another right plan. Please. I'll protect another from Bill. Um. Oh yeah, sure enough, he's gone. So I guess I'm just, <laughs> just look around in here. I guess. Oh, a document. That Sayoko flashback mm. really has me thinking, though. Hmm. Adding addenda below regarding the memory control experiments that are now possible with the completion of the device implementing the another theory. Memory extraction. The experiment to extract a test subject's memory data and temporarily store it within another was successful. Memory replacement. The experiment of temporarily losing memories that are already present and overwriting them with different memories was successful. However, the use of this feature sometimes results in the subject suffering painful headaches, as well as hallucinations due to the muddying of their memories. Hmm... Memory restoration, oh, currently implementing... Ow! The feature to restore memories that have been temporarily lost back to their own... to their original state with a focus on safety. Uh. Bed frame. Did you get your memories yoinked, John? No, my head my headphones were yoinked out of my ears. This is <laughs> She really does not this the same hair color, girl. Come on now. Uh, yeah. It's February 24th. Oh, yeah. It reminds me, tomorrow's my birthday. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot because of all the adventure I'm on right now. Sayoko, alas, our another is complete after 11 years. Right now I'm remembering your words, Sayoko. If the memories that caused suffering were to disappear, your guiding principle was to use our memory controlling technology to alleviate suffering. That's why I'm sure you'd forgive me, Sayoko, for using another to erase Ashley's memories of what happened that night. I sent a letter in the DAS to Ashley. I prayed from the bottom of my heart that she'll come to this island. I need to speak with Bill one more time before I'm reunited with her. I'm certain Bill will understand what Sayoko and I desired for another. Dad. Ah, so he would have been fine if he had not contacted Bill. Mm-hmm. Nuh-uh. Poor Bill. Why do you think all these lockers are your dad's, Ashley? Some of them might not be. Some of them could have been Bill's. Well, now her birthday's why, ruined. Why, she knows what the gift was. Why, why is the gift a sealed teddy bear? Is this thing open, like vacuum sealed teddy bear? It's got a little card underneath it and everything. Don't want to open it, though. I was told to sit still. I mean, this is kind of a sealed off lab, so I imagine it's a little musty down here. Hmm? All right, let me double check the map one last time. It smells like chocolate and coffee. Hmm? The last one is not in a room we have access to yet. In Japanese, it's weird to point things out up front. Hmm. Explain that a little bit. Person locked in the lab calls himself Richard Robbins. Wait, really? I mean, my dad is supposed to be that guy I met in the drawing room who's totally focused on his research. This guy claimed to be my dad out of nowhere. It's just too hard to believe. But when he called me by my name, the dream I kept having suddenly popped into my head. It was the same voice of the one who finds me sobbing in a closet, and he puts his hands out to me. So yeah, this man's my real dad. Person who I thought was my dad was actually some awful guy he used to work with named Bill. 
He was tricking me to get to look at the another keys from Dad and to steal another for himself. I guess the bright side is that this guy isn't my actual father, thankfully. I'm glad. My old dad smelled like cigarettes, and that wasn't nice. <clears throat> this one smells like chocolate and coffee. Much better. Mocha latte sounds good right now. Dad, you're sure taking your sweet time. I didn't exactly rush here. You made it one room in. Dad, wait! I'm coming with you. Oh, that's a big portal. <laughs> Ashley. Where are we going? You'll see. Come on. Yay! Good, good words We're going to the danger to room. Could be coffee and cigarettes. Ah, so my grandmother. Oh, it sounds like I'm getting a visitor. Is, is it a bagel? I think it's Orange a bagel. It's another. We're about to play Tron. Hi, buddy. How are Special you? Agent Date, you have six minutes to get into Somnium. <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference. Hi, Reese. Hello. Everyone says hi. Seven, not six. No, it is definitely six minutes. I have heard Pewter say six minutes so many times for playing both games. You might not be hungry. Seven minutes into Wesker. Um, a little bit before stream, so I guess that would still be a couple hours ago. <laughs> I think he's in chaos mode still. Is this the prequel to Somnium? Yes, clearly. He'll settle down soon. You'll probably get. You'll probably jump on the desk a little bit. He might follow you up. Are you doing raids or something? Or? Yeah. Right, then he'll. Yeah, just block him out and he'll come down to me. You'll be fine. Hey, bud. He's scratching his post. He's fine. I like the vision they had for another, but the implications and side effects that could result from it just. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. What's that? Hmm. More so the memory replacement thing, like. It's another's control panel. There are the keys. Bill's starting it up. So that's his plan. What's going on? The fruits of your research are rightfully mine, Richard. <coughs> He's transferring another's data to someone. To who? My guess? To no one good. He's sending the source code. What he was hacking. Do? We'll be okay. Man. I built in some fail safes in case something like this happened. It's called smashing it with a hammer. It stopped. I changed one letter on line 2347. Oh! Oh! oh. I had there another is. key! <laughs> now you've really gone and done it, Richard. Bill. Why you? Your plan for another is entirely antithetical to its true purpose. Antithetical, you say? Stop this foolishness. Another's memory control was developed to help people. People with real trauma. People who suffered in accidents or in war. You used to understand this. It's why you helped create it in the first place. Oh, Richard. I am sick and 
tired of your Saint Richard holier than thou act. Bill. Certainly a holier than thou act, don't though. Grasp another's full potential. What do you mean? You've invented a revolution. This machine rewrites memories. People the world over would pay hand over fist for such a thing. Another can make us both rich beyond our wildest dreams. No, that's not what it's for. Another is the fruit of Sayoka's research, and you would reduce it to a cash grab? So, you know exactly how she intended another to be used, do you? What gives you the right to speak on Sayoko's behalf? I was married to her. Dad? My head... Uh, feels like it's going to split. Something the matter? Bill. Another is... It's... My dad created another. We're not letting you have it. You're nothing but a liar. Everyone lies, Ashley. Even your dad here. You haven't lied to me, have you? <sighs> What's the matter? Are you okay? Hey, buddy. Ashley, I... <sighs> You're wrong. My dad wouldn't lie to me. He may have been gone. He hasn't had life, the chance. But he's no liar. It's such a tragic tale, Richard, don't you think? Ask your father, Ashley. Ask him who killed your mother. Dad, do you know who killed Mom? Ashley, that. Well, standing next to a machine that freaking rewrites memories. Yeah, and we just read a note about headache-induced implied transfer memories. Like, I understand the point, but there's no tension here. I mean, there's got to be the some tension. Richard warned about. Hi. <laughs> if so, it couldn't have come at a better time. I booked. Bill! What did you do to my dad? You need to help him. I could help him. But on one condition. What? Use another on Richard. To do what? Memories are rushing to the surface. It's overwhelming his mind. You can stop his pain by taking control of his memories. Oh. Okay. Actually, this you're 14. Is backfire. <laughs> Ashley, you are a child. Do not use the memory rewriting machine on your father. Dad? Dad? Dad! You have six minutes, Agent Ashley. Uh, and turn back on the transferring of data. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Her middle name is Bazooki. Well done, Ashley. Okay, I've set the DAS and started up another. Access his memories from 1994. Mister, I'm sorry, you can't go back out. No, Nashla's middle name the whole game. Yeah, but we weren't making Somnium jokes until now.
Bill's the bad guy, right? Yeah. Okay. They messed up there, I feel like. The gun should have been in his left hand, because he's left-handed, right? What we saw just now? A Bill is? Dad's from 1994? That's when... I, I wasn't paying that much attention. Ashley. That is Or was the it just truth. the... I, I thought they mentioned that Bill was left-handed and, and Richard was right-handed. What's happening to my dad? You said you'd help him. He'll wake up soon, if he's lucky. That'll be all, then. Wait! Dad! Dad? What happened? Ashley, tell me what happened. Bill said that if I wanted to help you, I needed to boot up another. And that I needed to... to look at your memories of the night Mom died. What? Did... did you kill Mom? No, I... Ah. Dad? I would never hurt Sayoko. It simply isn't possible. Dad! Ah! <laughs> ah! A raid. Like another security systems were bypassed. This raid comes with four boss recolors, baby. Oh hell yeah! I do love a Come nice on, new new color palette. I love boss recolors. All right, well, I'm gonna leave Richard here staring off into space as we uh, run some countermeasures. <laughs> Hi Wang, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. Hopefully the stream was good. Sounds like it was if we had all those recolors. We are just I love all those recolors. We're just finishing up uh, trace memory or another code, the first game, two memories. So once we do that, we'll figure out if we're gonna start working on the second game or if we're just gonna go do something else. We'll see what chat wants. Did he use another two? Ashley. I need you to do something for me. Look at my memories again. We were doing Legend of Mana, and we finished up one of the three main plot threads. What? Use another oh, at least they're to straightforward like about that. Memories. You should be able to do that with the DAS. Okay, but how? I equipped another with a few bonus features. <laughs> they're accessible only by using the DAS. I never told Bill about them. They were designed to protect another from those who would use it for harm. These features in the DAS can protect another? That's right. And I only trusted one person to keep the DAS safe. <laughs> you, Ashley. And you alone. Dad. Use that to play back my true memories in another. This is the truth. What really happened the night Sayoko died? Ah! <clears throat> wow. 
what the? So wait, he made a fail safe to another for people that intended to use it improperly, uh, but he's surprised that he encountered someone using it improperly? Dad! There's Gosh. a concept known as defensive coding. Um, I mean, sure. Where you he also probably didn't expect in. it to be Bill, either. Yeah, realistically. Mm -hmm. But, uh, ma'am. I'm almost expecting to be literally combined the dash with photo of mom. Oh, damn it. That would have been funny. Combine the lighter with photo of mom. Yo, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Or I guess alternatively, he was acting surprised Bill's using it improperly for this moment. <laughs> that wasn't Vincent, that was me. Hey, look, I, ha I enjoy dark humor, but don't give me credit for dark humor I didn't make. <laughs> You're welcome, Becky. Well, let me read everyone's bios while I'm here. Make sure we haven't missed number 14. Yeah, D hasn't said a, a lot recently. I mean, he has no technology, so... Yeah. Dad? All right. Use the DAS. Yeah, I'm trying to. Also, do we know where the last uh, paper crane is? Is it in here or something? It's not else? in this room. Okay. I can't reverse my camera. I can't take my selfie. Ashley Mizuki Robbins scanned. He's recognized Ashley Mizuki Robbins. Biometric data accepted. Additional features now available for use. Yay. Damn, you figured that out way faster than I did? Well, I knew it had to be... They, they literally said, like, you're the key. And I realized I had the picture and I didn't take it. So I'm like, okay. There's only other, one other feature I can think of that would work. Restore feature unlocked. All right. Time to delete! <laughs> <laughs> Oops, finger slipped. But he had been discovered. Sayoko. Well done for once again instantly solving a puzzle that apparently tripped up most of chat. Nice. I wouldn't say I instantly got that either. I still did muck around a little bit. Dad? Dad! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I... When I... When I came home, your mom was... She was already... I know, <clears throat> Dad. I saw it in another. What really happened the night Mom died. Mom was shot protecting me and another. You came home to find her like that. The last thing Gosh, she said. I no one picked up on the Monokuma line. I did. In your arms. Mm -hmm. No, I, 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 I picked safe. it up. <laughs> it's okay now, Dad. We know the truth. You didn't kill her. Oh, Ashley. Dad, it's okay. We are okay. My memories. 
They're back. I feel like I finally earned the right to hug you. Dad. <laughs> Yay, hug. Let me knock you unconscious in the process. Oh, my hip. Oh, Ashley. I'm so glad. So glad I trusted you like Jessica asked me to. By the way, your sister's here. <laughs> but now, Bill has the research you and Mom were trying to protect. What do we do? Not all of it. Another could wind up in anyone's hands. Ashley. Richard, please protect the another. Don't worry. I won't let another fall into the wrong hands. Dad? Can I borrow the DAS? Oh, uh, sure. That's good. I'm gonna do something stupid. Bill won't get away with this. <laughs> I'll keep another safe. It's just as you said, Sayoko. I'm gonna delete his save file. Oh, it's still transferring. Damn, it's taking a sweet ass time. <laughs> that should do it. This is what you wanted, right? Self destruct sequence initiated. If I go down, I'm taking you with me. What? What's happening? Huh? Richard! What have you done? Alright, that's a really good delivery of that <laughs> line. God damn. That was God damn. Alright. That was very, very Yeah, that was great. Metal Wolf Chaos. Extremely Metal Wolf Chaos. Richard! <laughs> what would, have you done? Would you believe that if a dev straight up said, yeah, we made that as a Metal Wolf Chaos reference. That would be so funny. But I think this came out like the same it. year Metal Wolf Chaos came out, or pretty damn close. Okay. I think they were like a year apart. Hey, John, I know that this is out of nowhere, but I'm glad that your past has made you who you are today. Oh, that's, that's really sweet. Thank you, Daniel. I just, I, just, I don't know, I feel a little weird about my past at times, so... The annoying thing of, like, you have to go through the shitty things to become a good person. I am never a fan of that thought process, but unfortunately it's very, very true. And the reason is, I'm the President of the United States of America! Chapter 7, The Miracle <laughs> of the Blue Moon. What's happening? Oh, it already blew up. That was very fast. I have a few tricks up my sleeve too, Bill. You destroyed another? Yes. An emergency failsafe. But this was all we had left of Mom's work. It's for the best. What happened here will never happen again. Dad? I'm going to handle this. You wait here. No, I want to go with you. I don't care how dangerous it is. I can't just wait here. Ashley. You're right. Let's go together. Nice. Sparking real good. <sighs> Changed her tune on that pretty fast. Saying I know. No she's more another. She's tomorrow. Nah. Nah. I gotta go find Bill. Nah. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Now, I don't know if you've used one of these before, Ashley, but this is called an elevator. D. <clears throat> Thanks. For what? If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have made it this far. And I definitely couldn't have saved Dad. Who now thinks I'm crazy because I'm so, definitely audibly talking to a ghost. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Wait. Dad starts with D. I'm Once talking talk to, to D. Bill. It's and D, my dad. Jessica, I'll help you get your memories back. Unfortunately, we just destroyed the memory hel helping tool. We should have put you in it first. I'll mm -hmm. be right here by your side. Until you've remembered everything. Thank you. <laughs> Does it D stand for Dad Killer? Boo! You see the D on this grave? It stands for Dracula. <laughs> Bill, no, not the another yeah. invader. Curse you, Richard, the human father. Sorry, what were you going to say? No, no, you first. Okay. You've been doing research here with Bill for a while, right? Yes, I have. So are you... friends? We were, once. Then how did things turn out like this? It's a mystery to me, too. That's why I want to find him. So I can ask him about all of this face to face. Oh. What were you about to say? I was just curious. Before we got into the elevator, I thought you said something. I was, um, just talking to myself. That's all it was, huh? We just learned about how bad lying is, Ashley. The elevator was moving the whole time during that conversation. I'm concerned how deep down they dug this. It's it so is a gold funky. mine. Yeah, watch your step. Bill should be up ahead. For a second, I thought that was like in their head because it applied the same exact echo mm -hmm. of, <laughs> of talking Hold to yourself on. in your head. It's like, what's I'll going go first on and check here? For him. Wait here, I hope they okay? all remember that Jessica is still trapped in the wine cellar. <laughs> She's napping it off. Oh no, a shoe. That was the shoe that was in the briefcase, I pet. D? I remember now. Or at the very least, the matching shoe. I've come this way before. Through this cave? Yes. I was running away. Through the courtyard. Out to the cave. Who were you running from? It was... My relative, I say father, but I guess it was actually the uncle still. Myself. My shoe. Oh, so it, no, it wasn't that shoe then. Thomas, why? Why can't you understand? I need that money. I'll do anything. For my son. If you won't give it over willingly, you leave me no other choice. Stop this, Thomas! Daniel, wh what did you see? Yep, sure enough. Damn, Daniel. Yes, that's right. I can see the person chasing me. 
it was Uncle Henry. I saw my father in the silver bird room, covered in blood. I was scared. So very scared. So I kept going. That's when I lost my shoe. We also used to play Monopoly. I was always the shoe. Just really, really shoe. Big fan. Legless, legless ghost form really sucks, all things considered. Bill. <laughs> Bill! Thanks for all this, Richard. How could you destroy another? It took us 11 years to complete. What were you thinking? What's your plan? Where did you send the another data? So, you finally figured out that I was trying to sell the data. When did it click? When I showed you the roadmap to its completion. You started when you started downloading it to sell it. And so, you took it upon yourself to meddle in my affairs. You hid the another keys. You programmed a failsafe into the DAS and sent it to your daughter. I wanted to trust you, Bill. I wanted to believe in you. I thought you understood Sayoko's and my goals. Agreed, Chaos. Sayoko, again, I am sick of you and your ideals. And there's the gun. Huh. For a gun like that, it should have had a lot more echo than it did. I mean, yeah, echo in a cave. D, shoe. D. Because I did not see a silencer on that thing. Osley, Ashley should probably be deaf too right now. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, from how close that is in a cave like this, yeah. He was a bit away towards the waterfall. At least we know where they're getting all their power for this. House. Are you sure? So, so mm -hmm. did he did he miss or was it a warning shot? Because like dad's just standing perfectly. They're both just standing perfectly still. It's it's possible we jumped back in time. No, it, she literally reacted <laughs> to the gunshot. What? That was your first and last. It was a warning shot. Too. Okay. Okay, it was warning. Everybody should be deaf right now. I can't believe you would betray us for some quick cash. You partnered with us for all those years, only to use another for your own selfish purposes. <laughs> Tell me everything. Tell me the whole truth. You wouldn't understand. What I've been through. What I wanted. Sayoko. Stay back, Ashley. Oh man, if they both turned and said oh, yes, that would have been fucking time. hilarious. Something's <laughs> much more interesting. No! Stop! This is farewell, Ashley. What are you hoping to accomplish? Murder, obviously. Hiding in the closet. I saw everything. Who killed Ma? Wait, what? <laughs> really? It was Lawrence. Oh, <laughs> uh, the fact they don't put the fact they don't put D as an option kind of upsets me. Can it was Jessica? Can can you answer this wrong? I want to, over? but I don't want to fuck up. Oh no. Chat, oh. chat, somebody in here has to chat, answer this what wrong. Happens? What happens if we answer I do not, wrong? I do not want to get a bad ending because I fucked this part up. So I'm going to put in the correct answer. Do we get something bad if we do something wrong? 
know what I happened. Know what happened, but I'm not saying. All right, you. fair enough. Leslie, welcome. Is there a video of the wrong answers? Because I'm genuinely curious now. I will look. Mom killed mom. <laughs> Yes, there is. Okay, good. So there's a video of the wrong answers. Thank God. <laughs> Wait a second. I know who did it. Red herring. Alright, someone else got the link because my search results are fucked. I'm getting a bunch of murder trivia party. <laughs> murder. It was you, Bill. Ha! I would never have guessed you'd remember with such clarity. So, it was you? It was. How could you? Why did you murder Sayoko? <laughs> it was. She was a traitor. <laughs> what? A traitor to who? You really are clueless, aren't you? Sayoko was working with us. Oh, who is us? From the very start, the Another Project was conducted in secret. Sayoko and I were handpicked by the lab's head to carry the project forward. Wait. You were just a researcher, a useful tool. That's all I was to you? We started making real progress. But then, Stayoko betrayed us. You two am stole our so research. I am so confused. So, I gave but intrigued. one more chance that night. I told her to return the research and return to the fold. But Sayoko, she... She refused. I... She chose you. I thought they... So hired this Bill. It was nice having you as a daughter. Short-lived as it was. <gasps> Ashley! Except for you! You. <clears throat> no. I wish you would step back from that ledge, my friend. I, for a second, thought Richard was reaching for D. <laughs> <laughs> so I genuinely thought I for a split too. second, for a fucking split second, I thought that was the case. It's okay, just hang on. Brother, help. Long live the king. Damn your scrawny nerd muscles! <laughs> Why do I sweat so profusely? Nah, he started smiling. <gasps> it's not even that okay. far a fall. I think I've fallen from a higher height. Right? Right. He didn't hit any rocks. He straight up landed in yeah. the water. So unless that shit shallow as fuck, he's probably alive. Yeah, may probably. Maybe there's stalagmites under there. No, it's stalactites. Dad. Slag might it from the ceiling. Dad. Are you okay? I'm okay. 
You look sad. Yeah, he could have drowned, but. Hitting water at speed is really good, but yeah, but we just said a yeah, lot of us. Not a he, to be fair, he he did kind of land on his back. He did not actually like land straight down, which is what you're supposed to do when you're cliff diving. So if he yeah, did like hitting the water flat at that height and speed, yeah, that could fuck him up. But he would have been dead from that. Not He'd from probably that go height. into shock and then drown. Mm, yeah, fair. that's more likely. From a distance, I could tell how sad he looked. As someone that's been launched 30 feet in the air, tubing, boat tubing on a lake, I know how that feels. Did you ever suspect that Bill might have been the one who shot? No, never. It never even crossed my mind. What are you going to do now? I need to figure out exactly what Bill was up to. It looked like he was sending yeah, the stalactites are the ones on the ceiling. Stalagmites are the ones on the ground. I thought mites were on the ceiling because they stalagmite fall on you. No, no. It's, they're. No. Look, I use I use stalagmite are like mighty looks strong. Like, uh, st T looks like it's on the ceiling and something's coming down. M looks like a bunch of things going up. Mm -hmm. I've always remembered it as tight is hanging because they have to hang on tight yeah. or else they'll fall. Exactly. On Hold on tight. That's the one I used to. I just look at the letters. I'm just like, yeah, that's a stalact that that looks like a stalactite. Oh, you know what? I should probably check something. Um Let's check some bios. No, let's just check this. <laughs> See, not good that Naku, that reasoning is actually why I never like that because it's just like, oh yes, it might get to the ceiling in the other, just like, oh, that's very easy to misremember as it might get to the floor. Yeah, it could easily be. So that's why I'm just like, ah, but M looks like it's going up and T looks like it's going down. All right, Violet, Violet just made the most convincing argument. Select, might D, ground, select, tight, C, ceiling. Oh, right, because they're not both stalac. They're stalag and stalac, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Violet's right on that. Forgot there was actually a difference between those two there. I mm -hmm. hate that. I hate that with a passion. But you appreciate it nonetheless. No, I just hate that they're different. <laughs> <laughs> it was sad and scary to watch Mom die, but I'm glad we know that Dad didn't kill her. <laughs> Hold on, let me look up the entomology about this. Yeah, it turns out entomology is the study of insects. <laughs> I'm gonna... I knew as soon as you said entomology, I was gonna fucking hate your answer. Hey, what person got it? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, so, you oh, know, we, a couple we, people we, got it. Okay, good. We we knew what he was going with that. It... <laughs> Iskabert, the difference between ent entomology and etymology bugs me in ways I cannot describe. Oh. All right, and there's our final bird. I'm amazed that counts. Genetic memory scanned. Let me actually look up the where they came from. Found an extremely interesting article in the scientific magazine today. Thanks to advancement in research in the field of genetic memory, in the field Sayoko once studied, a DNA memory expansion device has been developed. It's expected to be announced soon. Genetic memory is a theory that an organism's experiences and memories are stored in its DNA. When that DNA is transferred into another organism, the experience and memories are inherited. <coughs> in short, this supports the theory that an individual's experiences and memories can be transferred to another person. What would Sayoko think if she could experience this new device? Knowing her, she would want to test it by making a backup of her own memories, so that Ashley could have a piece of her after she was gone. If only she could have done such a thing. But Sayoko's gone, so the thought must go as well. I'm going to guess that's a setup for the second game. 
Because that kind of screams plot device for next game. Speak okay. Um, question I was gonna ask. I was a little bit confused by that bit of Bill and Soyoka were selected and he was brought in and Richard was brought in as a researcher. Because I thought it was Soyoka and Richard were working on it and they hired yeah. Bill as the lab assistant. Unless they were unknowingly put into another at some point to alter the memories of things. Is, that isn't it? that the whole lab assistant thing what Bill told Ashley? I think you're right. Oh, was it something Bill mentioned? Okay, then that's... Well, let me let me check these notes first, because it might be here in the notes. I forget. <laughs> Nomura! <laughs> yeah. I do not remember where that that plot point even comes up. But I think I, I think like Bill himself said it. I think it was just in passing dialogue. Yeah, I thought it was something in dialogue, but I don't remember if it was Jessica or if it was Bill who mentioned it. Fuck, this is... Uh, man, this puts too many loose ends that they need resolved now. God damn it. And that's Which what game the second is game is game for. Exists. I know! That's what I was just about to say. Why is you so good to have a second game? Okay, so from what I'm looking at, apparently uh, Greek was also just as annoying because uh, it is uh, Stalagmos and then uh, Stalactos. Yep. Let's go. So uh, even back in, <laughs> even back then, it was annoying. Apparently. <sighs> Ashley, are you okay? Yeah. It's just been a long day. Right. Of course. Now you did just see someone die. Get some rest. Here in this cave. Okay, but what <laughs> about you? I'm going to go get your aunt. Actually, Violet, it was a K, not a C. She you had the key to the handcuffs, or did he magically pull it off Bill before he fell? He'll just hit it with a hammer or some shit. Hmm. Psycho brought Bill onto the project, play, uh, painting it as someone that the two of them hired that were just working on. Then she hired Bill, but actually Bill and Psycho were both researching it at the behest of their organization, and they just lied to Richard. At least that's my understanding of it. Okay. I mean, How about this? yeah, that's more or less what I gathered, but it's still... Leaves a lot of questions opened. <laughs> yep, that's language for you. Yeah. This is. I mean, English is just three different languages in a trench coat. English is three trench coats of three <laughs> languages in a trench coat in a trench coat. That's too many trench yeah. coats, man. They gotta be warm as all fuck. It's four trench coats in nine languages. D. You saved my life. I didn't want anyone to die. Not even Bill. Yes, Enough Bill said saw D. On this island. It came back to me. I'm in this box. When your dad reached his hand out for Bill, I remembered my death. That well. day, all those years ago, I was running from Uncle Henry and wound up here. He caught up to me. Daniel, stop! Stop running! It's your heart! It can't! But I was so scared, so I kept running. I ran all the way to the cliff, and when I stopped at the edge, Daniel, please, be careful. Come here. 
get over here. I tell you, you gotta hand it to him, but he's only got one of them. That's why you gotta hand it to him. He needs a second hand. The imprint on his heart was his uncle's hand, the person who killed his own father. Jesus. Uncle Henry's hand. It's a fucked up hand. Yeah, it doesn't have a thumb, which is why it doesn't look like a hand. I don't have room to talk considering how fucked up my hands are from arthritis, but still, that's a fucked up hand. Yeah. I... I don't know how to respond to that hand. Like, because theoretically, I could see it with the the curve that goes. I, all I the could way see it Simpsons right style. Yeah, I could see it Simpsons style, where it's like the three fingers and a thumb. It's it's not even three fingers. Like, I could see all five fingers out of that. It's very stylized, but I could see it. It's just, like, I understand why people don't. <laughs> the fucking Legend of Daniel's comment just threw me. <laughs> Hey, this hey. isn't a stalagmite, it's three rocks in a trench coat. Oh my god. This mm. must be Bill's notebook. Does it have the key to our There's sister's handcuffs? Stuck in it. Ants. Looks like a photo. Is this Bill as a kid? So I guess this would be his mom. Ashley. I think that's Franny. Which must mean... No fucking way. Whoa. When did you... It always what? Back to family. I had a suspicion when I saw him in the drawing room. It was his eyes. They looked so much like Franny's. Hmm. Photo of a parent and child. Hmm. <sighs> Computer. Oh, look at McDonald's. How can I get the order? That is why Bill had access to the island. Amazing. Okay, so that actually makes a lot more sense. Because I, I always wondered how he ended up here. How Richard specifically did. So that answers that. <laughs> I keep forgetting that Franny actually got off the island. Fine. She's like one of the only people that fucking got away. And that was a thing that happened when like her mom left Henry. But what would it be her motivation to come back, let alone tell Bill about it? I mean, she might have just told Bill. Camera. I guess, but... Bill could have just decided to use this place on, on like, a whim. This game is creating more conspiracy theories than I ever wanted to have happen. What did it transfer? JC Valley mm -hmm. underscore zero zero one three, join the room! JC Valley <laughs> underscore zero zero one three, I got the data. Dot, dot, dot. Something go wrong? Dot, dot, dot. I... JC Valley underscore zero zero one three, left the room. Huh? Well then. Sorry, I missed your message was in the bathroom. Sorry I missed your message. I am dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I missed your... <laughs> Thank you. I was about to make an underwater joke. <laughs> All right. Leave me on read, asshole. <laughs> Jessica, Damn, sorry. they got up there and back fast. You made it. <laughs> I was taking a drink on that one. I was so worried. It's okay. I'm here. You weren't hurt, are you? So glad Emotionally. Okay. Emotion, I'm scarred. I saw someone else die. <laughs> Ashley, is she okay? She's fine. Just She's exhausted. napping. She's been she eating a lot. Of course. Like mother, like daughter. I'm thinking about Bill. How could this have happened? He used to be optimistic, so full of hope. He never would have done something like this. Except he did. That was the Bill I knew, too. 
Seeing you now, for the first time in years, he was so full of anger. When did he change? I really can't say. Mm. Probably close to when he oh. killed him. Ashley, do you hurt anywhere? Let's get her some fresh air. There's an exit this way, at least to the coast. Did Bill get fake memory suit? That's what I'm kind of wondering. Like. Well, good news, there's a second video game in this series that may answer some of these questions. Or it might leave us with more. Hooray! Uh, this place... It's the cove. It was in the painting by Uncle Henry. Probably both answers and more questions. Yeah, you're probably right, and I hate that. Is it the boat? It's time for the captain to return, everyone's favorite character. The most important character in the series. What a coincidence. Hey! We just didn't see the boat hey! somehow. It was there the whole time. Also, CO2, we know Ashley's oh, part of the second game. That voice. If it isn't the young miss. Captain! Captain! The captain in the Japanese version is voiced by Blackbeard from One Piece. Amazing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, Captain. You weren't at the dock when I arrived. So I, <laughs> I was starting to worry. Glad to see you're safe. Thanks for coming. And I see you met up with your dad, eh? Great. Yeah. Well. I also saw wrong? someone die. <laughs> You tired? <laughs> a little, yeah. You and me both. It's all part of growing up, one exhausting day at a time. <laughs> Did I say something funny? I wish I could tell you the whole story, Captain. But I gotta sell them Even book rights first. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Out of curiosity, young miss. Who's that next to you? Did you make a friend? Huh? <gasps> you can see D? <gasps> Why'd you run? I hope I didn't scare the boy off. D? Someone can see me. I hate this. I'm out. Oh no. D, don't. Dee, don't you want to Sorry. speak to the captain? Here you go. Sorry, I have to go speak to my imaginary friend. I wonder how the world has changed. It's okay to take it slow. One day at a time. I have a lot of catching up to do. All the new research papers alone. I, I was only able to glean so much from the news. Catching up in the latest tech it will be a lot of work, too. Are you going to keep working as a scientist once we're back? Oh, right. He worked in this machine with 90s tech. I haven't thought about it yet. I've never done anything other than research. Because he started in 94. Well, is there something else you want to do? Something else I want to do, I suppose. Or at least that's when he went away and worked on it. Family meal. The day got a bit crazy, huh? You must be tired. Totally wiped. It wasn't too easy for you either, though, right? 
That's for sure. But I'm okay. Thanks to you. Let's take it easy when we get back. It's almost your birthday. <laughs> your best it's 11 years to make another with 90s tech. Takes about a week now, tops. Hey, dude. D, here you are. Ashley. You must have been pretty shocked that the captain saw you, huh? Yeah. I, I didn't think there were any adults who could see me. Then there were two. One's dead, though. Hey, Ashley. What's up? I've... I've had fun spending time with you. Uh, that was fun? <laughs> <laughs> An appropriate question. Being with you was... You helped me remember everything from my life. So thank you. What's this about? I'm glad I met you, Ashley. What's going on? You're acting weird. Hmm. Come on, D. Touch my hand. Take my hand this one last time. Pull my fingers, stop it. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. I will now be absorbed into your body, and we will live our life together. Ashley, Here is my montage, so you remember me. See me? Can't believe I've made friends with a ghost. What a day. That's why it's so important that I regain my lost memories. <laughs> we are Dashley? <laughs> <laughs> nice. It'll be okay. Even though facing the truth can be hard. In the end, it's always for the best. I'll be right here by your side. Until you've remembered everything. Dash, do you mean... ADB, do you mean the captain that showed up just a moment ago? Because we saw him at the beginning of the game. Ashley... I'm glad that you don't have to be alone anymore. What? Because I have to leave now. Bye-bye. I'll miss well, you. Now that I have my memories back, I think I can move on. D. Okay, fair enough, ADP. Ashley. Everyone on this island, you're the only one who really gets me. Mm. Goodbye, Ashley. <laughs> Neat. Goodbye. <laughs> cool story, bro. Girl, I'm dead. I can't even leave this island. <laughs> Goodbye, Ashley. Goodbye. Father. You finally got to pass on. Your dad was in the moon the Thanks whole time. Everything. <clears throat> Son of a bitch. So long. The bad end is that he has to wander the island as she leaves. And this is how you find out the boat captain's actually the ferryman of the sticks. <laughs> Karen, nice. Oops. 
Did not mean to actually use that. I meant to actually investigate it. I knew there's going to be writing on it. With my dear son, Bill. The bad end only exists in the original DS version. You can't get it in the remake. That's disappointing. Would, do you only get the bad ending if you literally don't realize who killed your mom? So you almost have to try to get the bad ending at that point. Hmm. I'm going back in. Yeah. Never mind, I'm not. I hate everything I've learned on this island. I want to forget it. From what I have heard, a lot of D's memories are missable and optional in the DS version. Interesting. Oh. Okay. In the original DS ending, you don't automatically find D's memories. You have to search for them. Not finding them at not finding them all is the bad ending. Jesus. Okay, that makes sense. Ashley. Sorry, I'm trying to talk to Dad. <laughs> Never forget. Go faster since 1955. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah. So then... <laughs> Look like the Noid. Bye! It's time to go, Ashley. <laughs> Yay! Dad, look. It's a moon rainbow. A moon hmm. bow. A rain. Wow. What a beautiful moon. I mean, I've seen that yeah. before, like rainbow rings around a moon. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll sometimes come out to this cove at night. I'd look up at that blue moon, and I'd think about you and Sayoko. But, Dad. Did you ever wonder where your middle name Mizuki comes from? It's Japanese. Same as your mother. It means beautiful moon. Beautiful moon, huh? I think it's a pretty name. Isn't it? It was your mother's idea. Skiga Kire Disney. Ashley. I forgot What's my up? wallet. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> it's a light bulb. Is this? It belonged <coughs> to Sayoko. I think you should have it. Thank you. Your hands are pretty warm, huh? Are they? Hey, Dad? It's been a weird day. Yes, yeah, so again, this rubber dinghy and we'll roll ourselves home. <laughs> But I'll remember it forever. My day on this island. The day before my 14th birthday. When I woke up.
woke up the next morning after getting home from the island, I found something great. Dear Ashley, happy 14th birthday. And on the bed I found... The teddy bear. Don't know when they went back to get it, because I don't know where he would have hid that, but... Two memories. The end. All right, so that fun. is the end of Trace Memory. So the first game's done. So now we find ourselves in a bit of a quandary here. Are we doing the second game? This will take, um, I think, at least three game clearing streams, if not four, I think is what I was told. It is much longer, I have been told. A lot of people want to see the second game. It is twice as long. Second one is a long game. The first, better question: Do you want to do the second game? Tonight? I mean, I can. I'm down to start the second game tonight. I'm cool with that. Yeah, it could be fun. Second game is better than the first one. IMO. Would love to see the second game. Second game is like 14 hours. Xeno Kid, if I recall, you picked the incorrect answer in the. Incorrect answer in the original DS version who the killer was actually just goes like, wait, that's not right. And you get to choose again. Oh, in the original DS version. Did they change that? Yeah. This is what happened in this one. Don't know. Okay. Now, Adrian and a couple others might actually bring up a better question. Do we want to start the second game tonight? Because we're probably only going to play for an hour and a half. I'm conflicted on that. I'm leaning no myself. Do we want to put it out to a poll? Do you have any lightning round games that are an hour and a half? I'm sure I can find something to play. Worst case, we just do the birthday wheel. I'm seeing a few people saying yes, but I'm also seeing a lot of people saying no slash birthday wheel. All right, let's do a poll here that. first. So let, Okay, so let's say we are going to do the second game. So we're we're going to do the second game. Okay. So uh, start game two tonight. Yes. No. Just so the vote's not split. Play that shmup you did on Saturday? Oh, Biohazard? I mean, I guess we could. That wasn't what jumped to mind immediately, but a couple couple people are bringing up Biohazard Battle because we got to the... I looked up the long play. We were maybe 30 seconds away from the final boss. <clears throat> oh. That's how close we were to beating the game. Oh, right, I forgot the fucking mobile app is still busted and we can't use the... Can't depend on oh. Androids. Oh, shoot. Right. Well, I'll tell you right now, vote count-wise enough, yeah, like, we, we don't got to worry about that. Yeah, like, it's it's 80% to 20%, 103 to 27 Remember those two GBA games from Last Chaos Cookie were fairly short games? That's true, and I have a password for one and a save for the other. We could do that. We could finish Larry Boy and we could finish that Matchbox game. I think they're both literally still on my console tower. I think Larry Boy actually might even be in the, the uh, GameCube. All right, so chat seems to want to start game two next week. So next Monday, we start uh, the second half. Do we want to watch the intro now, and then I'll just replay it later? Do we want a teaser? What do you want to do? Hmm. Okay, so the app and poll does work now. Oh, sweet. Okay. Oh, that's good. Um, 
I'm seeing that question being split between yes and save it. I. They changed how they did the confrontation between D and Bill in the remake, as D told Bill Franny would cry. Oh, so D knew at that point. He did say he suspected, so I guess it would be kind of him taking a shot. Becky, I'm ready to scream about Veggie Tales again. All right, so people were back and forth on the teaser, so maybe do we not do the teaser then? We'll just jump right I, in next stream. I t I think we save it. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. All right. We'll save it and we'll jump in next week. Oops, and I have not put away the poll. My bad. There we go. Um. So, yeah. Do we want to just do some, I guess, technically a lightning round? Yeah, fuck it. We'll just do it a lightning round. We'll finish up Larry Boy and we'll finish up uh, Matchbox. Those should not take too long. Alright, but we will take a break here now. So... Let's drop some Sir, eggs. that poor baby is not your forging anvil. <coughs> Phase on Farmer gifted this up to Sir Chugs a lot. JTM Inc. for 38. Delta Tubs for 17. Finally gone one week without a seizure. That hasn't happened for years. You ate a new medication. Oh, I'm sorry you had to deal with that in the first place, but I'm glad that the new meds seem to be helping. James KT for 59. E. Mister for 8. Iska Bird for 51. Transgwender for 28. Guy Men Online for 55. Gokai Orange for 70. And Cobelarus for 13. Thanks for subbing and hanging out tonight, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of... I'm going to assume the shuffler, because game clearing doesn't usually get too many eggs. And I assume... No! There is one in there! From Pantero. Duke is a Pokemon trainer. Part 2. Don't mess with me, Gary, or you're going to get the horns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't expect him to have Gary as an actual line. Okay, well then fucking there we go. Pantero, I might need that one. Uh, oh, dookie boy. We're going to go to break. When we come back, some lightning rounds, some cheesy Game Boy Advance games. See you guys in a bit. Also, Spiel doesn't have a horn, but I don't... I think it, ha I think it does have horn attack. Oh. oh, you know what? It's literally holding an air horn. <laughs> okay. Pew, 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 pew. Back in a bit. <laughs> what do you got for bless questions, you. chat? <laughs> also, yes, bless you, John. You got questions? We may or may not have the answers you want. I can answer any question. Will it be correct? I don't know. <laughs> favorite horned Pokemon, Sfeel. My favorite gif on the wall is the one in the bottom left because it's dumb and funny. On the opposite, the, the top right is my favorite because it's just so fucking absurd. The, the I top like right is a really good bit. The top right is a genuinely skillful bit. I like Goomy. Is that the one in the bottom middle? Yes. Yeah. They are cute. If you hear a knock at the door, would you be more surprised to see a fairy or a walrus? Depends on the kind of fairy, depends on the walrus. Uh, a walrus, I'd be a bit more surprised by, because, like... Now, a Not seal, I would actually be more surprised by the fairy.
What is your Pokemon Sona? A Pokemon trainer. I can only imagine what my Pokesona would be. <clears throat> Profile pic. <clears throat> Guess how many different start tour combinations there can be? I'm confused at that question. What did everybody have for dinner tonight? All I've had for all I had today was a pizza and some uh and some of the br the cookie brownies that came with it. I had a um a spicy chicken sandwich from Quick Trip and then um garlic sausage pizza. I was, was going to have make a quesadilla for dinner, but the packs of tortilla shells that I had all got stuck together and were just ripping themselves apart trying to unstick them. Ooh, so I had, that yeah, so I had to throw the whole pack and I just heated up some instant ramen. What what you can do in that case is um hard seller I'm assuming soft shell, right? Mm-hmm. Um when you're in that kind of situation, they actually make reasonably good um additives to chili and certain other soups. I um, guess. And I, I get, uh, I did have, I do have the stuff to make chili, but I was gonna say I don't know how often you make chili and or soup. If I so make yeah, chili, you... it's usually if like fall or late winter, and I'll mm -hmm. do a crock pot worth. Right, we we have chili all year round where we're at. So, um, yeah. Favorite element? Are we talking um, like easy? <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking the periodic table elements, or, um, like... I like Are gold. Talking... Are we talking Avatar, and what do we want to bend? Yeah, or are we talking, like, Chinese, where you get to start adding metal and wood, and sometimes gold? <laughs> well, metal and, metal and gold just use the same symbol. They often use the same symbol, yeah, it's a, it's a translation pick. Um, then there's sometimes they add light and dark because reasons. <laughs> sometimes they have aether. Angel, yeah, I I could, but you know, it, I don't, I don't, I. All right, to give you an idea of the kitchen space I'm working with, my gas stove is about a third, no, I, no, about a half the size of a standard computer desk. I do not have a lot of stove space to work with, and my countertop space is even worse. Could I make it work? Maybe, but I don't venture out to cook a lot of complex meals. <laughs> Earthshade, Earth I love Shade, that. You're terrible. I love it. I love it. No, it's perfect. It's amazing. If your character gains gold bending powers in a fanfic, is it an AU? Angel, if you're in the Discord, I'll take a picture of my kitchen and give you an idea of what I'm working with. Saying that for uh, the VOD watchers who watch it on YouTube. Mm hmm um, Is there anything above that I missed? Ba, ba, da, ba, ba, How much wood can a woodchuck chuck? As much could wood as a woodchuck could chuck wood. If a woodchuck could chuck wood, I, I don't remember the, the response to that call, unfortunately. I had a fun... So... One of my professors had like a thing on the bat on like uh, on his test, just like uh, ask a bonus question, answer your bonus question. If you get it wrong, you do not get points for either of the two questions. Uh, and obviously, it was supposed to be like a thing of like just like oh, write something that you studied for the test, but wasn't something I asked about to you know reward that, and that's fine. I was originally gonna put. What is the sum of two and two? Four. But then I thought of something funnier. So I put, How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck would chuck as much wood as a woodchuck could chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Correct. And then I see scrawled on there, ARG. And then on the front page, it was plus two points. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I Had I gotten that question, 
and I'd remember the woodchuck thing, I would have put how much wood could a woodchuck chuck, and I would have probably done a rough, like, off-the-cuff estimation of how much wood a woodchuck could throw in its average lifetime, if that was the only thing it did. That's a good professor. Oh, he was great. He, it was my stagecraft, but uh, it was my uh, stagecraft professor. He was great. What killed the dinosaurs? Oh, no, no. The ice age. Ah! If this isn't <laughs> Uh, that's the outro that we play at the end. Or, sorry, technically, it is the intro and the outro, because an intermission is between two missions, because it's inter, and an outer mission must be then the outer missions, thus the intro and the outro. I have no idea if that's actually true, I'm just making words up, but it's funny. Apparently the solar eclipse is not hot. Hmm. Yeah. All right, did anybody successfully defeat the Fire Lord during the eclipse? Did, okay, I have to know, did they time <laughs> that episode to have it be an actual length of a, an eclipse? Or was uh, they, it, say it, they said it was like time. eight minutes for like the totality. Okay. And that, and that's like, give or, depending on where it is, give or take, that could work, but... It, I think it would have been really funny if like they did all of the planning and timed it so that the eclipse did actually go over some, there was an eclipse over some specific location at that exact point in time <laughs> when they aired the episode. Oh, if they did that? No, I don't believe so, no. No, I don't, I doubt they did that because eclipses are just rare enough where they couldn't like arbitrarily pick somewhere. You saw with uh, Brooke just how bad the jokes were getting. We burned her, yes we did. But that was but... after the eclipse. Instructions unclear, I defeated the Water Lord instead. <laughs> hmm? I think, and I might be wrong, but I think the moon would have to have been smaller, so it would be closer, so it would be moving slower? There, there's a weird trade-off you'd have to do to figure out, like, roughly what to do to get the eclipse to last longer. Because, like, all of the variables, assuming the same density, get really complicated. I mean, we're gonna... Uh, here's the thing. We're asking Avatar to be consistent with with Moon, and it never is, because they're always putting full Moon shots. The Moon is a princess. That yeah, that fit. too. They also killed yeah. the Moon at one point. Yeah. And also, the Moon would need to be closer to be perceived as larger, therefore making... It's... The, so the big thing is, like, the moon being larger isn't the issue. It's how how fast the moon transits in front of the sun that determines the length of the eclipse. Uh, further away is, would, be, would be theoretically faster because of centrifugal... Is it... No, well, it's, inertia? It's weird. Or? Like, that's where, that's where all the math, like, gets really weird of, like, how long... Or how do you make the eclipse longer? Because the moon hits my eye. Uh, I, think I, the, I think the short answer is moon closer. I think it's moon closer. When um, the moon hits your knees and you mispronounce trees, uh, sycamore. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, right now the moon is getting slightly further away every year. And so like in the next 600 million years, um, the eclipse won't exist anymore. So like it is actually... Earth is fucking weird. Like, the one of the only things we don't have going for us is multiple moons. That is one of the only things that about the Earth that's just like, otherwise we're ridiculously weird. Because <laughs> like, we're Goldilocks planet to begin with. We have water to begin with. Like we have all of the stuff needed for life. And then well, we have a moon. To be fair, Life evolved on a planet that was perfect for life. I'm, I'm just saying, like, statistically, it's weird. Um, mm -hmm. But then there are, ultiple, there are multiple Earth-sized planets-ish in the solar system. 
Um, and I'm not sure if that's just we haven't gotten good at detecting those yet, which I think we're getting better. But also, from everything that I'm aware of that we've detected, Earth is weirdly small. Like, all of the other rocky planets we've detected have been, like, 0.9 to 2 Earth masses. Again, probably selection bias of we can't detect Earth-sized and smaller as easily. Oodles. But, like, just the statistics are weird. The, the way everything has to line up for eclipses to exist at all is ridiculous. Because you're the orbiting plane of the moon has to match the orbiting plane of the planet. The fact that it is close enough to where it is a full eclipse is bizarre because that's not like the default. Like it's just Earth is a bizarre ass planet. <laughs> Also, uh, Waluigi, your comment was wrong on two fronts. One, uh, mores aren't found in lakes, and two, mores aren't snakes. Sorry for the wait, folks. I was on bagel duty. That's perfectly fair. Don't worry, I entertained everyone with moon facts and earth facts. And Blueberry, cinnamon, raisin, everything. Less moon facts and more me ranting about moon and earth being weird. Are snakes found on planes? Only Monday to Friday ones. Um, but are mores found in snakes? Not usually. Most mores are going to be too big for most sea snakes. They can't feel it. No. All right. Uh, let's read some alerts. Go to art block, and then we will get some gaming. Grease Lightning says, Boo, John! What I don't even know what I even said. That deserved that. Oh, and then there's, a lot the make of it, there's the make it worse from Owo. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel says, Wish me luck. I'm going to try to finish Octopath Traveler 2 tonight. Good luck. Good luck. Legend of Daniel says, That's it. I'm done for tonight. I have lost to the final boss of Octopath Traveler 2's first phase four times already. I've Oof. already gotten too upset, and I can only hope that I feel better watching your stream. Hopefully something, uh, sometime I can make this boss S star 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 off. No, he's got five stars. Daniel also says, hey, this isn't a stalagmite, it's just three rocks and a trench coat. We'll sure that one out. Mm -hmm. Reaver85 says, I need to ask an expert, is solar eclipse hot? Uh, Hulk Hogan said it was not hot. Oh, okay. And Grease Lightning says, I just learned that my mom is going to be getting a root canal tomorrow. Can I get some well wishes, please? Best of luck for them, Grease. They suck to get, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Also, Violet, Jormungundr is a dragon. Also called the World Serpent, so snake. Mm -hmm. And we get back to the dichotomy of snakes. I was gonna say, I apparently or missed dichotomy of dragons, that. again. Slide into our block. Where'd our block go? There's our block. Alright, our block starts right here. From Luna Soul Fox. I haven't been able to draw that much lately, so when inspiration struck, I needed to draw this idea. Today's Eclipse gave me an idea for an alt John I call Eclipse John. Eclipse John is an ordinary person who turns into a magical girl when needed. Only if we could see her without all those clouds. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea of a ma becoming a magical girl and just not being able to be perceived. I think that's kind of like an amazing twist on it. And there's the perceived version. Here, there's the unobscured version. I don't know if I'll make a full render of her. I think I need to play with the color some more. I'm happy with that I was able to draw something in a while. Thank you, Luna. Appreciate it. I like how... Ma male me is all primp and proper with like a nice like dinner jacket and then I transform into magical girl me with a equips a equi <laughs> eclipse and, uh, wand eclipse wand but how do you cut your hair well it with just gets longer thing. it just gets longer the eclipse beard disappears the oh oh I'm surprised you didn't realize what I was going for. 
I didn't realize you were setting up for it. I thought you were oh. genuinely saying that just for like a setup, of like, oh yeah, like he's got to cut his, hey, she's got to cut her hair short if he wants to turn back to him or something like that. As soon as he said it, as soon as he said it, I was given a genuine answer. <laughs> Thank you, Luna. You're welcome. From Gershment, I just really like the night design that Blue and High Ski Eight uh, drew for Claire a bit ago, so I decided to take a crack at it adding in a white cape in lieu of the wings. Honestly, pretty so good it's like look. like Meta Knights? Yeah, kinda. Well, I assume they don't actually turn into wings in this version. Kinda giving me Fire Emblem vibes. I, uh, I mean, I, I think that's the whole thing. The the giant sword with like the, the star and everything. The wings are there as the, as the hilt guard. I like it. Thank you, Gushman. And again, thank you, Pluto slash high ski eight. Next up, I, from... I, I keep wanting to call Pluto High Skate. Yeah, I keep wanting to say it too, but they said it is actually High Ski 8. Mm -hmm. This could be Claire before becoming a Valkyrie? I mean, that's that's fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could see that. That could be an interesting take on it. Coffee, not paint water. <laughs> <laughs> from Hair uh, Haldriskal Eve. Hi, I haven't posted in, t on, in Twitter or here in a while since I stopped watching streams in a long time. But I could watch this one, so I decided to draw Ashley, the main character. The cup with coffee? Well, I thought that was paint water, so I drew it too. <laughs> I had another work in progress with Pon Pon that I did three or so months ago, but I didn't know how to post it here because I wasn't sure if I could qualify as safe, so I won't be uploading it for now. It was a nice stream, and have a good night. Thank you. Thank you, Hal. Appreciate it. If you uh, ever have questions about art you want to submit and aren't sure if it's safe, you can always DM a mod in the egg pack if you're there. Yeah, Google, one, one of the better ways is to check with a mod. Yeah, 100% be willing to check something out for you. All right, next up. Dang, two Richards? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> From Iskabird, game can't give me two hot dudes and not expect me to imagine them making out. Uh, why? You can't catch us off guard like this. I it only caught you off guard, apparently. Yes, but I'm also two hours in on a couple shots of Fireball. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Thanks, Iska. Next up. From Greece. Re upload due to an error. Richard's hot. Being attracted to fictional men is also part of the LGBTQ community. Apparently, he was redesigned from the DS version. He was very doofy looking, still hot in a different way. Actually, yeah, I'm curious. What did he look like originally? I've looked this up on the last stream, and yeah. I... He looks like one of the characters from Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, that was my thought, too. Really, all they changed was they slimmed him down a little bit and just changed his hair color. He otherwise looks the same. They slimmed up his face a little bit, too, in the remake. I think he's got a little more pointed chin. I mean, he's also supposed to look like a nerd, so... <laughs> looks like John mixed with Hank Hill. I hate it. Oh, God. I, I hate it. Thanks, Grease. So, do you, does he have an average ass, then? <laughs> Fuck you. I, I, you have you a went great ass, and Hank Hill has no ass, so obviously he needs to be average. I'm glad you, you have a normal ass. ass. I'm not Con gonna ask the other question. Calm the Game Boy. This has meme potential for all the wrong reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Liger. God damn, I thought of the same thing. See? I hate it. Not the only one. I hate it. Thank you, Colin. And the last one I have here from Mika. Ooh. I drew Claire wearing suits inspired by Helltaker. The top left is Justices, and the bottom right is Cerberus's. Also, do you have any outfit suggestions for Claire, John? Hmm. I don't know why Carmen San Diego came to mind immediately. That'd be a fun one. That'd be a fun one. Yeah, Carmen San Diego. The 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 cartoon Carmen San Diego. That was my favorite growing up. So basically trench coat. Yeah, long trench coat and giant floppy hat. I like it a lot. Cool Thank you, Mika. And that 
is Art Block. All right. Full Metal Alchemist. Or in a similar sort of vein, put her uh, April O'Neil. Oh, yeah, there you go. There, I said it so we could end the break. What did you say? Oh, somebody made a joke just like, somebody needs to say Full Metal Alchemist again or we can't end the break. Hmm? Full oh. Metal Alchemist? I hate that. <laughs> yeah, classic cartoon, uh, Carmen San Diego, like the, the 90s cartoon. Did we watch the bad endings? We couldn't find them. Oh, I never looked. Did did other people look and try to find them? I looked and I couldn't find anything. I was just like alt endings, other endings, bad endings, and I wasn't finding anything. Just finding long plays. My search results were, are fucked up and I was getting a bunch of midi murder trivia party results. And I did four different styles of trying to find the bad ending. Yeah, I'm finding the original one, but not the recollection. Wheelie, 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 wheelie. Ooh, Larry boy. Somewhere Star is sweating. Load profile. <laughs> right, what we tried to name her file my ambiance, but it only had five letters. We had my omb. The music is still just really good. Does not deserve to be this. Yeah, I good told, I this told game. you, you're sweating somewhere, Star. So there's a white. Can I lore dump more? Do you want to talk about VeggieTales? Because I don't know if anyone on this call knows as much about VeggieTales as you do. Get your butt in here, Star. I, I have VeggieTales many times at Sunday school. I remember literally nothing about it. Oh, you know what else I remember literally nothing about? This game. Oh, uh, what a... F <laughs> I remember watching VeggieTales in preschool. I don't think it was a religious school. I don't think I was supposed to be watching it there. Because I think it was a public school. Yeah, I, the uh, last no, time I, I actually Veggie watched Tales, Veggie Tales, Tales was probably 25 years ago, at least. Ah, shit. So that would have put me at what, 8 years old? Bill, what's the matter? Everything's the matter, because everything is matter. <laughs> Green said they had, like, they're allowed to jump in, right, John? Yeah. Yeah, jump on in, Green. What's this? Invaders from space? Bad apple, isn't this a bit over the top? My briefcase <laughs> full of bad apples will put a stop to this. You're the only <laughs> thing that's over, Larry boy. Your choice of games is as stale as your jokes, bad apple. My confusion missiles will make sure neither you nor Petunia know what whether you're coming or going. Bring them on! Move the shield using the control pad. Deflect the confusion missiles and try to destroy the handy pods and help Petunia resist temptation. Any missiles you so miss will confuse Petunia and make her temp raise her temptation level. I'm oh, glad that I said out, one you? word and it influenced you to make her sound slightly Pegasus at first. <laughs> Larry boy. It doesn't take some. It doesn't take a lot of motivation for me or a lot of con convincing. Considering what someone asked me to sound like Bayonetta and apparently I did an okay job at that. Which I'm still confused about, genuinely. I threw a fucking chair to get here. <laughs> well, Why did you throw a chair? It was on my headphones. The chair was on it. your headphones? Yeah, I'm not very organized as a person. Anyway, VeggieTales. Appar apparently. Hi. Hello. I'd like to point out, I was not watching the stream because I didn't want spoilers for uh, the other game you were playing. Yeah. I literally peeked into the stream the moment you swapped over to VeggieTales. <laughs> the funny thing was, as we no swapped over to VeggieTales, I said, like, uh, somewhere Star is sweating right now. <laughs> I knew. I knew. I used my psychic link. I was like, there's VeggieTales happening right now, isn't Access there? Access amorphogenetic fields. <laughs> Ah, where do I start with lore dumps that I haven't already said last time, though? To talk about right, the other movies. Where does Pegasus movie. fit into the timeline? Uh, 
They probably have a card game. Mm-hmm. Everything in the 2000s had a card game. This is where I would segue into talking about the Neopets card game, but I'm here for Veggie Tales, not for Neopets. That's another <laughs> Play play the Darkest Fairy sometime. You'll you, you'll get a Neopets info dump instead. Oh god, we have streamed <laughs> that before. To be fair, a couple times. Uh, yes, but now I'm here. <laughs> like uh, okay, my Veggie Tail sense is tingling. <laughs> So as I said last time, Petunia here is trapped in Tron. That is what this game is supposed to be. Yay, Tron. I don't know why it's Arkanoid though. Seems Bob is trapped Proton in the penthouse. Tron card game ca- card game came later. God, if only. Can I be trapped in a penthouse with a moderate salary? Four Seasonings they Hotel, LA Mission parking. 1. Wow. Oh, God. What button move? There we go. That's the button. Shit. Talk to the hand. Star is like Beatles music except Veggie Tales. Listen, I hate that you're right. <laughs> <laughs> what? Star is like Beetlejuice, but for Veggie Tales. Oh, fuck's sake. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have extensively talked about Jonah, a VeggieTales movie, on my stream multiple times. <laughs> Honestly, fitting as well, because I was just watching. I, I swear, I swear, there's a segue here. I was just watching Mulan earlier <laughs> today. That's and this is reason, gonna be one hell of a segue, apparently. <laughs> it's relevant because it's mentioned in the DVD commentary of Jonah, a VeggieTales movie. They Mulan do an in character com- in character commentary where Larry. And Mr. Lunt act as if they are the directors because their voice actors are the actual directors, Phil Vischer and Mike Naraki. But they act as if it was a real film that was filmed on a set. Shit. <laughs> and reverse my control. I forget the exact context, but one of them just mentions the moment in Mulan where Mushu's just like, I made breakfast and he's happy to meet you. And for some reason that has burned in my brain more than the actual line from the film. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to remember Wait. that that's some veggie tales lore I didn't drop stuff from the commentaries. Uh like yeah, uh, you did apparently. not read out the DVD commentaries, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this is the thing. Like I remember that Veggie Tales had in-universe commentaries. Well, it was very rare. I think it was just for both of the movies, and the one for the second movie was kind of just an edited down highlight reel. Uh they also had digital dailies on the second disc, which were also narrated by uh, Larry and Mr. Lunk and Khalil, the little, little caterpillar guy. Well, his, his mother was a caterpillar, his father was a worm, but he's okay with that now. All right, Literal dude, line from the show, I did not just make that up. <laughs> <laughs> Duke, what is our wisdom for completing the stage? Or how do we solve this next stage? All right, Duke, what you got? This is going out to Amy Lou 14. Rubber dub dub, I'm in the tub. This will clean up the alien blood in no time. Right, rubber ducky? Love the squeals. Uh, they fed Dunkin' Donuts to a whale. Good for them. Or no, it was Krispy Kreme. It was Krispy Kreme, because Dunkin' Donuts was irrelevant at the time, I don't think. And that includes when he had to spit out Jonah. They gave him, they gave, quote, too much Krispy Kreme, so they had him spit out Jonah. No, that's right. <laughs> I forget if this is, I forget if I'm remembering this right or not, but I think they mentioned... That, uh, that Larry and Mr. Lunt almost caused an international incident just to shoot Jonah out of the whale because <laughs> they had to use like, some missile system. I think I remember that's that's part of the <laughs> the commentary. I'm having more and more questions raised than I care to have answered in one night. Clearly, we need to just do a movie night of Veggie Tales. <laughs> I would love that. <laughs> oh, I've been no. tempted to do that on my own for like years, because like I talk about, like I said, I talk about Jonah all the time. So, uh, whenever a vegetable is holding something in Veggie Tales, uh, it's held by wires. 
which is really funny because uh, in one silly song with Larry and one of the later ones, it's like based off Lord of the Rings. He holds a guitar with both hands in quotes and then also strums it. So like he's swinging it around using what would be two hands and then also still playing it. <laughs> Wait, I mean, that's how that works. VeggieTales is CG, right? Yes. So they're faking that it's puppetry by having their hands be wires. No, this is again no, all like in the universe lore. Like, like this is what the DVD commentary says that according to, Mr. to Larry and Mr. Lunt, the DVD comments, like it, again, they act as if these two characters film the actual movie. It is not filmed, but it is, in universe it is filmed. They are playing characters. I have lore. The silly songs were not originally a reoccurring thing. They put one in the first show and did something else for show two. Then they got letters asking, where's the silly song? <laughs> I <laughs> forgot about that, but they're right. It's funny because that's such an iconic segment now. I think there was lore about the silly songs because like for an episode uh, Archibald was like, no, your songs are too silly. We'll have this, we'll have Mr. Lux sing about a cheeseburger instead. And he, like, has an existential crisis about it for a little bit. <laughs> Where he's, like, how at a diner, just all sad and stuff. How is that that <laughs> silly? Cheeseburgers. What? No comedy can be found from cheeseburgers. How is singing about a cheeseburger less silly? Because it's literally like a anything else. Because it's, it's a, a dramatic, dramatic song. story. Yeah. He wants his cheeseburger, his only cheeseburger. He'll wait for you. Yeah, he'll wait for you. I hate how much it was. <laughs> wow! <December>. Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> just freaking nailed that one. <laughs> Are you have too much of this memorized. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I said, my mom worked at a question. church. When was the last time you watched Veggie Tales? <laughs> oh, I don't want to answer that. Question. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, no, no. Why do you not want to answer that question? Because it's recent or it's not recent? It's not recent. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that burned into my memory. <laughs> <laughs> That I I definitely watch Veggie Tales a lot, but I do not remember it. The things I, these are the things I remember from Sunday school. It was the proud tree, the story about like the tree that gets turned into the crucifix, and then this random like live action adaptation of I can't even remember exactly what story it is, but it ended with the woman turning it into salt, and it's like really weirdly gruesome. Oh, Sodom and Gomorrah. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Sodom and Gomorrah where. He turns around and poof. They're like really kind of morbid at the very least from my perspective as like, God, I was probably in third grade or third or second grade then. No, yeah, it's morbid. Pretty fucked. <laughs> I was got some fucked up shit in it, man. Oh, they do go on a, I, I, yeah, they do go on a tangent about airbag jokes. I was trying to remember if that was in the digital dailies or not, but. That that is in the uh, that is in the commentary. I'm glad a lot of people know about the commentary, and I'm not just like rambling on about something what? that like no. one person has heard of. No, Devin's birthday wheel didn't pick Veggie Tales. We decided to complete it. We did because because reasons. Oh my god! Lightning round. It, it's, people said it was yeah, under an hour to game. finish. So. Mm -hmm. Ever heard of Bible Man? No. Yeah, I, I've heard of Bible Man. Bible I've Man. seen some episodes of Bible Man. I've not heard of Bible Man. I heard of God Man. I also um. You meant just Jesus. When I well, nope, that was the entire thing. This was a sermon I had on Christmas where the pastor referred to Jesus as God Man no less than four times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Yes, Good he was Lord. doing a uh, thing where it's just like, yes, this is the only religion where God is not only just God, he is also a man. I'm just like, yeah, that is not true, but whatever. Go off, keep going. You are his brother. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. I, growing up, I had these VHS tapes that were Hanna-Barbera cartoons. And they were like, 
I forgot what the actual name it was. We figured it out on stream once before. It's like just like Bible adventures or something like that. It's about like a group of archaeologists and like their assistant kid who literally get trapped back in time and have to live out all the different like major stories of the Bible, like Joshua and the Battle Why of Jericho. Why am I remembering this as you're describing it? I have definitely talked about this on stream before. They are on YouTube. This is a thing that exists. Why do I remember this? Do, what's the name again? I don't remember the exact name, but it's like, it's like Bible Adventures. Like Hanna Barbera. It is the Greatest Adventure: Stories from the Bible. Oh my God! I found the comment, the DVD commentary transcript. So now I can <laughs> roll through it and be like, Ah, here's the lore they dropped. Is this the one? Yep. Yeah, there's the there's the three there's the three people. I don't know if I can show this, so I'm just gonna just show bits and pieces. I would definitely recommend against it. Yeah. But also. Like the, easy, the easiest the way to do water. this is just for me to like just show you bits. Uh, so like, here they are, they're digging, and then they get literally like a landslide drops them into an ancient temple, which opens up a portal through time. Oops, yep, no, turn that down. Hanna Barbera presents, the, yeah, the nativity. So it just goes through like a bunch of the different stories. So it's just like these three people that are definitely dressed like well, he, he's dressed like Link basically, but. These three, these three people that are dressed somewhat for the era and time are just like trapped back in time. They have to go through different Bible stories. There's just a bunch of these. I remember I uh, I Daniel remember in the Lion's Den. Oh remember... my God! What? I think I remember these. <laughs> Again, I have talked about these on stream before. This is definitely a thing I've discussed before. But like, <laughs> I remember uh, Samson and Delilah. I remember Daniel in the Lion's Den. Joshua in the Battle of Jericho. Obviously, the Nativity. A bunch of these. Well, excuse him, Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of them are on YouTube, but that's just the only one I found. Just in. actually, hang on. Says, this one says Joshua. This might actually be it. Mm. Yep, Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. I found that one. Honestly, some of these go. Holy shit, I didn't know Ed Asner was the voice of Joshua. <laughs> <laughs> For Ed some of these actually go like really fucking hard, like where they actually like destroy Jericho. It's fucking badass. <laughs> I remember as a kid being like, holy shit, this this fucking rules. Like just I'm I like just like literally like right here, they're just like they just start yelling. <laughs> 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 they just start fucking yelling. There you go. They fucking destroy Jericho. All they gotta do is just yell a bunch. Look at that noise they made on the yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, know, man, I, I, as a kid, I thought those were badass as heck. <laughs> the guest star list for this show is fascinating. Badass. Oh, who else is on it? I didn't even look, because I just, like I said, I loaded up the video and it said uh, starring Ed, Edward Asner as Joshua. Oh, God. That the has Bible is indeed Arnold. intense. Okay, that is true. That That's not been... accurate to the Bible. <laughs> You reminded me of the furry Isak Bible Isakai movie, and I wish you hadn't. I'm sorry, what? What? I understand those words individually, but in that se sequence, what the fuck are you talking about? As someone who is both a Christian child and is currently a furry, I have never heard of this. I As someone think. who is a Christian child and also a furry, I have not also heard of this. I am very interested. Tim Curry, Helen Cause... Hunt, and James Earl Jones were all in that Hanna-Barbera series. Jesus. Oh my god, somebody's mentioning the Book of Virtue on PBS. Holy shit. I do remember that. The Noah's, Noah's Ark furry Ar movie? Furry what? Movie. I mean, that makes the that most movie. sense to be a furry yeah. movie, but... Oh, that's oh right! Oh god, I'm remembering another weird live-action version of, like, the tale of Noah's Ark that they made us watch. But I only remember the part where, like... I think it was Noah was like yelling at people for worshiping some sort of like weird dog statue. Okay, Can if you I Google Noah's Ark furry movie, be careful about going to images. <laughs> you think? You think? 
I mean, that's the case for most furry things, admittedly, so... Save Sir John, baby! What is this, what is this fucker moving? <laughs> he follows the path, it looks like. Ah, you're right, yeah. Shit. Apparently, the Internet Archive has the uncut version. Quote, this is the uncut version of Noah's Ark slash El Ark de Noe. Many scenes were deemed too inappropriate and were cut in a re-release of the film in 2014. 2014? The movie was from 2007. I had enough questions raised to bring another code. This top is just... <sighs> what did I join in on? Noah's Ark Furry Isekai. Oh, uh, you know. As one does. The melon head one? What? Wait, hold on. The sentence on screen. Oh, well. <laughs> which, sorry, Bob which one? Was, Bob said he was going to the gym to work off the food. How does that work? He's a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> he literally works oh, out no, enough, he loses box. his entire body. He's got to work <laughs> off that photosynthesis. A panther fucking saying, I will survive to a bunch of animals, and the lyrics were changed to, God, I'm fucking hungry, I, and I will eat you guys. What? So when are we talking about the Helen Keller anime commissioned by a legit Japanese cult? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> right, that! I know what that is, and I hate that I know that. At least I'm pretty sure. I think uh, Saber Spark did a video. No, it wasn't Saber Spark. It was uh, Mother's Basement, I think. Cole, how do you feel about the Noah's Ark uh, isekai furry? Furry isekai. I like the distinction. It's not a Hel Helen Keller anime. She's just in it. <laughs> <laughs> Very different. Wait, what? Apple's <laughs> Wait, what is amazing. It's on point. Welcome I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Hi, Cole. I'm sorry. A, 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 Isa what the fuck? <laughs> I've also been trying to figure out what the hell they're talking yeah, about. None of us have any context. This was far, so oh, I don't know bad. anything about it either. I, Shad has described this, and I'm just like, ah, oh, that's a fun combination of words. Let's see yeah. how many people I can confuse. Here's the thing. It sounds familiar, Shit. and that's what's annoying me right now. <laughs> also, I can't believe you're actually going to try and beat this game. God damn it. <laughs> it's not that long. It's not that I mean, I was just like, oh, maybe he'll come. Like, I was coming straight. I was like, oh, maybe. How far is he in the trace? Oh, he's playing VeggieTales. God Shit. fucking damn it. Hey, hey, I had the, I had that same situation, but the opposite reaction. I was just like, oh, is he, is, is trace memory over? Oh, hell yeah, VeggieTales. <laughs> yeah, we're going to learn about Jesus. <laughs> going to save people from temptation. Don't fuck the apple. <laughs> Well, we're not going to learn about- we're not going to learn about Jesus, because Jesus cannot be a vegetable. Cool. Oh. Well, you want to tell- you want to tell everyone about that post that I sent you? Oh, fuck <laughs> off. Hold up. Let me find the post again. Let me find the post. Yes! Okay. Uh, uh this- <sighs> New game coming out called Billy Bust- oh, I'm- I'm following that. Like, I've been following that like a hog. It looks incredible. Um... Um... So well, I could have just failed those? Oh, I would have done that immediately. Fuck those stages. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So to describe the, the post that was sent to me the other day, um, so some of you might be familiar with a, a YouTuber called Snapcube. Uh, they're the person that uh, you might know them for their uh, real-time fan dubs stuff and everything else like that. They were sent a, uh, a question on, <laughs> on Tumblr. And that question was, hello, Penny, I just want to let you know that until just now, I had not thought about the Milfy VeggieTales apples since I played the Larry Boy game for PS2 years ago. But you are absolutely right, and you deserve to know that you have at least one kindred spirit in this fucked up world. <laughs> the response from Stamp you, you just, you just described the bad apple as Milfy, 
And the worst part is that I agree with you, and I cannot believe the irony that VeggieTales is the catalyst for God leaving me anyway. <laughs> leaving me. Anyway, bad apple, more like baddie apple, am I right? <laughs> That's a re that is a real message. That post has haunted me for years. I'm glad I could share it with all of you. I mean, haunted the is a strong is word. Weird. I have no shame for Panay, but, but like, I've had to think about that post for that many years. Is this and a crime for help? It. Is this just the a crime for help? Is this weird? I think we it's always. A, I think John, every, you of all people should know, it's always a cry for help. <laughs> I think everyone needs a cry for help at this point. Oh, hey, fun Join thing. This. this is fun. That furry Noah's Ark movie, it, it had a box office of $6.8 million. What? It made $6.8 million in the box office. I don't know if it made more than that after it was released, but it had a box office of $6.8 million. Can't tell if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It is a surprisingly large amount. Yeah. Because this was 2007. I'll take you I don't imagine their budget, billing being much, or their budget for the film being much more than a million at best. Oh. All right, that overwrites it. Crap. So do you want more VeggieTales lore? from this DVD commentary. If you got more, by all means. Uh, according to this DVD commentary, Mr. Lunt, the character Mr. Lunt hung out with Jim Belushi and Chris Farley. <laughs> uh, and also Lauren Michaels. And he said he said he, he wanted to hang out with Mr. Lunt because he reminded him of him. And I don't know what this is. I'm sure you do, probably. Rosanna, Rosanna, Dana? I have no clue what that is. Something about eagle rights. I recognize the reference, but I can't... I recognize that it is a reference, but I can't place it. Yeah, same. Hung out with John, James your stream's been a cry for help for the past ten years. <laughs> I like how this stream started with like a comment like, John, you're a very, like, very, really good LGBT ally, and now it's just like, John, this is a cry for help. Your fucking stream's I can't believe you, James. I mean, those two things aren't mutually exclusive. Killers. We gendered without you. We apologize. We, we did, in fact, gender without you. I'm sorry. I like that the few times I peeked it on stream tonight, it was when you guys were talking about gender and when VeggieTales was being played. I don't know what that says about me, given neither of those were intentional. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, apparently Mr. Lunt knew a lot of the SNL crew, but was not allowed on because SNL... Quote, SNL is not about health, and vegetables just make them think about health. Which is funny, given the fact that I mentioned last time, where they picked vegetables explicitly for VeggieTales because they're healthy. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's why they brought up that scene for Mulan, because Larry says that Eddie Murphy is funnier than Mr. Lunt. <laughs> says something about Tic Tac. I think that's the reference to Shrek. Sorry. I, I'm reading this message from Crazy Krabs because I read it and then had to read it again. In addition yeah. to a Heller Keller anime, there's a completely separate manga where Helen Keller plays a, plays Mahjong to become god that is called I Shit You Not, Helen Keller's impeccable Reachy Defense Greatest M. What in the name of fuck sort of rabbit hole have you made me go down? <laughs> Interesting. Jesus Christ. I like that we're both going Why down completely different. so many, different like, Helen Keller anime movie. series? Well, apparently they're all what? tied to a cult, as they mentioned earlier, so... Fun fact, I live 40 minutes from the birthplace of Helen Keller. Good for you. Wow. Pratty, buddy. That's fun. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs> I wasn't sure how else to respond to that, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. And the art is actually good. Yay! I would hope so. If the premise is Mahjong, you better be putting a lot of work into the art. Why is there even a cult around Helen Keller? Yeah. It's not around at Helen Keller. Helen Keller is just in it, I believe. Wait, they're, oh wait, they're in the cult? No, not in in the in the piece of media, not in the cult. They're using <laughs> a they're using a figure from history as like a like a jumping on point for people to be like, oh, I should join this cult. Um, from Shin, a, Shin Ives, not sure how to pronounce that. 
Um, isn't there a manga where Jesus and Buddha are roommates or something? Oh yeah. I yes. Recall Probably that. Much. Um, what I what that made me recall specifically though was a manga. Sorry, uh, would have been closer to webcomic style, um, like single page, where they personified the web browsers. Oh yeah, no, that that okay. still gets entries. I think, oh yeah, time time. yeah, that, that gets a lot of entries. Is that still going? Internet Explorer, Sean. Is yeah, that still going? Yeah. Okay, because where I tried to read it from, it just stopped and never updated. So I obviously wasn't reading it from where it was supposed to be. But I also remember it being really good. Like, I think they've even gone good. as recent as to add Samsung Sam to the roster. Yeah, Samsung Sam has uh, something. When will when will Samsung Sam sing? No. How many people remember Earth John? <laughs> what? How many people Earth remember Chan. Earth John? Oh, I thought you said Earth John. No. No, Earth I'm John sure doesn't exist. Too. Let's be real here. Earth John no. isn't real. Earth John can't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the joke, the entire like flat Earth Joker is just like. No, I'm not flat. The entire, like, idea just spawned from one guy's random tweet or Tumblr post. I haven't heard of Earth John in years, like cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. We need to talk about Dolores. Ah, the one that got away. You're a zookeeper. None of them are supposed to get away. <laughs> <laughs> share everything from the DVD commentary just because I don't want my commentary to just be that, but I will say for those who are curious, uh, and if you can find the movie legally, of course, the DVD commentaries are up on YouTube. That's both the legitimate ones by the actual creators of the movie and uh, the in-character one I keep lore dumping about. Like You can find both of those just up on YouTube and you just hit play on that alongside the actual movie and you'll be good to go. Want an yeah. offbeat manga recommendation? Otome Kaiju Caramelize, where Godzilla is a cute Japanese schoolgirl. A girl turns into Godzilla when she's in love. What the fuck? <laughs> Can I do that? Can I turn into Godzilla when I'm in love? Do you want to turn into Godzilla? I mean, it'd be wanna... cool. So you want to be a dragon? Be a kaiju? I think I would uh, want another. Uh, this is a trap. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. Cuba, where are you at? I think I'd want another transformation method, but I'd be interested in it. I'll be a dragon. You want to be a Sailor Moon type transformation? Yeah, that'd be oh, that I'd be absolutely down for. Can't really King Kong became that. a Fuck green you. lantern. <laughs> what? I don't. Remember. That's hilarious. I love it. I respect your cunning, but I hate you for it. Turn General Grievous in an anime high school student. Oh, yeah, of course. I, I believe that fully. Save button to serve the ball. It's a to move the paddle. And collect the chocolate balls. Back of the bad apple. If you miss a ball, the temptation meter will move towards Larry Boy. Help him resist this chocolatey temptation. I would like to be a kaiju bun. Did I say that out Wait, loud? Bun. No, but you typed it out loud. Bun. Who, who said that? Oh, it was Hop. Okay. Hop. <laughs> kaiju this buns would be cool. That was like... <laughs> so how do you like Pong? <laughs> yeah, I, I, didn't ex say. I didn't expect the sudden split in the shot. That threw me off for a second there. Now what if the shots just keep splitting? Mm -hmm. See, you say that, which makes me in think it actually energy. will. I mean, I've never played the game before. I didn't play a single VeggieTales game. Oh. Other than the ones that are on the Flash website. For some reason I thought you had, but I guess you mentioned that last no. time too. I like this Friday Night Funkin' Bar at the bottom. 
I mean, that's my temptation bar. Apparently, I'm tempting Bad Apple instead now. <laughs> You're <laughs> tempting <laughs> Bad Apple? With what? With her own chocolate, apparently. With Pong. Beat me in this Pong, Larry boy. And you can I actually genuinely life. forget how she's defeated in the original episode. I remember all this shit about VeggieTales, but I don't remember how this episode ends. Larry boy, if I'm you waiting for this damn mini game to end. I don't save your grandfather's soul. Her defenses are powerful. I can't get past her. She's too good. I play white chocolate ball in defense mode. Did they make That's... just slightly too good of a pong bot? I think they that might've. was on purpose. I stole your grandpa's soul. I look incredible. Oh my god. god. <laughs> tournament because my wife, she did explode. Oh, that's god. not my eyes. That, I'm stealing that from little Karibo. I'm admitting that right now. Yeah. I figured that was him. Little Karibo has done I such this, good work um, on Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. I think this AI might be a bit too good. Uh-oh. I am on hard difficulty, so. Oh, okay. You can just stop that hard. What if Hart gives him the true ending, though? Mm-hmm. Uh... You should have resisted the temptation to play on the hardest difficulty, clearly. No, I'm I'm <laughs> sighing at Vincent's joke. <laughs> what, was the, what was the joke? Hold on. Repeat that. Exactly. You, nope, nope. You missed yeah. it. Had your chance. <laughs> okay. Watch the VOD. I, I heard it. That, <laughs> Watch the clever. VOD. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Just rewind uh, 10 seconds. Yeah, that doesn't it. work on Twitch. It's only on YouTube that that works. Hey, can someone share no, this? Means, like, Thank time. you. That'd be great. Re rewinding, rewinding into the VOD is single-handedly the biggest feature, in my opinion, that Twitch could add for user experience. I would love that <clears> so much because I make so many useless clips because I'm just like, wait, what just happened? Right? Like, I genuinely believe adding that feature alone would cut our um, added clips burden down by, like, half. <laughs> the true yeah. ending to VeggieTales is we finally know what vegetable Jesus is. <laughs> well, Deef, I'm conflicted. Would it cut the clip down or would it actually increase it because people could have that ready access to rewind on the spot? Well, you yeah. already we re rewind with the clip. Like you would rewind instead of creating a clip, and or you would. Um, yeah, but you're not you having would create the clip of something that you wanted to create already. Like it wouldn't. There might be a few people who might go back to say, "Yeah, that's worth clipping," and then clip it. But yeah, I but feel the, like the, 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 the thing people... is that the rewinding. The rewinding would take the place of all of the useless clips that people are making because they're just like, wait, what did I just miss? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, mm -hmm. true. John, I have a stupid yeah. question. Sure. What would your veggie Sona be? Oh my <laughs> god, why are you like this? <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly why. Yeah, that's true. A leak. I would, I I would be a leak or you would be a leak, Dee? John, you didn't I, get. I, I just John, you didn't get plants with with your Sona. That was Jared. Uh, Chat, what what is a ghost? Oh no 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 no! It was Stephen who got plants. Yeah, I was gonna Chat. say Jared's got the rabbit. I forget. I forget. What's that called? All What's I remembered that? was Tom was appliance because I made Tom yeah. Fox the flamethrower. Tom was appliance. Stephen was plant or cactus. Jared's a rabbit. I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, straight up. It's like yeah, I'm a girl. How do you like them apples, bad apple? <laughs> you got the better of me this time, little boy, but you haven't heard the last of me. Sheesh, I never would have guessed that someone as rotten as a bad apple would have such sweet chocolate. Well done, Master Larry. You resist the temptation to save Bumbleberg from the bad apple. You know what they say, Alfred, with great chocolate comes great responsibility. N no one says that. <laughs> well, never mind. We've rid Bumbleberg of temptation by defeating the bad apple. Oh no, Master Larry, there's, there'll always be temptations. People simply have to learn to have some control over them and know that their friends are there to help them if their temptations get the better of them. Well said, Master Larry. Now, let's get back to the Larry Cave and celebrate. I think there's some leftover chocolate. Chuck Immediately gets that. back into his temptation. Earthshade, yes, that is exactly what happens. If you 
if you click the clip button, it automatically makes a clip. Yep. And a good chunk of those are effectively useless. Because a lot They're of just hanging out now, just just hanging out in the town, I guess. Mm -hmm. Town just, no just full of floating crates, not much else. In fact, when you make a clip and then edit it down, that is instead a new clip and not. <laughs> and you still have the original one. Yay! Yeah. I did! You did it! Thank you, John. Congratulations. But yeah, clips infrastructure is. just kind of oof. Like, just kind of very oof. Only kind of. We're working on making it more efficient. It's difficult. Like, if if you're just looking at, like, 10 clips, then managing video is not that hard. The issue is you're looking at 10 billion clips. Don't know what the actual number is, but, like, every issue with Twitch is, at its core, fundamentally easy until you realize it must be done at massive scale. Every single problem at Twitch has the same exact fundamental issue has to be done at scale oh it has a listing of all the songs that were used that's nice. cool developed by dc studios soundtrack is very good like these are very good takes on these original songs oh no Monica, what did you send me why are you sending me spy face thank oh. you for reminding me of that Kaji. i'm gonna finish the other game for first for a while mm -hmm. So anyway, as I was trying to say, what's a goat's favorite uh, vegetable? I would assume carrot. Why Why no. am I being no, asked, are goats. we in a cult? What did, what did I miss? I don't think that goats eat too many vegetables. They would eat, like, grass. A tin can. Beets. As someone that's owned goats, they will eat <laughs> damn near oh, anything. Jesus. I mean, yes, they will, but they're like, usually they... They're like pigs in that regard. They will eat anything. Um, goats specifically are often, like, they will eat anything, anything that they're literally used to clear land. Like, it's ridiculous. You just fence off a little bit of area and just put them there, and you will now have a forest that doesn't have underbrush. Has some goat poop, but doesn't have underbrush. Look, uh, DD Tribal, that's not, it's actually not set for a joke. I'm legitimately like, uh, what, what would, what would my veggie sona be? <laughs> yeah, trying to think of the veggie sona. Yeah. So there is no favorite. You would be every, but you would be every vegetable. No, wait, okay. Are, are we counting fruits as vegetables here? Yes. The veggie tails counts fruits as vegetables, so I would say that's allowed. There's, there's an, a there's an apple, there's a grape, there's uh, various others. There's a peach, so like, you're good. Would it be, oh, oh god, um... Peach! <laughs> it's Crosstown Heroes, right? That sounds right. Goats are garbage disposal, so would I just be a garbage disposal? I don't want to know. Their words, not ours. How much do you like eating? Hmm? Funnily enough, I'm actually a pretty picky eater, funnily enough. Funnily you would enough. be, you would be the skinny goat. I yeah, mean, but we're trying to find what veggie Sona he is. I, okay. Would it be okay? I will ask. I, I will say this in chat, and chat, you can confirm whether or not that fits. Banana. Sure. The cellular bananular phone. Wouldn't have been one of my like first five picks, but like, I, that's just because I don't really know what to. Like, th th this question had so little meaning, and everyone puts so much thought into I love it. How three people are just like, no. All right, well then I just don't know. Eggplant. Egg. No. <laughs> God fucking damn it. <laughs> no. Cole, for you, I. I would argue cabbage for you. Cabbage? Okay, I want to know the logic of him being a cabbage. The cabbages! I still don't know why I picked a leak for you, John. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get that. I also didn't make a choice, to be fair, either. <laughs> Cole, Cole changes vegetables every episode and no one comments on it. Oh my god, that's actually brilliant. Mm -hmm. God. What's the Sorry, most I... annoyed vegetable Earth I could be? A Brussels okay. sprout? Earth... I wasn't gonna say, but Earthshade actually got it. Fucking coleslaw. God fucking damn it. 
so I'm emitting call for a moment because I just remembered a story I have. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't so, even have to say it. Everyone else did for me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I noticed that, too. So one time I was at a friend's place, right? And, like, we were messing around with, like, dating apps, right? Because we were just like, oh, we just didn't know any better. Just, like, we were still kind of younger, maybe, like, 16, 17 at the time. And Please I remember, tell right? me this is going to end with you using, like, a vegetable as a profile picture. No, it's worse. Oh, no, um, no, no, no. Yes, Don't tell no. me so. <laughs> fucking so I'm, like, chatting with, like, this, like, with, like random people, right? Because I think it was, like... I don't know if it was like a dating app, just like a chatting app, right? But someone asked me, like, hey, do you want to see my eggplant? I didn't know what that meant at the time, right? <sighs> so, <laughs> I'm still this thing, and my, friend, and my friend was fucking dying. I'm like, dude, why did he send me this? What does this mean? <laughs> He's like, you don't know, dude. You're like, no, what does it mean? <laughs> oh my god, dude. I, I learned that day what the eggplant emoji also stands for. <laughs> I would hope so at that point. How are you real? <laughs> I will give- okay, here's the thing. I will give Maniko the benefit of the doubt, because I probably wouldn't have known that either <laughs> at 16. That's so. true. 16, 16. But I wouldn't get myself caught in that situation, so... No, I grew up Christian, I so no way I'm getting caught up in the situation. Girl, I would have been times last. knowledgeable enough of technology to know never to trust a stranger in a chat room. Because someone is going to send you a dick pic. I kind of worked out on that. Omega I was very Lee. irresponsible, but somehow never got myself in trouble. Hey, Dee, are your DMs open? <laughs> 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 oh my god. See, that just reminds me of a story where a bunch of my friends and I in college checked out farmersonly.com. And no. it was about what we expected. Oh no. <laughs> was it farmers only? Yeah, we were just like, yeah. it, it, that's just a name. There's no way. And there was, it was literally like, we, <laughs> we only saw farmers and we were like, huh, we don't know what we expected. I think somebody set up a profile on the, on the website. Just being like, ah, oh, we'll get a good laugh out of it. And then we were, we were all just like, what do we even do with this information? Well, like, sorry, you, know, you don't have to be lonely to at farmers only. The website somehow detects Sometimes the cigar farmer. is just a cigar. Okay, Bill. Sometimes farmers only is just farmers only. <sighs> All right. I got them. Now to capture 10 crooks. Star, and that's how I got into the good old farm life, kids. <laughs> and that's how I met your I mean, mother. my uncle has a farm, but... And that's how I met your mother. I just came <laughs> up with a terrible idea, and I hate it. What's that? A dating site for hackers. But in order to get anyone to show up on your profile, you literally have to hack the database and look through it yourself. <laughs> wow. Couldn't you just <laughs> hack people not to show up, though? I don't like think other people that's how hack... I don't think counter hacking works like that. I don't think counter hacking the, really exists. So the the way it would be set up is it would be um I'm going on a tangent here. There there's a really cool tool called OWASP Juicebox. It is basically a platform that is intentionally unsafe. Um, the developers of the platform have basically put in very specific weaknesses in the software that allow uh, you to get in just enough to capture the flag and complete different challenges um and they've done this in like 150 different hacking challenges it's actually a really cool training tool um and the concept is do a dating site similarly where you have to figure out how to get in and once you do it's like very specific weaknesses that allow you to transit around and figure out people to date and whatever i don't know so, like, you wouldn't actually be getting access to an SQL database, you'd be getting access to a sandbox that has a specific set of people that you could maybe chat with. Yeah, OWASP juice box is really, really cool. And I have looked at it a little bit, but not gone through and actually um, done anything too in-depth. 
And I'm really sad that um, I didn't manage to convince the professor who ran our computer security courses to spin it up and like run through some of the stuff with the class because it's it's a really cool system. <laughs> Hacker voice, I'm in ASL. Oh my <laughs> god. A dating site for hackers, data mining. Oh my uh... god. Does that mean hiding in plants? I want a dating site for yeah. engineers. Yeah, they're hiding in plants, fridges, just cardboard boxes. They're just hiding wherever they can. I could do that two more times yet, too. Jeez. God, this Ikaruga beta really is rough. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this is reminding <laughs> me of Beat City, I think it was called. I think you say Beat Saber. Wow, look at all the notes. Look at all the mm -hmm. notes flying by, Chad. Get the notes. Yeah, slash your Game Boy in half. <laughs> Maybe don't do that. <laughs> Please don't. For all you that still use your Game Boy. <laughs> What's a Game Boy? Well, it's a boy and he games. Ah, uh -huh. so John. <laughs> Hacker, I'm in. You up? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. So what are you into? Well, this network for starters. <laughs> What's your sign? C++. Stop. What's your language? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mostly dumbass, but... <clears throat> Not familiar with that programming I'm language. I'm just thinking about... What's your sign? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta learn Python before you can be fluent in a dumbass. I'm adjusting my mustache. Oh! Hmm. Oh! Didn't we see this oh! already? <laughs> they locked oh! me in somehow. They got all these barricades. I can't get out. Is that what uh, programming for dummies teaches you? Is that the one that teaches you dumbass? Uh, am I missing sure. something here? Cause like, dude's right there. Why well, uh, the barricade? <laughs> Where are you from? Oh wait, shares IP address. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't do that. Come on. I remember there was one time. There was one time I was on my stream. I was like, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna go check the settings, and I accidentally go to the internet settings. I'm just like, oh shit! I need to take the stream down. Fuck. Oh no. I oh. did. I me. I immediately removed. I immediately removed this the the stream. So it was good. But uh, yeah, be careful. Uh... Yeah, just run over that guy with the suitcase. He knew. What, he knew what he was getting into. He had it coming. He only had Johnson. himself to blame. John's just playing a really there. bad court of blast card at this point. Actually, you would have done I the same. Am. Time to get moving. Thank you, Montaro. <laughs> You're talking to the theater miner, of course. I, I know showed you my IP yeah. address. Please respond, DDoS. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know. Actually, speaking of IP, bro, I need to get I need to get Pretendo set up on my 3DS. I just remember that. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm a cross town agent, which gives me a battering ram to drive. The battering ram would have been good for the fucking barricade you were just taking out. Well, don't worry, I'm gonna get to use it against the barricades. Because what they do ASL is they give you the same, and peril. the same mission twice, basically. Yeah. Enjoy the laughing gas. Get back here. What are you, the Joker? I'm the Joker, baby. <laughs> I'm the Joker. Who even fucking started that? Is that actually a thing from like one of the Suicide Squad movies, or is that just some no, meme that people started? That... I think it's a meme. 
It's what some guy is? who's At acting this point, as if he probably the, as, is. It's like a fake audition tape for the Joker. I forget who, wanna, who it was, but you want to know how I got these battering rams? But it is like a meme or whatever. It's not in the actual movies, to my knowledge. Something I would know. I haven't Morbius. seen him. Gotcha. I will never forget just the line. Just like it's Morbin Morbin. time. At this point, he probably is. Like, wow, what a cold read, Batman. Hmm? Got a low punny, Batman. Got a low punny? Also, why is Batman talking to himself? That just sounded like a Batman voice. Batman hey, probably man. does that, to be fair. Hey, yeah, Batman, I got a low punny. Oh, sweet, that's pretty red, Batman. Haven't you seen, haven't you <laughs> seen that scene of, uh, of uh, Adam West on both <laughs> the, his phone and the Bat phone? Oh, yeah, no, that's oh, a classic. That is that's a classic. That's a good one. Really good. No, if I want to talk like that, I'm a yeah. little lower and a little more raspy. Whereas if I'm talking like the Joker, I gotta talk more like this. That scene with like Adam West and, as uh, Bruce Wayne and Batman talking to himself with both phones is the epitome mm -hmm. of that fucking like. Like, I'm glad you have like five abs. Like, like you got like ten abs, dude. I've always heard like all these great things. Like what we were joking about earlier. Like, <laughs> I heard he's the biggest badass around. I mean, that was that wasn't even him though. That was like the that was the commissioner, uh, like talking about just like such fine young men, such two fine young men, but so very different from each other. Yeah. <laughs> but, does, but doesn't like Adam West community. like say like like I've heard about all your like great deeds, Batman. I'm happy to be able to help you save the city. Doesn't he say some I, shit like that? I think he's running I, into I a tree just gives it flowers. They I maybe they do, but I definitely remember that more of the compliments Commissioner Gordon were definitely by the does that punchline. You are right. Yeah. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I've watched that scene. Let's watch it. It's probably both, honestly. Yeah, I could believe it. Unfortunately, <laughs> if I search Batman talks to Bruce Wayne, it'll probably give me the. Uh, the Justice League Unlimited one. Wait, what? I'm trying to remember yeah. what you're talking about. Oh, never mind. First one was that. Uh, in Unlimited, uh, they do time travel, so they end up in the Batman Beyond right. universe. <laughs> it's like, or Batman, Bruce, Bruce, Bruce Wayne, Bruce though. Wayne, Batman, or have you met? Not now. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot would, about that. Would Bruce Wayne be Zubat or Low Pony? Uh, no, Garbodor. My favorite part of that episode is just John Stewart turning into Hal Jordan, and he's just like, "Don't worry, Hal Jordan, I'm all caught up." <laughs> and they just ignore it for the rest of the episode until he changes back into John. I feel like I just pissed greased off with my answer. I was half spaced out, and then I heard like turned into John. I'm like, what did I turn into now? No, John Stewart. I know, it's the I Green know. Lantern. I know, I know, but I spaced out for a second, and I just was like, I heard the turn in the John. Like what? I did what now? See, I, I like I like sentences like that where I can just give you a scare. <laughs> You're not paying full attention. Where are the money bags? Oh, found it. Cause he, yeah, he was. Uh, more classically trained, but his roles in comedy are. This guy should really move, honestly. <laughs> he keeps getting trapped here. I think he's supposed to be the mayor, so, like, I think he's just really shit at managing the city. Okay, okay, I did, fi I did find the thing. He has the a very small compliment, just like, I have the same faith that uh, in you that all of the city does, Batman. Okay, so that's what it was. Okay. It's a small compliment. This battering ram is not doing shit. Yeah, I, somehow it is not. Hang on. You did injure that tourist, though. Let me turn on my siren. That makes me go faster. Look, the tourist was in the way, man. Sometimes you gotta have sacrifices. Yeah, what is he taking pictures of? What's so important that you gotta stand in the way of a truck? Me, me might be taking pictures of the truck, to be fair. I am just smashing random barricades. 
I'm not even looking at Oh man, I love trucks so much. I'm gonna make a truck fan site. Mm -hmm. That's Trust not the a car show. You're describing Trust a car show. Dot Shut up, John. <laughs> Let me have my fun. No, no. Me the Carfax. Oh man, Stop it's it. the Fun Police starring I'm a Crosstown John. Hero. Is the game over? Congratulations, you finished all the levels. Yeah, that Hooray. one, those, those, that guy in the middle, that guy on the left, and the guy on the right are oh, a completely man. different art style. <laughs> <laughs> They're all just the same guy. They're is just this staring. Just, yeah, hold on, is this just the end of Evangelion? <laughs> oh, I thought I was wearing my Eva shirt today. I'm everything. Not. I'm gonna move you down to another voice channel. You keep that shit up. Wow, the password we got is one letter different from the one I typed in. We went from QZDB to QZDH. Good. Now we can choose whatever vehicle we want to use. Cool. Z, not Z. That's so poggers. Fire, cr fire crusher? There's a recent Batman story where Batman gets thrown across multiverse chasing this non-Joker Joker, and he keeps running into so many different media's Batmans, and they each give him something to help. He runs into Adam West Batman and is given the shark repellent, which comes in handy when la uh, later attacked by space sharks. <laughs> wow. I mean, they make that joke in Lego Movie, too. Or Lego Batman. Never done the shark repellent, best friend. Oh boy, I love Demo. So no, that's pretty funny. Yeah, he's my favorite TF2 class. Gwen, does Terry show up? Does Miss Does Terrence P. McGinnis show up? I'm excited anytime they give us Terry. Plot twist, this isn't demo as in demonstrate the game, this is demo as in demolish everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Old okay. Bruce and Terry, awesome. Mm -hmm. way, 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 way. All right, so here's the question now. I've been given a recommendation from Maniacal. He says it's only 25 minutes to beat the game. Do we uh, trust him? Oh, <laughs> no. I mean, generally I mean, somebody speaking, else can no, do that, but I have in this case, tomorrow, I feel like you so I have to go to bed. What game? Did he, did he put the game in one of the chat rooms? No, yes. mod room. Mod room. Let me check. Oh, I won't know. I'm gonna look this up on how long to beat ver just very quickly. Son John, sorry, Mr. Raider, earlier, by the way. Why is it? There we go. Yeah, like, like I said, I have to go to bed. Yeah, I got work tomorrow. Yeah, and so I you go get rest. Oh, very fair. Thanks for hanging. I mean, if we don't want to play like a game, I can just go do fucking like some Pacross for a bit. You know another media. game that's 30 minutes to beat? Perfect Cherry Blossom. Fuck off, Del. <laughs> oh my god. Let me just casually beat a Toho game. No big. Well, oh, that's the name of an actual video game? I thought they were just fucking with you. Yeah, that's... 10.5 or 13.5? There's point fives. <laughs> Oops. Oh, oh, never mind. I'm way game. off. It's, it's, it's the seventh. It's just the seventh. There is like three runs. It's like it's like one run on how long to be, and it shows the completion as two hours. Mm -hmm. Of so, the game Maniacal suggested. Uh, if it's if it's uh, the system I'm thinking of, yeah. PS One. Yep. But the but the sure. long play shows 18 minutes. Two show 18 to 20. So, who, what do we trust more? <laughs> My ex-wife told me of a game that took 30 minutes to beat, then she handed me divorce papers. I never finished it. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. No, oh, God. Jesus. See, if I was thinking about this ahead of time, I probably would have had an answer for you. See, I can also just fucking go play some Pacross and we just hang out and chat for like another 20 minutes or so. I mean, I, I mean, that's kind okay. of what we've been doing. I'd so. say that's, I'd say that's probably the way to go. All right, sure. Then that's what we'll do. Then we'll just, we'll just vibe for the remainder of the night. I'll play Pacross for like 20 minutes. Uh, feel free to ask any questions y'all want. I'll answer pretty much anything that's not, 
you know. Too personal. Yeah. How many hairs are on your head? I All do not them. know the answer to that. Try a Mega Pacross? Uh, I don't think I have any Mega Pacross left to do. I'll fix picture in a second, by the way. There are four followers on Twitch of Pacross S+. Plus. What color is my Sona's eyes? Uh, they're purple. They're purple. Just like my VTuber. I heard Urkel, and I just had the weirdest <laughs> photo. Did I do oh. that? <laughs> oh, okay, you didn't mean super, but you meant these. Okay, never mind. Yeah, let me knock some of these out. Ah, right, yeah, so let's just, let's just play for 20 minutes, and just, let's just fucking, let's just fucking go. You got any questions? Fire them my way. How about some hair across? I love you, Ozzy. Well, really? it would be your veggie so <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Have you heard of the game series Fear and Hunger? No. I thought you were going to say Fear and Loathing. Hey, Dan. How hey you doing? Hey, Dan. Danny. Danny boy. How you doing, buddy? Your anti veggie sona, your junk food sona. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Someone in chat said it. I know, I believe you. Mimo, Mimo said it. Oh, Dan was doing the Pokemon potato TV chips. Game. There's a non zero chance I concussed myself last night because my head still hurts. Uh, dude, do you, you want to go see a doctor about that? That's you hitting the uh, your head on the, uh, on the thing, right? Because you mentioned that. You mentioned that on Twitter or in the mod room that you smash your head against a cabinet. Right. I would. I was about to ask when I when you said cabinet that jogged my memory about him mentioning that. Um. Well, Dan, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you this one. Let's give you a little countermeasure here. Why not? Draco right sent me that at the end of last night or last stream. Mm -hmm. Dan, thank you so much for the raid. Okami, well, I'm going to butcher this. Okami Thorakjoan? I can't, I butchered that, but Okami as well. Thank you for the raid. I think my favorite part about this is that, like, Draco literally, like, hang on, let me get this playing again so I can fast forward. You can actually see the bird behind the the grate here on the window, and then he just slips out in the front of it. It's just <laughs> I love that it uses the Mario Two ending. Well, because the other one, another one, he just sleeps in. So now we've got one where he sleeps in and he's fine. Another where he sleeps in and he gets fucking thwacked. So I just meant the template for it that it uses the Mario Two ending sequence. It's a good choice. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, we just we've done a bunch of stuff. Uh, so if y'all want to ask me some questions, I'm hanging around for another 20 minutes just doing some across. No big. What's been your favorite game launched this year so far? Uh, I don't think I've played much that came out this year. Um, probably Prince of Persia: The Lost Crown. A little bit of that I played. I liked. But I you genuinely to... don't remember what I, I've played that came out this year. 
that I've been like, yeah, I'm gonna play all the way through this. Uh, get to Bellatro yet? I, play I almost did. I like Bellatro, but I don't. I'm not. I'm not in love with it like everyone else is. Fair enough. I actually have not played any new games that came out this year yet, so I am absent on an answer. What have I played this year that came out? Oh shit. Penny's Big Breakaway I'm playing. I'm feeling better about it the more I keep playing it, but it is definitely one of those games where it's like, it's gonna take a bit to get into the control scheme of that, I feel like. But once you get into it, it is actually pretty fun. But there are some weird bugs though. <laughs> What would you do if you won the lottery? Uh, I would pay off my house. I would pay off my family's houses, so my sister and my parents. I would do the same thing with Reese's family. Uh, then we would put a bunch of money into like some sort of investment, so we actually have money when we need it in the future, and hopefully the money is making more money. And then I'm gonna fucking buy, like, finish off some game collections and fucking... Uh, buy some arcade machines and shit. Yeah, I would oh, yeah. definitely have a lot of friends and family that would be taken care of. But I wouldn't go overboard with it because there are some friends I could help, but I question on whether they would keep me having that money as a guarded secret. But John, what about the boobs? <laughs> mm-hmm. Do I have to get them if I'm the one that wins the lottery? I don't think that was part of the rule set. Was I don't I don't know what the rule set was. The rule set uh, was chat gives me 2.9 million dollars and I have okay. to get a boob job. Reese gets a boob job. Uh, I have to play through Xenoblade 2 dressed as Pyra or Mithra. Um, there's like a bunch of other things that got added on there, and like those are the only ones I can ever fucking remember. The wiki page I've... has been updated with that, right? Someone was maintaining did, the wiki did page. Did someone actually update a wiki page with that? I, I don't know. There was, know. there was talk of it. I thought I heard that it was created. I'm cons I am thinking about that whole lottery, the lottery thing, and I think for me at least, it's like. Because I, I, I currently still live with my parents, so if I won the, won the lottery, I'd definitely be moving out. Um, if I won enough money, I probably would get a house that I could actually, you know, just have a bunch of space in and everything else like that and all that type of such. And then I would probably buy a fursuit because I would have the money to buy a fursuit. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I would, prob I would probably probably commission a lot more art. And I I travel a lot more, honestly. You would be you would become a suspiciously wealthy furry, is what you're saying. Absolutely, one thousand percent, I would. That sounds really great. <laughs> Bowser, for, no, I'm getting no, I'm getting a first suit of my Sona. Are you kidding me? Although that would definitely be something I would maybe want to do too. Is there a reason why you have not made a version of Robert Cop as an animated emo yet? Because I keep forgetting to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I literally have the GIF. You can buy both LMAO. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure. like I'm gonna be real. Like if I had the disposable income to that level, I'd be fucking just showing up in costumes everywhere. Mm hmm. Although I wouldn't. <laughs> oh man. Honestly, you know what? Actually, yeah. <laughs> Leisure for Sona has reasonable colors. Oh yeah. I love the color scheme of my Sona. I hate that my answer would just be a combination of Coles and John's. Like, that's, <laughs> that's all I need, really. I mean, we spoke up first, so. Well, yeah, but, like, I don't, I don't have much else, like, unique. To, I guess, like, gender stuff as well I would get. But, like, I don't really need much more than HRT. I'm pretty satisfied. I mean, I can get more. Electrolysis would be very much high priority for me. I fucking hate shaving. Get that shit out immediately, but like you can get I can't think of electrocuted and, and like grab with tweezers constantly. Sounds like a blast. Yeah. Was this but on? Hey, at least they'll be gone. Is this for Switch? Yes, this is the um this is the Pacross S Plus game. It's actually all the the 3DS games in one collection, but you gotta buy them as separate DLC. So I bought you get one when you buy the game you get Pacross E. And I bought E9 because we never got this in North America. So that's the one I'm working through is E9 right now. So Freddy, I would... Go ahead. I would, I would buy 
a non-trivial number of solar panels. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would be either stupid or smart. Um, I'd see if I could make an arrangement with like several local, I don't know, schools, fuck it, um, to install solar panels on their roof, and they'd get like a very reduced power rate, and then the rest would just get dumped into the grid as like a business thing. You would um, literally live off the tax credits you save using solar panels. Not the tax credits, but the, like, overtime income of dumping power into the grid. Close to uh, it, though, yeah. And then I'd also... TLDR, I'd open up a series of different businesses, including the big one of I'd probably hire a few people for stream tech to turn that into an actual thing. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm yeah, I'd also just buy like a shit ton of CRT t uh, TVs H and then some HDMI to composite converters or just straight up composite oh, input like, for my PC and then just literally just have a wall of monitors. Oh, bro. <laughs> well, actually, you remind me if I if I had that, I would absolutely like I'd want to create the ultimate retro room. Honestly, just get the nicest CRTs that I have really good ups or some really good upscalers, everything else like that. Get every console that I would ever personally wanted. Just make the, the ultimate retro room, honestly. I just make like a mini arcade, essentially. I I know it's a bit here, but I would probably buy at least one pinball table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I well, like if I had the money, I would buy a bunch. No, I would, because I would have the money presumably for a new place to store them all in, aka a new house or whatever. I would say you'd finally have a working hyperball table. Oh my god, I'm still sad about that. So for those who don't know, I actually won a pinball table in a raffle once. And uh, when it got delivered to my apartment, because this is back when I lived in the apartment, uh, it got damaged on delivery. And... Oh. It's always short-circuited whatever whatever fuses I put in. Of course, I was like, well, I'm gonna want to try to fix it myself. I, like, I'm, a, I'm an arcade machine owner now. I gotta figure out how to do that. Uh, undiagnosed ADHD. <laughs> yeah. And also having no fucking clue what I actually needed. So anytime I looked up the right fuses that I thought I needed, they were never the, actually the right ones. So they fucking constantly broke on me. So I would get the fuses and then like it would, like, it would work great for like a couple minutes and then it would just I would just hear something explode. I'm like, oh, okay, there's a new short. And I don't know if we ever actually figured out what was causing it, but I think it was some metal piece apparently broke and just kept connecting with everything with the circuitry and that was just causing the short circuit all the time. So And wasn't it that the, the most most of the time you tried to contact a company or the company about it, you just never got a response? Uh, or am I thinking of something else? I think that you're thinking of something else. Because mm. I won it, like, I just won it from, like, there was an event that, uh, I won it at. It was, like, literally, like, an arcade, like, competition thing. Oh, no, mm -hmm. I did try to contact the guy that was, that, that ran the event, and the event, like, shut down after. I think that's what I'm thinking of, yeah. So, like, uh, he just, like, I, I just never got back in contact with the dude straight up. Or he was like, try this out, try this out, if you want, and talk to, like, this repairman in town, and even they were like, yeah. So I ended up just giving the machine to uh, a dev who lived in town. They made um, Secret Ponchos, I think was the game. They took it out of the apartment. They were like, we'll try to fix up as best we can. And they also fixed up my Asteroids machine for a bit. But uh, yeah, I, I gave it away. And I was a little sad about that. But also, I was living in an apartment. Yeah. So, uh, so you know, having a loud-ass pinball machine, not the wisest decision. <laughs> I will say, be f despite whatever I would do with the money of winning the lottery, unequivocally, I would take the annuity option. I would not do lump sum. Oh yeah, Reese is the exact same way. She's like, yeah, don't ever, just just take the lump sum. It's just way easier because they're basically expecting you to like die or have something happen to you before it finishes. Mm -hmm. If you take the lump sum and do some reasonable stuff with it, like, get a financial planner who has literally any sort of sense, um, you are going to make more than the default amount. Because the default amount is a rather conservative... Um, the, amount, the amount listed on a jackpot investment. website is the annuity amount prior to taxes. It, yeah, it is the annuity amount. So it is the sum total with all interest occurred after the investment... Mm -hmm. prior to taxes. So it's yep. not the actual size of the pot at the moment. Right. 
and it's not the actual amount that you would get should you took the actual size of the pot at the moment. So realistically, you're getting anywhere between like a quarter and a half of what's actually listed on the website, depending on, on state taxes. Yeah, if you do the lump sum, uh, at best, you're getting close to a third of the total jackpot. Annuity comes out to just a, just close to three quarters after taxes. The, the thing is, again, it's over a 20 year period. 30. Is it a 30 year period now? 20, 30, or sorry, 30 payments over 29 years. Cause you get one payment a okay. year and they do two final payments in the, in the 29th year. Um, isn't it two, isn't it considered two payments in the first year? So it's like, oh, yeah, right, yeah, 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 you're right. and then a payment yeah. at the end of this year or whatever, in any event, you're right. um, regardless. Unless you think the economy is going to tank, it is very much worth just taking lump sum and investing it. Because the vast majority of reasonably safe investments would probably make you more money than the- My, ar my counter money. argument to the lump sum is that the fact they allow you to list a beneficiary to continue receiving payments if you do die before the 29 years, I love how we've given like actually like reasonable answers to this question. Mm. We're just so, like, let's... yeah, like here's here's what you would do to financially keep yourself viable and make sure your family doesn't get fucked over if you die. <laughs> when a so, jackpot gets over a billion dollars, you're gonna do some research into what you would do with that amount of money. The the reason <sighs> I buy a Powerball ticket is not because I think I'll win. I have zero, mm -hmm. like, effectively zero percent chance of winning. It is statistically right. incredibly improbable. I don't care. The reason I buy that ticket is because it allows me to fantasize. Mm -hmm. It tickles a bit of my brain that goes, but what if? And no, I hear you. I completely agree. Where this comes from is that tickling of the brain. A bit more of a serious right, question. Have you thought of the ultimate fate of Rosa? Yeah, I've given it some thought. <laughs> she exists. That's right. She's oh, real to me. Dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, crazy dude, the one thing about it going to education. Um, nice is plug pop. They. There's a lot of politics that end up in that. And so what ends up happening is sometimes the governments will vote to then move other money away from education. So it's like, oh, this is just being used to fund something else elsewhere. It's an interesting balance <laughs> that needs to be struck just in general. Did you just read the same comment I did? Gwen's? Yes. If Rosa John's so good, why isn't there Rosa John too? Hmm? Wouldn't that be literally every other alt? <laughs> In fact, Sorry. Rosa has so many alts, she definitely has Rosa John 20. Oh god, is Rosa John the street fighter of the Johniverse? <laughs> Rosa the, John she is the Shoto. I, no, that's actually true. The fighting game. The fighting game that uh, Philip was doing art for fucking had Rosa's the Shoto, so she actually <sighs> is. Jesus Christ. This community's gotten too deep into itself, and I love it. So. So when do I get the Rosa energy? I, I say as I have Rosa art as my profile, I forgot that I had that still. <laughs> oh my god. So what what Rosa energy are you looking for here? Oh, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I was going to get a genuine response from you on that, but I tried what anyways. What was a genuine response? At this point, all you know is a genuine response. Because you know. <laughs> You know exactly what part. <laughs> <sighs> well, you're on Prague, right? Yes. So you're working towards it. One could say I'm making progress. They could. But then they'd have I'm to recognize that joke, and then we can't have that. Yeah, I'm already having an existential crisis over it. Next topic. There we go. Done and dusted. <laughs> Isn't that a song? Probably. Uh, no, you're thinking of Bon Jovi's Dead or Alive. Are they? 
You're having I fun with this, Vincent, aren't you? <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. There we go. How big is your boob energy? It varies. John, the fact that Star is giving the most you answers is more proof that mitosis between humans is real or neither of you are human. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about either of those answers. <laughs> something, something, make us whole, something, something. This is a bad time to mention that if I was going to say if I, if I was going to buy an arcade cabinet, it would be Dragon's Lair. I've been playing Toontown as of late. Any familiar with it? I've heard of Toontown, but... It hasn't been my jam. Never had anything to maybe want to play it. Long lost twins. We're 13 years apart. <laughs> loose, very loose definition of twins here. <laughs> they were very long lost. They were lost for an entire decade and some change. Uh, genuine question from chat. What's the most out of pocket fighting game moment you can think of? Uh, that Sonic fighting game that Sega decided Son to put out. Sonic the Fighters, yeah. Yeah. Sonic the Fighters is fun as fuck. It's fun, but about... it is way out of pocket. Yeah, it is. Are they talking about, like, a moment in a game, or are they talking about a game's existence? Because mm. I have an answer for the former. If you're asking about the former, it would... I, my, my, whenever my brain thinks of funny fighting game moments, I always think of the Wooly versus Dream. No, it was what I was going to fucking say! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's no way she's going to say the Skullgirls moment with Wooly. No way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Make us hold, John. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're if if we're gonna do the the is that it? Yeah, that that's, one? The one. Yeah. that's the one. That's the one. So good. Can someone find me that clip? I want to show that clip. It's, it's really so good, good if you've never seen it. What do you mean you were gonna say the same clip? My brain is just now processing that. <laughs> I'll say, um, because are we so? It can, so it can be either game or so it can be either game or like. Yeah, either or, know. either a game or a moment yes. in a game. Um, I'm gonna say this game, but it also makes me slightly sad because support for it basically dropped like a rock. Them fighting hurts. Uh, I was really enjoying that game, and then and then yeah. we found out, hey, we're gonna stop supporting a game. Hey, most of the development team was fired. <laughs> that was fun. So, but it's a really I mean, good game though. I enjoyed my time with it. I also know a lot of weird fighting games. Oh. Like, uh, brief karate foolish. Oh, okay. right, hang on. Here's the moment. Clip so much. I have so definitely <laughs> played this clip on repeat right. a few dozen times before because it's, so, it's really good. It's so, a really good clip. For those who don't know, Big Ban, the character here, he has a super where literally you can play any song you want. Every button is a note. So if you want, you can play notes. People have done Happy Birthday, which is another great moment. But obviously this is this is the perfect example. <laughs> Watching the game because I just fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> it uses super like crazy if you notice up here. Like they're just like the super bar is just draining, but. Oh yeah. God, it's so good. I fucking love that moment. I love Literally. the fact that that guy also has a DDD alt, like a DDD colored alt. I think that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. Okay, Black Knight, Black Knight is saying what I thought was the case. It's more clever than that. It's not just every button. Holding up and down changes what note you play. So you can yep. pitch shift. So Maybe. you have to keyboard to get certain notes. Yep. Actually, Basically, kind of actually does the same thing, but, you know. Yes, I suspected, I was pretty sure it did the same thing with the ocarina. That's really cool. Which is why you can play really dumb things in eat. Actually, ocarina does it uh, doubly well because not only can you pitch shift with the uh, control stick up or down, you can double pitch shift with, in combination with Z and R. I was going to say, you can use the, the um, left and right keys. Oh, God. Uh, left and right does uh, vibrato. So clearly, I should learn how to play that exact song and use that against you in Skullgirls sometime. I mean, I'd be impressed. 
All right, alarm right, went off. We I'm just gonna do one more puzzle. We can just, we can just vibe for the last six seconds. I'm a, I'm a, hell yeah, Bayo and oh, Cerebella man. I don't know fuck Megalovania. all about Big Megalovania. Man. You could 100 percent get it to do Megalovania. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm a video pretty of that sure. exists. There's, li I'm pretty sure there are videos out there of people just showing how to play songs as Big in, Man. In, yeah, in as Big Band, I wouldn't be surprised. As Oot, I am pretty sure I have listened to Megalovania on Ocarina before. Oh yeah. Uh, Samara, yeah, I I have played Hyrule Warrior, so yeah, I'm I I do know the Ocarina on the loading screens. I haven't played the Definitive Edition. I want I keep meaning to pick it up to play it. I've heard it's really good for being a Definitive Edition. Do it, I'll pay you. Don't tempt me. I, I'll do most things for money. Oh yeah. You can do no people as you know, big man. We command. Call them. I, I haven't played those. So I haven't played Street Fighter. Also, that's called a goal. <laughs> that's called a goal. You have to be convinced enough to make the goal in the first place. I mean, I have to, from the way they phrased it, I should do the thing first and then they'll pay me, not they will pay me to do the thing. I will, I will be down to play some Skullgirls. It's been ages. I need to practice. Samaria, so I'll be very fast to ever do 100% Definitive Edition because I actually haven't done 100% in the original Hyrule Warriors. Don't, yeah, it takes so fucking long. It does. I get if I had to give a percentage of how far I got in completing the original Hyrule Warriors, I would say I got to about 93%. Because there are just a few missions that... No matter and they how added much a ton on to DLC do, as well, too, so... Right. But yeah, just the original base game on Wii U, there was just a few missions that I just struggled to complete. But I did do most of them. I got a majority of the map and the heart, the extra missions complete on them. There's just that select few that's like, can't do it. Camille, I'm still totally down to do that. We should set up like a group DM with you, Time Thief, and who else was on board for that, Gwen? What are we the doing? Monster Hunter, I think, was Gwen, yeah. For, for, uh,. Me teaching uh, them a fighting game, and then they teach me how to do Monster Hunter. I don't know which one, but again, Skullgirl seems the most accessible, and now I'm even more incentivized because if I can learn how to do that input for Big Band, I can torment John with it. <laughs> I'm glad spite oh, for me is one of your biggest motivators. Hey, hey, that's another thing we have in common. You should know that. <laughs> You're right. I do have a lot of spite for myself. That's why I do a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, it fuels us. It powers us. Keeps us going. He said streaming 10 years later. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate that I'm hitting, uh, what, seven, eight? I've lost track. I initially started trying to stream about 10 years ago when I first was in North Dakota, living in my own apartment finally. And then it just kind of didn't pan out because of way to life first. And now. I'm slowly trying to get myself back into it again. Did a short stream earlier. So. So yes, chat, if you do call, the my Twitch is in the call command, and I do try to stream a little semi-regularly now. I'm trying to think of other very accessible fighting games to teach people. Um, Street Fighter VI is pretty approachable. Yeah, yeah. but I have to buy that. Yeah. But then again, I have to buy the new tech as well, so... I just need to catch up on fighting games in general. Like, I don't have the newest uh, King of Fighters either. I'm a bit behind on those. Clearly, I should teach that one uh, uh, King of Fighters game where they're all the girls. No, clearly what you need to do is get an N64 emulator and do Clay Fighter 64. I, I thought you were going to say Clay Fighter. It's like, what fighting game is on the N64 but that? Oh, well, Flying Dragon. There's actually a couple. There's a few. Mo Mortal War Kombat Gods, a Mace, Xeno yeah. Warrior Princess. Actually, yeah, isn't okay. Killer... I've heard Xeno. Killer Instinct Killer Gold. Instinct. Killer Instinct. Yeah. Yep. That's, the act that's probably the best fighting game that's on there. Yeah. yeah. 
Isn't that on ASO as well? Or maybe uh, or is it the SNES? I think it's AI SNES that's on there. Mm. Yeah. Right, because think... the N64 game was uh, Blast Core. Right? Yeah, which to be fair, hell yeah. More Jocks, fun, yeah. Jocks and Mania. God. Yeah, N64 has a surprisingly decent library of fighting games. Well, yeah. it's weird. Well, you Smash 64 wars. is a given. And also a platform fighter. We're trying to look for more traditional fighters. Yeah, we're talking pure trash yeah. fighters. So. Um, Not that I have anything against platform fighters. They're great. Level. PS1, it, if you were, had access to PS1 emulation in those games, they have a few uh, decent fighting games. Bloody Roar is one that I loved playing growing up. Um, oh, right, Mortal Kombat Trilogy is on N64 as well, but I've heard that's just a janky mm -hmm. mess. It is. I have Street Fighters uh, 1 through 5, so... Can't teach 6, but I can teach any of those. Um... Did you just see the message in chat that said you'd, you'd, do or you'd stop two puzzles ago? No, I, hmm. I knew I kept going. I yep. knew I kept going. He knows what you're doing. Oh my god. I'm in the I right mentally exhausted that. from anxiety state for Pacross. I think Pacross <laughs> is nice and relaxing, so. I don't, I don't know if you actually answered this question. You play much Sudoku? You play so much Pacross? I surprisingly do not do much Sudoku. I uh, mm. I used to. Because I think, was it the first uh, Brain Age actually came with a Sudoku mode? Ooh. So I used to mm -hmm. do that. Um... But I found mainly when I was doing Sudoku, I was only doing that when I was on like the C train, like riding around on transit. Mm. Usually when I go on trips, if I'm doing any puzzle game, it's just Pacross. And Pacross is so much game at this point that I'm just like, ah, I don't think I need another puzzle game. That's absolutely fair. And Chet, if you want to get into Pacross, the S series do have free demos on Switch. I still need to do that. Or stay, the S series from four up, I should say. Three, two, and one don't have free demos. Listen, I can't, I can't get dragged into a, another thing because of you, John. You already, you already sentenced me to Ninja Gaiden inadvertently. <laughs> Again, I tried to talk you out of it. <laughs> Too late for me. What's uh, that one meme where it's just like the the kid, like. Oh, look, over there! And the mom's like, no, don't do that. And then he's like, so it's too late, mother. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Bleach has a, a question for all of us. Personal challenge, you took on one of your favorite video games you had a lot of fun on, felt proud of when you finished it, despite some some struggles. Um, What did I struggle with as a kid? I mean, honestly, completing the first Mario Galaxy the first time, that was way harder than I thought it was going to be. And now it's like super duper easy. So the, that first time really kind of unlocked like, hey, I can be good at video games. Uh, the challenge missions in Perfect Dark. Oh, God, favorite. I never did finish number 30. 18 was one of the fucking hardest ones because it's the aliens that have the shields. Mm, that one yeah. that one threw me off. 30 was definitely a challenge. I, I didn't get to 30 alone. I did have my brother and my cousin help me with 30. I think I did um, every single one solo and a bunch of them with friends, but 30 specifically, which I think was the final one, could never do. 30, I never, like I said, I never did 30 solo, but I did when, do all, all the other 29. When I was in college, a group of us were messing around with Super Mario Sunshine, and... We decided to get some arbitrary shine before getting flood back or something. It was some weird thing that we were doing, some weird challenge. We managed... Oh, it was before unlocking um, the first level, like the first real level. And we were messing around and clipping into things and trying to see how many shines we could get before we unlocked the first level. And I believe this is an actual th challenge run. Um, and I believe the number right now is 25 that are possible. We, as a group of just college nerds, got 20. Which we were really proud of, because we had to do some dumb glitches. Uh, oh, they meant challenge run that we've done in a, video, in a favorite video game. 
Um, I gotta think about that. Cause I honestly haven't done a lot of cha a lot of challenge runs. I shockingly don't do that many challenge runs either. Yeah, I think the only one I did was uh, it was like sub weapon. Yeah, it was sword only for Ninja Gaiden one because of something K gave me. <laughs> that was rough. Uh, tell me about it. Mm. The only right. the only challenge one challenge one I can think that I've done is the Zelda one Strodeless. All right, uh, Legend of Daniel says, "Well, I feel better after playing some Splatoon three and doing a little more side order. Rest in peace, Splatoon one's online." All oh, right, I forgot that those all went down. Trismon says, "Growing up in a Christian household, you basically have a miners in Veggie Tales for most of your childhood. That's my excuse, anyways." Anyways, I have a strained relationship with this series for stories, so I, I don't entirely know I want to share, but just know I have regrets on, on an old birthday gift. Ooh, okay. Gotcha. Legend of Daniel says, I died and I got isekai into a story from the Bible. And Daniel says, if Jesus was a vegetable, what vegetable would he be? I think we tried to answer that earlier. Cucumber. He would be the Again. super fruit. He would be a super fruit. He would be pizza because it is fruit and <laughs> it is vegetable. <laughs> I like that answer. All right, uh, Clay Dogs for 126 months. Clay Dogs, this one goes out to you. Pretty sure it's the Shuffler, though. Let me make sure. No, it's not. Hang on, this might just be a re-upload. Dragon Two, can you do sword only in Black or Sigma? Bowsy, is this a different one or is it just another fix to the original? I don't know if Baz is even still here. Here's the shuffler either way. You will give me a bowl! I got a bowl! Good for me! Good for you, Freakazoid. Good for me. Still where I got my fucking yay for me bit from. <laughs> yeah, th that's what I thought, Drag 2. I like I never played Black or Sigma, but I know I know a little bit enough of it to try and speculate that I don't think you could have done sword only in those games, so that's, you can. That's why I you asked. can. In, in Black and Sigma, you throw it only? Yeah. You don't need sub-weapons. It would be a pain in the ass, but you can do it. You can do the entire game with just a dragon sword. In fact, that's my preferred weapon. Huh. Like I said, I've never played the games and completed them, so my knowledge on them is very limited. So that's... Sub-weapons, for the most part, are really only good for, like, chaining combos, unless you're using, like, the, like, the incendiary grenades and stuff like that to mess with the heavies and, like, fuck oh. up their, like, uh, their attacks. Okay. But, like, yeah, you can beat Ninja Gaiden Black, for example, or Sigma, with just the Dragon Sword. It's actually huh. a pretty versatile weapon. Interesting. Not using the Ninpo would be a pain in the ass, because I think there's actually a couple times they... F they force it? I'm trying to think if they do, actually. They might not force it. It's been so long since I played through that. I almost, I really should do that again. So I can actually do the LP at some point. But yeah, um, as far as I can think of, it, you, weapon, like, just a weapon is perfectly fine to do. You'd be insane to want to do it, but you can do it. Ooh... Would it be possible to do Aria of Sorrow with uh, Soulless Run? Uh, there are some that are required. Aria actually does have required souls. But you can like you can definitely beat the game without using like an attack sub weapon, mm -hmm. an attack soul, or like a boost soul. You can ju you just use the ones you need. So the one to swim underwater, the one right. to float, and then your ability I mean, those to are like double jumps and stuff. I would say ability souls are like the exception to the rule. Because you've got to progress with those. May mostly mm. made that joke because of the two tanks and airplane bosses. Were oh, fuck, I forgot about those. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, those, I think those actually do require the bow. Otherwise, they take for fucking ever. Would you recommend another code in 2B? Another code looked fun. I, was I, I enjoyed to, it. Was I, I would recommend that was, it. Yeah. yeah, that was a fun story. And what kind of people would like it? People who like solving puzzles and also enjoy like visual novels, because I mean, most of the game is a visual novel. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> I find it so funny. So when I was playing Ninja Gaiden, people were just like, haha, jo joking about like, haha, John would play something very u -core. It's like, you played a visual novel recently, which is something that I do a lot. <laughs> 
just like, oh god. Coincidence upon coincidence. Alright, let's, uh, let's do our block. That was a bottom right gift, by the way. Wow, what a beautiful meatball. No regrets, <clears throat> none. Oh my god, fucking meatball, oh man. God. Thanks, no account. I kind of wish you did meatball from Aquatine Hunger. Oh my board. god, no! <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Moon's haunted. Right. Also, add a description <clears throat> to the update. Uh, oh, add an update description to John's model. I'll bring that up. You take the moon, and 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 you take the moon. Thanks, right. Mung. This was from uh, last stream. It's my MMD model. Heading back to this, but I'll keep it short because I'm still taking it easy. I initially wasn't planning on making him look like a musketeer, but then Princess Peach Showtime came out and I got inspired. And then I was finally able to make something with the models I've done so far. Yeah, I saw the cursed video you made. Am I showing that? <laughs> what? I mean, you mentioned it. You can't not now. Well, I don't remember if that song is copyright. Oh, yeah, fair. Fair. I think it's safe because it's just a meme, but I don't remember. Would you wear this in real life? A Bucket, musketeer we'll outfit? In. Sure. Hell yeah. It's a nice look. Listen, if I had the means to have a wardrobe like that and could actually pull it off, I definitely would be wearing shit like that day to day. Is that where Honestly, some of the yeah. lottery money's going? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. My, Joe, if I had lottery money to just piss around, my wardrobe would be bonkers. Fuck yeah. Agreed. All right, let me go find that video. Uh, I have to quickly click through my Twitter for that. Uh, where did you put that? This far back? Not that far back. Alright, here we go. Again, I don't remember this is a copyright song or not, so. But it's it's that it's that it's you'll you'll get it. You'll know what it is the second it starts going. It does get picked up on YouTube system according to a video I found. But God damn it, of course. So then I will hold off on that on the audio for this, but Oh yeah, yeah. No uh, that definitely gets caught. Just so you know yeah. the song, so you can at least hear the bit, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's Cherry, myself, and Claire <laughs> all marching to that meme. So unfortunately, I yeah. Like, I feel like it'd be pretty easy to know what song that was just by the visuals. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. So that's the next dream, right? It, that would be funny as fuck. <laughs> it's just the three of us marching. It's like, why are we doing this? Like, hey, we thought it'd be funny. Hey, might as well. Uh, ba -ba 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 I like the arm yeah. swings. I'm glad this is what we came back to when I went back to Art Block. Was <laughs> Johnny gets really? worse. Check the thread. Oh, right, where you zoom in on my face. And I'm, I just got this shit-eating grin on me. My glasses are duplicated. Didn't, didn't the Annoying Orange creator come out as trans recently? Did they? I think so. Mm. Somebody who's more informed on the uh, Annoying Orange lore, correct me, or... Uh, Agree with my point, depending. I would also People like to saying, uh, yeah. draw uh, attention to Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Shit, eating oh, grin. God. Shit, eating grin. Glasses clipping <laughs> through. Shit, eating grin. The eyes. I know. Me. You know what my favorite part of this is? Fucking look at the glare <laughs> Claire has in the background. <laughs> She's at the. I'm going to fucking kill whoever put me in here. <laughs> She's just giving this, like, I am going to murder someone glare in the background. I think that's way funnier, personally. She's, she's going to put him in a chokehold. Yeah, exactly. That's what she does now, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to kill him, him being John. Oh, God. Okay, Delphine clarifies non-binary and then transgender, oh, they yeah. should be. I have Neat. no idea. Neat. 
Yeah, I heard about that a bit back, but I, uh, since I don't follow Annoying Orange, it was kind of a piece of information that just kind of came into my brain and was like, and just disappeared immediately after until the, this very moment. The Claire Glare, oh no. The Claire Glare. All right, this yeah, is one of the are. movies people were talking about, I assume. So I actually do know what this is, because Saber Spark also covered this. Itchy, how you doing, bud? We're just wrapping up for the last art block of the night, and then we're getting in the hell out of Dodge, but by all means, stick around, and we will uh, get you all to join us for another raid. So this is like, this is the Isekai protagonist of everyone's dreams, right? So what is, so what is the story about this? Honestly... I watched the Saber Spark video and I couldn't even fucking tell you. I, I honestly don't know. Okay. It's nightmarish. That's all I remember is that it looks visually awful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, it's not much better in motion. Arguably, it's worse. <sighs> Joshua, a kid, becomes Joshua, a biblical figure. Ah, okay. <laughs> Next up, from Sam, Spot Alien Monster. I wanted to know what she would look like if she was human, so here's a quick sketch. Jig Jiggy, why were you still Jiggy. Jiggy, did you meet your P Pokemon XV incentive? John, no ending. My god, you guys. That conversation yeah, made me weirdly cross. nostalgic for adventure and odyssey. Anyways, my veggie sona would be a tree or something. Thanks, Sam. Hey. hey thanks him. for the humanoid You're bad right, apple art. She she looked she actually does look very good. <laughs> All right, I wasn't gonna do full countermeasures, but since Itchy and you both rate at the same time, Jiggy, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw you in. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do it again. Fuck it, we're doing this one again. Jiggy, thank yeah, you for the raid, it. and also for Itchy forever. Thank you for the raid as well. Appreciate it from both of you. We're just going to wrap up here. What in... Oh, God, of course it was a fucking gift. God damn it. Uh, <laughs> hang, on, <laughs> hang on. This was the next picture in Art Block. <laughs> Green's head is full of Christianity, but not the right kind, I think. There's something going on there. Originally, it was a picture of Bob from VeggieTales, and now it's a picture of, from Furry Noah's Ark. Not an exaggeration. It's not. I recognize the picture. It's. I swear to God, don't make me look this up after the stream's over. <laughs> oh no, are you gonna get gender envy from a fucking Noah's Ark furry cartoon? Uh, <laughs> God, I hope not. Oh, now I want it to happen. Why don't you look it up right now? Just, why don't you look it up just, right now? Just, I'm gonna start a prediction in chat. Just Google Noah's Ark furry. That is not going to narrow it down. I was about to say, you are not narrowing anything down with those three words. I, I mean, actually, you'd be surprised. Google is pretty smart. It will show you exactly what you expect. Uh, see, meanwhile, while they're doing that, Aussie Rayquaza, here's your wisdom to do. Mother key cards. I found it. Hold on. No, I just... Eh. <laughs> Rhyme's take is better on this character, I'd say. Really? Right. Well, you, but what like, color are your eyes? Like a Urkel? character design kind of way. Yes! Yes, thank you! <laughs> God. God damn, Every that Noah lion has hips that rival a Pixar mom. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, not wrong. Hold on, uh, I, found, I found the image. Hold on, chat. It's Star. With the gender sign. <laughs> Gender, did you know? Gender. 
from Bundle of Sharks. The other day, a post got tagged with Trans Femme Furry for the first use of the tag, and Green Power Star was disappointed she was not the first. While I can't make her the first post in the tag, as alas, my time machine decided to go out for milk and still hasn't come back yet, ungrateful little thing, I told her next time she was on call, I would amend her not being in the tag at all. And here it is. Thank you, Camille. <laughs> hey, yeah, hi, hello, hi. Yes, I am very, very okay because finally I can have my role as a teacher to finally teach you about them hips from the lions. So you know what I'm gonna do? After class, you're gonna see me and we're gonna teach you about the lions and the hips. Thank you for your time. Is this how it feels when I info dump about Veggie Tales? <laughs> yeah. You don't usually have a soundtrack follow you though. I can fix that. I can fix that. <laughs> she can. She can. Watch. <laughs> the laugh gets me. Every time. It's really, Every it's really time. one of the best parts of that. Also, Every gender. Time. Gender. Gender. I hope gender. I got all the details right. I started panicking near the end. I thought I was uh, that I was going to end up taking too long. Nope, you got it in. Don't worry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks adorable. Thank you for this. I am at least the second tag under Transfem Furry. What was the first again? <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I could have told you the answer to that question, but I thought it was funnier for you to see it yourself. <sighs> All right, time to crash again and see me after class. Bye! They go through a lot of cars. Next up, this one's for Deep by looks of it. Data mining. <laughs> o2 to CO2. Hi, John. I don't know. I heard of this dumb bit, and i like, eh, I'm dating site programmers and hackers. Why not? Also, I imagine the entire site is blind dating, as the only information you get from your from uh, a newly profile is found through looking through the website's source code. Happy hunting, you robot lovebirds. I, okay, at this point, this is no longer like a dating site. This is just actually a fun capture the flag website for hackers. <laughs> like, I, I'm just going to pull everything about dating from this. This is just funny to me now. Nice, thanks, O2. Next up. I wonder what the D stands for. <laughs> so many <laughs> D. Why is Camilla there? Don't mind me, just reposting this meme I made on the first stream of this game. I wonder what the D stands for. Dad, Dracula, drunk, dead dad, who knows? Maybe I should write that Dracula x Camilla buddy cop fic I've thought of years ago. Oh, there you go. That, that's why she's there. I don't know who this guy is, but he's hot. That is one of the characters from the game we played today. I figured that much. Thank you, Rocket. And the last piece I have here from Mika. I did a portrait of Claire in the style of another code. Very nice. I like it a lot. Hell yeah. Very cute. Thank you, Mika. And that is our block, and that is the stream, folks. What is our raid message? Schedule for the week, meanwhile, Wednesday is going to be Power Trip. Uh, what are we starting Power Trip with again? Power Trip starts with... Fantasy Star Online 2! Whoa, <laughs> right. I had to use PSO Tweaker. Shit. Alright, well that's, that's going to be a thing. <laughs> Wait, that's what be this is. Mm. This is... And Saturday is going to be the Chaos Fortune Cookie bonus stream, the final one, so we're caught up. It may just be the usual CoCom team, because uh, I don't know how many people from the Coliseum group are going to be available. But uh, come hell or high water, we're doing it. Because we're running out of time, and we got a Dokapon thing we also got to do as well. Yep. Anxiety's been a motherfucker for the last couple days, so thanks for the chill street drum. Uh, I'm glad to be of service. Let's see, there's the Claire Glare, Veggie Tail Sona. What, yeah, what's your veggie Sona? That might be my favorite right now. I, I yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna say I'm glad that yeah. Aida and I were on the same page with that because I was just about to toss that one out there. Also, Crazy Crabs uh, said you said I should have a theme song. Well, maybe I might have that covered in a little bit soon. <laughs> I may have gotten something relatively recently that I'm waiting for an opportune time to drop. Let's see. Tyler is doing his subathon. I can't write Toku Shoutsu, but they're watching Zero One by the looks of it. 
Mr. CJ is going to do Toy Story in a bit, but he talks for a while before he gets into the game. Shrum's doing Stardew Valley. Jank Jesus is playing Shark Tale for the your Xbox. Oh, God. M. Zizzy's playing Crap Man? What? Granddad and the quest for the holy vest. Uh, you know what? Let's check. Let's try to make a new friend tonight. Let's see what's going on in retro. Just starting to fill up with Granddad Flintstones. Uh, Follow only Arthur chat, Louis. so we won't raid them. Do you have access to the raid browser or no? The raid browser? That tells me the answer is no. Okay. <laughs> mm? Ooh. Hmm. Aside from Patty and Tyler, the only other live streamer I follow is doing the Bizhawk Shuffler. Doing Miniscap right now. Oh, they got their puppy cam. Sure, this stream talks English. I assume so, because they're playing a Japanese game, but the Japanese game has English dialogue. I kind of want to raid this dude because his name kind of whips ass. Yeah, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna also butcher pronouncing this, so I apologize. So, what we're we doing? What's your veggie sona? I think that's what a lot of people settled on here. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna raid Kleben Splur Clunch or Splur Crunch, Splurk Nurch. Sorry, yeah, Kleben Splurk Nurch. I just kind of—they're playing the Samurai Spirits RPG on on Neo Geo CD. It was Samurai Showdown, if for those of you know that, uh, which I didn't even know even had a translation. But also, I just fucking love their name. Hey, you were not kidding about that name. You can see why I struggle to say this one. I am going to use uh, a salve again. I didn't even know there was a Samurai Showdown RPG. Oh no! We got bots. We got bots on chat. Not a bot. Well, here we go. That's okay. the curse. The curse okay. of old, old raid style. Everyone thinks it's bots. Oh shit. Oh, not a bot? Oh my god. It's a raid? <laughs> what message in very quickly. <laughs> and is it a follower only chat so we can't we can't fucking raid now. I thought uh, I thought they were they were raided. <laughs> I thought they were they were bots. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I died. I died as a result. <laughs> well, thank you. He he kicked us out of raiding, but oh he got his god, ass kicked, me, uh, so it's it's only fair, clearly. Reload my, my game. Hang on, are they wondering if they're gonna, uh... What up, Deef? I'm so sorry. There we go. They okay, it, they uh, took it out. They took it out. We're fine. All right, cool. Go give them some love. Go hang out there, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for Power Trip. Good night, everybody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, Owl. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh so my god, I, I can't even type out this of. name. It's so... <laughs> So intense! I love this name. <laughs> Cleveland Splurkner. Okay. What a fucking great ass name! Holy shit! That's a crazy Welcome name, guys. yeah. The reaction to the old style raid never fails to. I feel bad because it always gets us in trouble. <laughs> but I like, yeah. I like and I'll give him this: that dude was fast on pulling the trigger on like like if it was an actual like bad bot raid, like it, instantly into like follower only mode and wiping chat. Yeah. 
Yeah, when Ma was... did that, they knew what they were doing. That was yeah. fast. I, I wonder if they had shield mode set up to do that. Because that Probably. was that was pretty good. Probably. Alright, night everybody. Night. 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 Night.